All right, that's how I was like first, Kyle says second. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? Sorry for being a little late. I just got back from meeting up with another person to make a purchase. So that's why I was a little late, but I do apologize for that. But hopefully you guys are excited because I made this one particularly hard. <laughs> so you might be happy with that. You might be angry with that. Damn, my boy Tyler was first on both platforms. <laughs> We got Zach. Zach's in the house, guys. Watch out. Zach is in the house. He might actually win. So, whew. so watch out for that. I remember Zach was in the lead last time. So, as you guys know, this is Guess That Pokemon. We are going to wait a little bit to allow everybody to get in because if you start, if you, or if they enter in later, they're probably doomed. You know what I mean? So, we're going to give it, we'll probably start at like 920, so we'll give it like another nine minutes. Um, but in the meantime, we'll just chat. Giovanni's like, hey, let's go. Richard said, what's up, Sagar? How was your day? My day was pretty good. It's been really, really, really uh, rainy over here. So it made it pretty hard. But I did go. I just got back. And just says, late. Don't ever be late again, mate. <laughs> How's it going, Alex? What's up? Just says, what's up? I have it playing on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, so guys, actually, let's go ahead. Let me explain that. So let me actually get everything set up. So give me one sec. So we're going to actually be using this uh, other website. It's called Trivia Rat. Now, I realized last time we did this uh, that, you know, certain people's internets were definitely faster than other people's, and that kept making it so that they were always at the top. Um, so we're going to be using this website called Trivia Rat. Now, this is going to require that you have access to a computer, because I don't think, maybe you can, I don't know, maybe the new update lets you do it, but you will need to look at the stream as well as be on a web browser. So if you're already watching this on, like, your computer or anything like that, Super easy, you just open up two tabs. Uh, but if you are watching on your phone, I don't know how that would logistically work. But this is really the only true way for me to do it to where everyone kind of has a, uh, you know, equal chance, basically. All right, so we're going to delete all these players. All right, so let's get this out. Kyle says, do we do it on YouTube? Uh, Kyle, it doesn't matter. Actually, I would I would highly suggest that if you are over on Facebook that you do swap over to YouTube because it is faster. So this time around, it's not going to be whoever says it first. It's going to be there's a certain time limit for every Pokemon, if that makes sense. And just says, did you check that box out? Yeah, Angelo, I did. I did. So I, I did not message him, but I, I did see it, and I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it because Neo... That, that specific Neo is probably my least favorite out of all of them. Tyler says, I set five packs. Yes, Tyler, I did get that. So you and um, Matt also said. So there's only a couple people left that haven't got their packs. But at the end of the stream, I will look at it again. And basically let anyone get into their spots if they wanted to. I was about to send Troll to your crib to make sure they ain't run up on you. Bro, my, they are trying to get my base box. But anyways, like I said, if you are over on Facebook, you absolutely absolutely want to be over on youtube as it will be quicker philip says i'm not going to participate in this but good luck y'all uh philip i don't know why you, why why you wouldn't it's not based on who says it first it's based on how many you complete so there's a total of 25 pokemon and every round will be 30 seconds so you'll be typing in the answer to that that as well robert i just got that too thank you robert i'll get those etbs packed up for you This is all I see on YouTube. Uh, Keith, is there not a live chat for you? Keith, there should be a live chat. If there isn't, refresh or make sure you're signed into YouTube. So now that's the other thing. You will need to be logged into YouTube. And it says, I think I'm in it. Yeah, so let's go. Let's check. So I'll show you guys. So this is it. And we're going to refresh the player list. And right now, only four people are in. Jeremy says, do I still have time to send him for bulk? Uh, no. <laughs> not for this month. Unfortunately, not for this month. I wrote on Facebook where we're going to go to YouTube because it's faster. Yeah, exactly. So if you are only watching this on YouTube, I mean, excuse me, on Facebook, I highly recommend you move over to Face, or to, sorry, you move over to YouTube because it's quicker. So like I said, there will be a timer uh, now. So every round is going to last 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds to put in your response. And the thing is, is spelling will not matter. So as long as, do you write your real name or YouTube name or whatever? Whatever you are identified as. So if I know you by your real name, if I know, so Hefe, I only know you by your, your YouTube. So you would just put your YouTube name. 
But obviously, I do know a lot of people from over on Facebook, and at that point, we're on a first-name basis, guys. All right, so, so far, only five people in. Like I said, you will need to use this website. What this does is basically, instead of it being who says it first, because that's highly dependent on how fast your internet is, he says, I'm signing to YouTube. Keith, I can see what you're typing, so I don't understand. We, if you're if you're asking why you don't see any Pokemon yet, that's because we have not started. We're waiting a little bit to let people uh, hop in, because if you arrive late in this game, you will definitely lose unless you, everyone else just keeps missing. So it's going to be based on how many. We got David. It says, yo, let's get it. David, hop in. So like I said, right now, there is only a total of like seven players. So like I said, we'll wait another four minutes. I assumed I'd see some carpet. Yeah, there you go, Keith. Unfortunately, no carpet. Or actually, the carpet's still there. Angel said, what's the code? Right here. So just take this link or that code. But either way, you want to hop onto the trivia rat. And like I said, we'll start in like five minutes and let people get time. Because if you are late, you're definitely going to possibly just lose. Because you know how it goes. So yeah, I guess the code is uh, OWZT. Don't know if the link just works directly or not. Like I said, if you are only watching this over on Facebook, you definitely want to swap over to YouTube and make sure you guys uh, go into Trivia Rat and join the room. And I'll be right back while we wait. All right. Alex says, let's make this fun, everyone. Kyle says, I'm too lazy to go on my computer. Um, I guess the only other option is you can do... I don't know if you um, can watch the stream and play on your phone at the same time. You might need two phones. But David, you probably know better than me. If you can make YouTube appear on a corner. Yeah, so there you go. So if you have the new update, you can definitely make YouTube... Rakeem says, are we live? Absolutely. Hey, Jess, what's up? How's it going? Andrew says, I'm using my cell. Yeah, so I think the new iOS update... Uh, you know, like, I don't know what the, what the widgets or whatnot, but they let you basically have multiple things open at once. So if you have that, it'll probably work. But I do apologize. Uh, as last time, like I said, it was highly based on how fast your internet speed was. But worst case scenario, maybe grab someone else's phone and, or <laughs> if you have a smart TV, put the stream on the TV and use your phone. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately, we cannot just use the chat anymore. Uh, as some people's internets were just way too quick. So I'll say this one more time. If you are watching over on Facebook, I highly suggest you move over to YouTube. As this will be a 30 second timer basically on every time I show you a new Pokemon. You have 30 seconds to type in your answer. And you want to get that as quick as possible. So you probably do want to hop over to YouTube. You don't necessarily need to use the YouTube chat. But you definitely want to watch a stream over on YouTube. Good luck, peeps. I'm going to start cooking dinner, but I'll hopefully get back to see who the winner is. Yeah, I'll have fun at your dinner. Just because, like, YouTube gang. All right, so we got tons of people. So, like I said, we'll give it another one or two minutes, and that's it. So, another one or two minutes, and we'll begin. We do have a decent amount of people. So, last chance to get your technical difficulties worked out, if you have any. Joshua says, how to find it. So, Joshua, I will send you a link... Or you can just type it, go to TriviaRat.com, and then type in the code uh, 0WZT. Alright, so like I said, the way this one is going to work is the Pokemon will appear. You'll have 30 seconds to type in your guess. 
As long as you get the spelling close enough, I will give you the point. If it's not close enough, you just will not get the point. Joshua says the YouTube. The YouTube is in the description, but I'll also pop it here too. Travis says, did we start? Travis, we did not start yet. So Travis, you want to hop over to the Trivia Rat link that I've been setting out and quickly sign up. I think it's the letter O, not the number zero. Oh, okay. So O. O W, sorry, sorry. So like I said, if you are over on Facebook, definitely hop over to YouTube. It will definitely help you win. But all right, so we will be starting very, very soon. I think Travis is coming in as well as Josh. And we'll begin. First place gets reward, and second and third can get a booster. Alex, first place gets a reward. 777 says, what is this? Another card giveaway. Uh, seven, this is Guess That Pokemon. So I don't want to keep extending it. Like I said, the link is right here. It's a contest. There you go. It's a contest. We, per we got 600 members in our Facebook group, or we actually are past that now. But uh, as a thank you guys, I'm hosting this nice event. So winner will get basically a $25 gift card uh, for the stream. How's it going, Justin? What's up? Facebook is like a 36 or a 30 second delay, so jump to YouTube. Yeah, exactly. All right, so like I said, every every round will have a 30 second stopwatch. You have 30 seconds after you see uh, the image of the Pokemon to type in your guess. As long as you're close enough on the spelling, I'll give you the point. If you absolutely just type in the completely wrong Pokemon, you will not get a point. There are no half points. It's either a point if you get it right or close enough in the spelling to get it right as well. Okay, so guys, let's do it. So people can always jump in late. Uh, of course, if you jump in late, you have a less chance of winning, of course. Oh, it says, dang, I can't find my charger. I'll just watch this one. Okay. All right, so. The way it works is you will be getting a bar on your web browser. You'll just type in the answer and uh, click send. Only put in one answer because every time you put another answer in, it actually doesn't show on my screen. So it's just a waste of your time. And if you do want to change your answer before the 30 second timer is over, you have to switch it back to round one. You guys will see what I'm talking about when you guys start doing it. But it should be pretty simple. All right, so. We're going to get ready here. Let me get the stopwatch ready. And like I said, this one's a little more difficult. The first one we did was definitely a little more easy. And this one, I did up it up a little bit. Okay. So, good luck, everybody. And that's our first one right there. So like I said, I'm giving 30 seconds. Now that I look at it, 30 seconds might be too much. So I'll, I'll switch it up maybe to like 25 seconds, 20 seconds, because we're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and you guys will hear the beep. All right, so you guys hear that beep means the round's over, and I'm going to show you guys the answer, and it was Turtwig. So let's check who got it here. We had Turtwig, we had a Moo Moo, Leafeon, incorrect, Bulbasaur, incorrect, Plant Pokemon, Turtwig, Hi Sogger. Okay, I'll give you the point there too. All right, so that's how it goes basically. So you will get a point if you get it right. If you didn't get it right, you don't get a point. Matt, how'd you not get that right? Tra oh, Travis, I guess you can't play. All right, so that was Turtwig. <laughs> Bulbasaur, yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Easy. So I am going to change the timer to be 25 seconds because 30 might just be too long. Raphael says, where do we submit answers? You submit answers on this website here. We just started, so you will be a, like a round or two late, but you can still win if you're really good. So definitely hop over there quick. All right. Five seconds. Okay, so there was 25 seconds on that round. All right, let's see what we got. And of course, it was Dialga. Okay, we had Dialga. We had Pika, Lugia, Arceus. No, Dialga, that was close enough. Dialga, close enough as well. Someone gets Turtwig again. 
All right, so there it is. That's that round. So a lot of people have two points. So congrats to you guys getting both back to back. All right, Travis like Pikachu. All right, so if you are watching this over on Facebook and you want to play, we just started. We're on our like third round. There's a total of 25 rounds, so you can still come back. I highly suggest you guys move over to YouTube and follow the link that I put in the comment section as well. Bolt says, my computer is slow, and when I submit, it loads. Kyle says, yeah, it closed out on my phone. Hmm. I just thought this would be a better way than using YouTube chat as, you know, it's more fair because it doesn't go off your internet. All right. Dialysis. I like it. There's our next one. I type in same it loads. Mine loads too. Just says it's so much better. So I get scared when I submit because it won't show the answer. Uh, I mean, don't be scared to submit. You definitely want to submit. Okay, sorry. I forgot to open it. We're going to reset it. There it is. You have a lot of time to think about it. Yes, yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So sorry, first time using this website, so bear with me. So like I said, as long as you get close enough to the actual spelling. All right. So of course it was Steelix. Okay, somebody said Onyx. And unfortunately, I cannot give you the point on Onyx. Joanna said it didn't give me a point. I selected Steelix. Well typed. Okay. Next one coming up. I started playing from Pokemon Red, so I should do good. It says you didn't do a new round. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mark. No, this is a new round. All right, I'll let you guys put in your answers again, David. I'm pretty sure this is a new round. It's from Final Fantasy Kukuru. <laughs> All right, so this one's easy. Let's check it out. We got Skarmory, Scannery, someone said Spiro, Steely, Metal Burn. All right, so Steely. So check that out, guys. Uh, I can't give you the point on this one, guys. That's too bad. But I'll give you Scannery and Skarmory, and someone said Hi, Sogger. All right. So, of course, that was Skarmory. And now on to the next one. This one's hard. This one's hard. Very, very hard. <laughs> well, let's see if someone gets it. So, I did throw in some harder ones. So, that way it's easier. Because a lot of people get all of them right. Okay, so, let me let this thing load. Alright, and the answer was Cosmog. Cosmog Kush. Nebby, I think they call it Nebby, right? Alright, I'll give you Nebby. 
cotton, shit, I don't know, ice cream, and I don't know. At least you guys are honest. Giovanni says, still on four. So what you need to do is you need to, you need to scroll back until it says round one, I'm pretty sure. So if you keep putting in responses on the same question, it doesn't work. So you need to make sure you're on round one, I think, from your guys' end. All right. Next one coming up. I guessed the last two and didn't get any points. Okay. <laughs> well, to be honest, just go with it, I guess. Phelps like phone charger. Okay. We got Ella Kid. Ella Kid, close enough. Elect Kid. Electro, no, nah, the plug, Electabuzz, that's wrong, and Elected. Okay, there it was, Elected, or Elected, even I can't say it. Alright, ready for the next one. Jermaine says, ooh, I finally get how to use it. Yes, yeah, so like I said, you need to make sure that you are on, it's just a round one in your box every time. Well, says, how many questions? I believe there's a total of 45. Yeah, so exactly. You need to be on round one and not scroll up or move forward. Okay. No, Travis, there's 25. And it was Cresselia. Someone said Lunala, Lunara, Cresselia, Cresselia, Duckbill, and Misty Beard. I believe that is a duck with Kirby's Hayas going through it. <laughs> Alex says, I give up. Alex, don't give up. It's hard because I haven't watched Sun and Moon. Oh, it says, damn, my screen froze. So I guess, would you guys have rathered me do it um, through YouTube again? I guess is my question. Okay, here's the next one. Sam, I just got back to Pokemon. I guess I'm out then. It was fun. It locked me out of the trivia thing. Yeah, honestly, 777. I honestly don't know. He goes like, yeah, I definitely don't know this one. Yeah, no. I, like I said, I had to make some hard. Just, just need a better PC. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so the answer was Shiftry. Someone said Nuzleaf. That's the little one. Drift Tree. Damn, that's close. I don't know if I give it to Driftry or not. Sand Slash or Urshifu? Plain Wood Guy. That's the evolution of the little acorn guy. You're not wrong. Okay, so just Shiftry. We'll give it to just Shiftry. It was fun playing. I have to go full close. We'll listen in. So it says Shiftry. Yes. Okay. So right now, Joey, Dragonite something, and JMR are in the lead. Here's our next one. Easy, guys. This is easy.
Matt says, I don't know none of these, really. <laughs> How do you not know these, Matt? <laughs> that Pokemon is gross. Why? I like this Pokemon. Alright. Closing the vote. The answer was Metagross. Okay, we got Metagross. Metacrocs. Magnemite. I suck at this game. <laughs> Metagross or Fidget Spinner with four slides, you got that. And Metacross, you know, I'm feeling generous. I'll give you a half point. That was Nando. <laughs> Nando got the half. All right. Next round coming up. So like I said, I threw in some hard ones. I also threw in some easy ones. Imagine if he wins off that half point. Yeah, I know. But honestly, he deserve it. If he won off the half point, he deserve it. Just says everything's Pika. Alfred says Cresselia. Yeah, so if you guys are watching over on Facebook, you definitely want to hop over to the YouTube as it's quicker. Hey, King, what's up, brother? How's it going? That Pokemon is a snitch. You got that right. Okay. So, of course, it was Raticate. Someone said Ratatata. <laughs> Not Ratatata, unfortunately. That's like we're on the board. Fate Wood. Hey, this is Terrence. I just remember name. Okay, cool. So, Fate Wood, Terrence. Got it. All right. This is hard. If anybody gets this, I would be surprised. This is so hard. I, I turned it black and I was like, dude, I would not even get this. So this might be a decider right here. Are, are these from, yeah, both. These are from any gen. So we did this before and I did only the early gens. And let's just say it was too easy. It was too easy. So now there are some here that will definitely uh, throw you off. Hey, Shell, what's up? How's it going? Phillips is octopusy. Gloom got a haircut. <laughs> All right, so guys, five seconds to put in your answer. All right. And it was Volcarona. Okay, someone got it. Amistar, Volcarona, Volcarona, Volcar, Firebug, Flower Moon, Star You. No, not Star You. I have no idea. Larvesta. I think Larvesta evolves into it, so you were close. All right, so... Volker, Firebug, and unfortunately, that's a little too off for me, so you won't get the point there. Damn, we got all three people are still all in the lead. You guys have gotten every single one right, all three of you guys. <laughs> Daniel's dropping the loading signs. All right. The true Pokey Masters. I will give up, but I'll still play. Baby Jesus. All right, so there it is. We're going to stop the votes now. Okay, we had Sheninja. Sheninja Ninja Ass is incorrect. Sheninja's Ghost. Okay, Sheninja High Sauger. An angel with ALO, Ninkata the Shed Pokemon. <laughs> Can't give you that one, my friend. David says, don't answer in chat. That's true, guys. Don't answer in chat. If you do want to play, you can still hop in. This is the link. So if you do want to play, that is the link. Do not answer in chat. It does not count. Okay. Next round coming up. So that was Sheninja. And now, here we go. Next one. Yeah, Travis, of course you can make jokes.
Did that Pokemon get a new pose? I don't think so. All right, here it is. We got him on top, him on top, him on top. Muhammad Ali, Cho Chimo Jam. Him on top. Can I get a pog in the chat? There we go. Him on top. He got it. Okay, so three people still neck and neck. Jacob, you were one off. You are one off from catching up to them. This is why wow, I finally got back in. Yes, yeah, like I said, sorry if you guys are having tough technical difficulties. I've done this before and it went pretty easily. All right. Next one. I think when you grade, it takes away the text box. Yes, Angela, uh, Austin, it does. It does. So once I click stop, it doesn't let anybody type in any more responses. So when the time runs out, I click stop and that's it. So you can't actually enter in an answer if you miss the time. So like you guys hear that stop timer, click stop. But it might be a little delayed, so I'll give it a little bit. Because this is an easy one and not a lot of people have actually answered it. No, she says, where are the hard ones at? All right, all right, all right. All right, so marking it up, Heracross, Bug, Meta something, and Heracross. All right. So, of course, that was Heracross. Next round. All right, maybe this will catch somebody off. Maybe this will catch somebody off guard. I said, who's blowing a kiss? It's a spade. <laughs> All right. We have Love Disc, Heracross. Okay, so whoever, whoever put Heracross, you probably want to refresh your, <laughs> your YouTube because you're a little behind. Love Sick, we'll give you that. Love Disc, we'll give you that. Love Fish. We'll give you that. Love disc, hi. I pulled a rainbow Charizard. Nice. Love disc something. I don't have a heart. I said it's love disc. It locked me out again. Holy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening with you over there. But next round coming up. And it is easy. It's not even a competition for something special. It's making him laugh. Well, the winner gets 25 bucks to, to spend on the stream. So there is something on the line. I just simply don't know what to tell the people that are saying they got locked out. I don't know what to say. I says, oh boy, that's why low my stream was delayed. So yeah, like I said, there's a couple different possibilities in terms of why some people are having issues your stream might not be fully up to date which in case you should refresh your thing you might not be on round one of the box which means your answers aren't coming through or two you might just be locked out or having some issues with the connection or whatnot but either way this is probably the best way we can do it the most fair way we can do it just give everyone a free rainbow zard and we all good okay sounds like a plan sounds like a plan Okay, so, this one was Absol. Absol, Absol, I give up. Absol, Grim Reaper Dog. <laughs> I know there are rewards, but most of them are putting a funny answer. Well, yeah, so Volt, I think the people putting funny answers, um, you know, they probably know they're not going to win <laughs> at this point, so... Okay, here's our next one. So might as well throw in something funny if you know you got no chance, I guess, but.
It's God. <laughs> All right. Another five seconds. My ex-wife actually cheated on me when I was deployed. That's deep. All right. There it is. Okay. The answer was Blissey. 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 You have a Kirby who swallowed a Pokemon. It was Blissey. All right. Damn. All every yo. So Dragonite, Joey, and J Man. And Jacob, you guys have all been getting everything right. But, Jacob, unfortunately, you are one below. And this is looking like a tough, tough match. All right. Next one. We got some true Pokemon Masters among us, guys. Bowing out with seven points, let's go. Mark says, too late to join. Uh, Mark, you can still join. However, we are fairly deep in the questions. Okay, we got Polly Whirl. Oh, yeah, that counts. Somebody guess Polyrath. This is not Polyrath. This is Polywhirl. How many Pokemon left? Probably around five. Okay, here's our next one. My iPad be doing auto correction sometimes. Yeah, honestly, I should probably be more lean, right? On the spelling. All right. Give it another two, three, four. And done. Okay. We got Magby. Magby. Nuzlocke. Magby, I give up, but still Pog. There you go. You got it. All right. If Charmander had an Afro. <laughs> oh, J-Man went down. J-Man, you went down a point. We are now... It is a tie currently between Dragonite something and Joey. J Josh is like, no! All right. You can still come back, Joshua. You can still come back. There is a chance. They just got to mess up. There are some hard ones coming. I think. <laughs> I mean, I thought some in the beginning were hard, but people have got every single one. Well, it's still top three. That's true. That's true. See, Hefe, you get my joke, right? That was a good one, right? Okay, we got five, four, three, two, and stop. Okay, Graveler, 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 and Graveler. Damn, everyone got that. Everyone got that. You know, I got to sprinkle in some easy ones and some hard ones. It can't all be hard. They can't all be easy. Or it can't all be hard. All right. Next up, so that was Graveler. We got. Better bust out the Razzle Dazzle. So, so far, Joey and Dragonite something are super, super close. 
Super close. This looks like a dying Pokemon, to be honest. Travis says my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Meatwad. Alright. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. It was Stunkfish. Okay, Stunkfish. Someone said Magby, Dunsparce, Wimpod, Stunfish. We'll give you that. Stunkfish, Weeping Bell, what is that? Stunkfish, Bogchamp, like the stream and sub. That's right, like the stream and make sure you subscribe, guys. If you guys like, guess that Pokemon. Alright. Damn, still a tie. Still a tie. I'm, I'm, I'm checking every round. Alright, next Pokemon. This might get somebody. This might get someone in the top, I think. Maybe. Possibly. But yeah, he definitely did get flattened out by a car. We got a sweater in the house. So there are only a couple Pokemon left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. This one was Tang Growth. Tang Growth. Someone said Graveler. Tang Growth. Tangle Growth. Eh, okay, we'll give you that. No clue. Is this a Digimon? But like, what is that though? It's not a Pokemon. Tang Growth. Like and sub right now for free luck. Okay. Man, everybody's got it at the top. Everyone has still gotten it. Zach, you are so close in fifth place. All right, next round. Okay, this might trick somebody. Hopefully, because so far we got a tie. I got to get somebody off. He says, this is a whole gorilla. <laughs> also, that's me waiting for my wife. <laughs> Harambe, is that you? Five. Four. Three. Two. And stop. Okay. It was slacking. Someone said slow king. I don't know. What do you guys think? Someone said Slowking, because Slowking's a whole other Pokemon, guys. Slowking is a different, completely different Pokemon. The evolved form of Slowbro is Soul Slowking, so I don't think I can actually give you that point. Yeah, exactly. Have a Slow Slowking is a whole other Pokemon. Psychic, seriously, like and sub now. Oh. Joseph, unfortunately, you put Slow King. That had to have been you. Dragonite something is on is in the lead right now. Behind him, we got three people chasing up to him. So Dragonite something, you better not, you better not mess up because you got three very well capable competitors coming after you. Okay. This is autocorrect, Joseph. It was so close. Okay, this is the last one, I think. There might be one more, but I think this might be the last one. Cal said, where do I submit my answers to? Uh, on Trivia Rat, however, we are pretty much done. Pokeyal says, I'm here. Pokeyal, you missed it. You missed it. Last one is one of my favorites. Yeah, honestly, me too. That's why I picked it. Okay. Of course, this is Umbreon. Leafeon and Eevee when he hits puberty. I kind of like that. Umbreon, I played off of Facebook feed. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. So, oh, there's one more. 
Oh, okay, okay. We're gonna do this one quick. This is the last one. This is the last one. So I'm gonna open up the responses right now. This is the last one. This is the last one. Bolt says, I forgot it and put something random and now I remember it. Okay, this one might trip people up, guys. So it's not over yet. Now, this was up for a while before I opened up the vote. So we'll give it a 10 count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Okay. The answer to this one was Yan Mega. Ooh, they both got it. Dragonfly Pokemon. All right. So, guys, that was it. That was it. All right. So, as you guys can see, Dragonite Something is our winner for tonight's stream, getting every single question correct. Then we had J-Man and Jacob both also getting every question besides one. And Joey, man, you fell down. Two incorrect. And Zach, some good effort here. Nando with the half point too. Joshua says, that's a me. Okay. So Dragonite something. Joshua, you now have $25 store credit that you can use on the stream. Evan says, bro, he had the Pokedex in his hand. What the hell? <laughs> Fadewood says, I won. JK, let's win something else. So like I said, guys, thank you all very, very much. We hit 600 members over on the Facebook group. Josh says, what is second guess? Unfortunately, second does not get anything. <laughs> so unfortunately, only first place wins. And let's be honest, he got all 25 correct. He is a true Pokemon master. Uh, all the way from Gen 1 back to Gen 2, he basically got it all. Second is the first loser, pretty much, pretty much. Dragonite kind of sweat though, no lie. Fernando says double or nothing. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, if you guys do like guess that Pokemon, it does not take me that long to create a slide deck of them. So, it says I think I've seen all of those hundreds of times. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Congrats on the win. And like I said, thank you guys very much. Uh, for the 600 members, so we're always growing actually growing pretty fast and I obviously couldn't be doing that without you guys So thank you all very much And for those who do not know tomorrow we are breaking our Japanese team rocket box at 9 o'clock Eastern So literally an hour before the time it is right now in whatever zone you are We will be cracking open this Japanese team rocket sealed booster box and of course it has 60 packs. Our friends, listen, congrats to the winner. And he says, hi, everyone. I'm at work sneaking to say hi. Hey, what's up, Tony? How's it going? I hate autocorrect and freezing. He says, I'm going to miss you, man, when you reach 30K members. Remember us little people. Hey, I'll always remember every one of you guys. Everyone. Which set is that in the back right? It looks familiar. Uh, so check it out. So if you guys want to see some cool things, let's go ahead. Let's show you guys. So like I said, tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. We will be breaking a Japanese Team Rocket box. Now, all packs are claimed. A couple people, I'll check again, haven't actually paid for their spots. So, there might be like five packs still left for sale if somebody wanted to take the spot. Like I said, this will be open tomorrow. If someone doesn't pay by their spots uh, by tonight, they forfeit them. So, there will there right now, everyone's pretty much paid up besides like five different packs. So, if anyone does want to get in on this Team Rocket box break, it is $150 a pack. Uh, pretty much now is the last chance. And basically, if they don't pay, uh, you'll get in. Paul, what's up, brother? How's it going? Paul, we are all over on the YouTubes. Paul says, how much is a pack? The Team Rocket pack is $150 a pack. Dale says, ooh, who won? It was actually Josh. So Josh won. He showed that he's a true Pokemon master. He got everything from base set all the way up until Sword and Shield. He's got everything. He got Stunkfish. He got slacking. Gus says, let me get five chains path packs, please. Absolutely, you got it. So like I said, we will be breaking that box tomorrow. So make sure you guys are here at nine because it's going to be really, really nice. Also, if you guys will now notice, I do have um, Cosmic Eclipse 
as well as Darkness Blaze back in stock as well. Which just says you have Neo Discovery. I have one Neo Discovery pack left, I'm pretty sure. Also, Ryan, we do have a pack for you as well. So, Ryan, there is a box for you, my friend. Bob says, hey, Sogar, are Crobat V worth collecting or should I sell? Absolutely sell those cards. Those cards are only expensive right now because they are playable in the card game. So, once the set moves out of rotation, which is going to be a while, Crobat will definitely go down in value. It is just a regular V card. So, other than the fact that it is playable, that's where all the value comes from. All right, so we got five. Champion's Path coming up from my man, Kyle. Like I said, Josh, congrats on your win. You have $25 with me. So, Josh, you can do whatever you'd like. Uh, you have $25 to spend, so feel free to let me know when you decide what you want to use it on. All right, so first pack, I'm a champ and Malamar. For those who did miss, these are all from Hatterene boxes. So these are all from Hatterene boxes. Okay, we got Gardevoir V. Let me actually group the Caesar back here. Hefe says, don't spend it, Josh. Save it for money towards a tin battle. <laughs> Hefe loves the tin battles. Of course, if people do want to do tin battles, I have a ton of tins. Hefe says, trust me, you got this. That freaking Machamp is killing me today. All right, so Electric Energy as well as a Dredna. However, you know, that's not a Charizard, but two hits so far out of five packs is pretty good. And hopefully we can get you a Charizard. So we are currently on six shiny Charizards and two rainbows. So let's get some more rainbows. I love the Hatterene. I just pulled a rainbow and a shiny jar. Zard, check out my post. Damn. We've been having some pretty bad luck, to be honest, with the Hatterene boxes. I cannot lie. Joshua says, could I do five darts of blaze and use the other five on shipping? Absolutely. You could absolutely. All right, so Kyle, let's find your bag real quick. So like I said, tomorrow, look forward to that box break because let's be honest, it's going to be really, really nice. So that will be happening at 9. Okay, so Kyle, here it is. And as well as, I know you don't want your bulk, but let's give you the electric energy because it's a pretty cool card. Hop you here for now. I will take another rocket pack if someone doesn't pay. Just shoot me a message. Okay, DL, you got it. Bro, it's been a whole week since the Rainbow Zard for real. Yeah. Cal says my bag is CP. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. <laughs> so, we do have some more people that I got to get some packs for, but let's clean up the table. As well as, you do, everyone probably knows that our express mission, it was a 45 card express mission that went out yesterday. So, that's on its way to PSA. Of course, Kyle, I still have to do your two-day for Beckett, so I will message you about that tonight. But he did pull a Dark Charizard, so Kyle actually got really lucky. This is actually a very beautiful card. And on top of that, we have four staff promos. So for those who do not know, these are the Vivid Voltage staff promos. As you guys can see over here, it does say staff. So these are all four of them. And if you haven't seen these, you could get these out of the build and battle box. However, it will not be the staff version. So these are all four of the staff versions. We got Snorlax, Dawnfan, uh, Lugia, and Charizard. And some very good news about Vid Voltage is the amazing rares, well, good and bad news. The amazing rares are going to be pretty common. They are going to be pretty common. So, you know, they're probably not going to be super expensive, which kind of sucks. Uh, but pretty much people are getting like two, at least two. I think yesterday me and Chanel... I uh, saw a video where someone pulled like four. <laughs> okay, up next we got Cheese. He wants one hidden fates. Cheese says, cut a hidden fates. Oh man. Alright. Cheese, you want to cut this pack, huh? What's the status of our September bulk submission? I think that's when I put my cards in. Uh, Kyle, I can check. All right, so honestly, we could just show you what you got. And it's a Clefable, and it's a Fighter Energy. Not really worth cutting, but that's what you would have cut. Jeez, if you pulled a Charizard right there, I still would have cut it. Because you said so. I definitely would have cut it. 
The Rainbow Zard is there? No. Now, the Rainbow Zard wasn't there. It was a false alarm. But jeez, I should have cut it first, right? That would have been cooler. Okay, so Calvin says I want two Cosmic and two Darkness. Okay. So Josh, after this, my friend, we will get you your Darkness Packs. You didn't cut it? I'm unsubbing. <laughs> Cheese is a lunatic. Exactly. Jeez, no matter what you got, my friend, I would have cut it. I would have cut it. I mean, if you want me to go ahead and cut that Clefable, I can. I'll make you happy. All right, DL, I will let you know if someone doesn't uh, pay for their packs. So by midnight, my time tonight, if they're not paid for their packs, I'm going to just consider them forfeited. And if no one else wants their spots, I'll just take them for myself, honestly. He cut a card on another stream? Bro, full douche. <laughs> I says, geez, I don't even care anymore. I got my Zard now. King says, there's going to be some fire in the Cosmic Pack, dude. I hope. All right. So, some fresh boxes. Like I said, I did just get Darkest of Blaze as well as Cosmic Eclipse back in stock. And Calvin, you want two. So, let's grab you two out of both. Good luck. So, after this, we got Josh. He wants five Darkest of Blaze. But Calvin, good luck. All right, so we got Dunsparce and MBQ and Clink. Calissa Pod Hollow and a Turbo Patch that was a white code. Okay, Calvin, this is it. Charizard Brexen. Radon, Magnemite. That doesn't look like a Brexen. I'm going to find him. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so Lotus Fishing Rod Gold Card. Very nice snipe. Fresh booster box. And we're pulling out the gold card. Very nice. Okay, so gold card. Only four packs. Not bad, actually. That says I'll take 10 Cosmic. Okay. Okay, so Calvin, gold card going in. I think there's enough room for the bulk as well. Josh says, actually, let's do three champs and two darks of blaze. I'll pay the difference. Okay. So once again, Josh, congrats on that win, my friend. You got every single one correct. So that was pretty nuts. Kel says, got the gold. Yeah, Calvin, you literally cherry-picked that out of there. That was pretty impressive. Okay, so Josh, we got you. Three champs and two darkness coming up. Good luck. So just buying shiny cardboard. <laughs> Raphael says, anyone know if evolutions will be down in a couple of months? So Raphael, the way that I take a look at it is like this, okay? Right now, evolutions is skyrocketing. And to be quite honest with you, there will be evolution packs out there. The Kanto boxes, for those who don't know, those came out. The Kanto boxes have 10 cards, or 10 packs, excuse me. 10 Evos packs in every one of those boxes. As well as the Galar, what they call mini, mini Paltins. So there are Evos packs out there still. I don't think they will be doing any more booster boxes. And to be quite honest with you, there was a lot of hype uh, around it just because of the Logan Paul video. Okay, so Gardevoir out of one of the champs. But I honestly don't, I personally don't see Evos going up way too much. The, the best I would expect is it contains its price, but I don't think it's going to continue to shoot up too, too much. But that, then again, no one knows for sure. It's really just all opinion. Wow. 
Hey, we got a new subscriber. How's it going? First time with those with the notifications going, so I'm glad that worked. All right, so Josh, we did end up pulling you a Gardevoir, but unfortunately, that was it. Kings, uh, you build my baby apprentice, just be aware. Uh, not all the little tins have... Yeah, but so Tyler, there's two different types. You you need to get the right the right one. There's like one that's like purple. That's wrong. King Mosh says, is Hidden Fates still 50 a tin? A tin of Hidden Fates is 48. It's 48 for a tin. Not 50, 48. I have a booster box, and I don't know if I should keep or sell. Mm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not, I don't really like giving investment advice like i'll give you my honest opinion but like i said um yeah actually angelo did make a post and it was really really good so if you want to know all about those check out the facebook group and check out the post by angelo it was actually very good there's a certain type of tin that you want to look for and the other one is not really that good all right so josh we got you slow bro and gardevoir Okay, so coming up next, we got Tyler. He wants 10. Cosmic Eclipse. All right. So hopefully you guys had fun with the Guess That Pokemon. Like I said, it doesn't take me too, too long to make those, and I do like hosting them. So if you guys do like that, uh, you know, I'm open to using other things other than Trivia Rat, but realistically, that's probably just our best bet. So we'll see. All right, so. Oh, we got you 10 Cosmic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, Vivid Voltage, similar to Cosmic Eclipse, is going to be in the same fashion where, as you guys know, the green codes mean you have nothing. Terrence says, send some moolah over. You got it. I was at my Logan store. A guy was looking for some, and he thought the tins, but he didn't have, and he was so bummed. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to tell, though. As long as you're informed, you can basically figure it out. But if you just heard that those tins have it, there is another one that looks like it. But like uh, Cosmic Eclipse, the packs that have green codes can have those secret rare like full art Pokemon. Uh, Vivid Voltage is the same. So you could pull a pack with a green code out of Vivid Voltage and it could have the amazing rare. And I really like sets that do that. Like Cosmic Eclipse, it's really good because, you know, you'll get extra cards, like extra hits from the box. So Tyler, so far, nothing much. But Raphael, I will tell you this, I sold my Evos. But then again, I had got my Evos way back in the day. So the margin for me was just insane. So I kind of had to do it. All right, here it is. All right, so we got a Sil Valley. Probably not the best full art to pull, but it is still a full art. It is absolutely still a full art. And we'll take it. All right, Tyler, four more Cosmic. Psyduck and Decidueye. That was like, damn, dude. <laughs> we did get a full art. It was just a Sylvale. We got Eevee and Slurpuff. Loretta and Trevenant. Oh, man. Baywood says, wait, what does the green code look like? Cool, so I can show you right now. So this card, this one is a white code because we pulled a hollow or better. But in packs where you pull a non-hollow rare, the code will be green. So see right here, that's a green code, that's a white code. So these mean you have no hits usually, and that will mean you have a hit. But in Cosmic Eclipse, as well as in um, the new set, Vivid Voltage, they all, even the green codes can have an amazing rare as a hit. I was like, where are the trainers at? Dude, Tyler, it's funny because I literally was just talking about how these sets give you extra hits, and we didn't even get one. <laughs> so, that was a little, uh, a little weird. 
All right. So Tyler, that's actually rough. Only the Silver Valley. It was a full art, but definitely not the full art. It's still full art. Okay, up next, we got a nice little cocktail. Josh wants three darkness, two shining, three hidden, and four CP. Okay. All right, so two shining, four champs, three hiddens, and two shining. Man, I like that. I like that order right there. I was like, Tyler, let me get that sus food tin. <laughs> Josh crossing the fingers. Good luck, Josh. Good luck. We have a lot of good sets here in this little cocktail we got. And honestly, all you really need is a good hit from any of them, and it could be nice. All right, starting up, we got CP. That was like nice batch. Altaria and a bead. That says, I'll trade you for two packs of champs. Okay, so Metal Energy and Machamp. So like I said, Old Champs Path Packs did come from Hatterene boxes this time. Okay, we have the Upside Down. <laughs> and a Lucario. So hit coming out. Ooh, what we got here? It is a Graptalock. So a full art hit. Obviously, it's just a Graptalock. Sugger, you're correct on the green code. Just pulled a green code and then a gold water energy. Well, so technically the green codes usually mean you don't have a hit, <laughs> but um, on certain sets, there are things that are not really considered hits, such as the full art. Oh. Okay, so Shiny Baby, a Viper, as well as a Pincer. But yeah, so sets like Cosmic, the new Vivid Voltage set, and then if you notice, sets like Hidden Fates, every code is white, and that's usually on the special sets. Phillip's like, who got the, Phillip's like, who got the energy? Ooh, there we go. Very nice. So gold card, Aether Paradise Conservation Area. So very nice. All right. Okay, last hidden fates. Ryan says, I missed the tag. What's up, Ryan? I got a package from you today. So Ryan, whenever you're ready, my friend, we can uh, open it for you. Okay. On to the Shining. We got two Shining, two Lone Shinings. Okay, we are getting a Zoroark, so there is a hit coming out. I did from Crimson Invasion. Dude, honestly, I have not opened up a whole lot of Crimson Invasion. Oh, not a lot. Only a couple packs, probably. Not a huge fan of Crimson Invasion. Here we go. Shining Jirachi. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's check this puppy out. Now, it is a little OC, but I don't see any white dots. So that's actually pretty solid. Because as you know, on Shining Legends, the white dots is a pretty big issue. I says, oh, nice, that's your stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha, Ryan. Gotcha, 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 okay. I forgot, Ryan, I actually forgot that I purchased that. <laughs> I just buy so much stuff, Ryan, that sometimes it's like, eh, okay. But cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now we are on to the darkness. Poltergeist and Pincurchin. Okay, so Hollow Dark Rye. Okay, so Josh, the darkness was pretty cold. You did get a gold card out of Hidden Fates and a Shining Jirachi, so not that bad, actually. Not too bad. Apparently that gold sus food tin is only worth $4 now. Dude, honestly, if Champion's Path goes down, 
the like the regular cards other than the Charizards, I guess I could see that. Because it's a very small set, dude. It's a very, very small set. Not too shabby, I still need that test tube Mewtwo. Dude, we pulled one back to back. We literally pulled two of them back to back for Dustin. Alright, so Josh, let me check. I think you might have a bag still, or maybe I did ship it, but let me look. If not, I will create you another bag. There we are. Okay, so Josh, here's all your hits, as well as all your reverses. All right, up next, we got Terrence. He wants five Darks of Blaze and two Hidden Fates. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think 250 for the Jab Neo Rev is okay? Uh, Tyler, is that three or four? Is that three or four, Tyler? Okay, so Terrence, good luck. Apparently the gold, yeah, you're not wrong. The full art gold energies are actually probably one of my favorite things to look at. <laughs> uh, damn, really, Cal? I just said two because last time I looked, it was 16. All right, so coming out, we got Scizor. Oh, Neo 3. Dude, Neo 3 is like $200. Neo 3 is like a $200 pack. But if it's in a blister, I've never really... I've never actually seen a blister, Tyler. I've never seen a blister for a Japanese pack. Which says, when do you usually send the bulk cards out? Uh, so Richard, if you mean the bulk for PSA, uh, at the end of every month. So the bulk cards will be going out very soon. Probably this Monday, the bulk submission will be going out to PSA. I've had the VMAX of that, but not the V. Really? Okay, Leopard and Jigglypuff. Okay, so Darkness was a little cold. Richard says, okay, yeah. So Richard, bulk submissions go out at the end of every month. But Express, we do that. Try to do it every two weeks. Alright, so we got Shiny Baby Zerka Tree as well as a Trio Birds. I think it's a third-party blister. Yeah, so Tyler, I guess the, what I would say is I wouldn't really pay extra for a blister. Uh, because with the Japanese packs, as you know, you can't weigh them. So if you can't weigh them, the blister is irrelevant. You know what I mean? Okay, Terrence. Last one. Okay, so Cubone and Blaine. But you do get a birds and a sort. Uh, but yeah, so Tal, like I said, you can't weigh the Japanese packs, and that's typically why a blister is looked at uh, to be a little more expensive because the pack is truly unweighed. Okay, so Terrence, let's check it out. You probably do have a bag here. I just can't remember. I did do a lot of shipping. However, we do have a lot of bags still find it and then also matt i will be shipping out all your stuff with that return label um once we break the box open because i'll just stick your packs in there too we got tom hector zach terrence okay so we got trio birds circuitry and scissor so the darkness is a little cold and hidden is probably about average When you get a second, can you check my bag and see if there's anything you have on hand worth grading? I don't know if I even have there. Ah, uh, yeah, we can definitely check. Ah, uh, and then Ryan, we can do that for you too as well. So yeah, Tyler, like I said, I don't really know, especially if it's a third-party blister, it probably doesn't have a extreme 
like new value for it. You know what I mean? Okay, up next we got Calvin. He wants three darkness. Because like I said, you can't weigh Japanese packs. So as long as the pack is in good condition, the blister is irrelevant, I guess. I guess the blister would basically guarantee that you have a nice, fresh, minty looking pack. But, you know, I guess that's a different story. But I would say Neo 3 is like a $200 pack. Now, Neo 4 is expensive. If you said you got Neo 4 for $250, I would say that's a good deal. Rhymer and Thievel. And to be honest, it's been like $200 for a while now. Terrence says, did you find my bag? Yes, Terrence, I did. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Calvin, let's go, dude. Here we go. And the centering is pretty solid. It is a little thicker here, but not by much. Okay, the back is a little worse. So maybe a nine, but nonetheless, Calvin, let's get it. Calvin says, I knew it was coming. This is a good chance. Uh, close cards, 10, whatever is worth the expressor. Base says you're better. All right, so Calvin, very nice. And I know you have a bag. I think it might actually be back here. Okay, so Calvin, we're gonna make you two separate bags. One for the hits. Okay, so Calvin, I gotta get your stuff shipped this, this, this round. And Calvin, I do remember you'd like to use FedEx instead of USPS. So I got you on that. I have not forgotten. Let's get you a bulk bag. Heavy says, damn, what pack was that out of? That was out of um, Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze. So Calvin, you stopped going by bang, huh? <laughs> Calvin, you've, you've stopped going by bang, I've noticed. But nice, dude. Charizard VMAX. Very nice. Now, if we didn't already send out our express emission, I would have been like, oh my god, you could get that in now. But like I said, 45 card express emission. Ryan says, USPS is whack. I'm all for FedEx now. Yeah, I've actually been hearing that a decent bit, to be honest. I don't know what playlist this is either. <laughs> All right, so Philip, I believe you'd like one hidden fates, right? Gus says, I bet you pull another Zard in that box. That would be crazy. Just says, what did I miss? Just We just pulled a Charizard VMAX. Yeah, no more bang. I was a cheap keyboard no fan. I started using my Facebook account again and to buy cards from you. Dude, Calvin, I actually, when I was younger, I definitely thought Chief Keep was really hard too. Philip says, no, one CP and one Darkest of Blaze. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Philip, for some reason, my Streamlabs, I could open up at another page too. It wasn't showing any messages, so let me try to do that. So yeah, if you are new to the channel, you definitely could use Streamlabs. Uh, but if you know you've already been paying me the other way, I'd prefer that. But for any new people, you can use Streamlabs if you'd like. Flip says shipping and DMC is the minimum. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to put a minimum because if someone only sent in for like one Darius Blaze pack, the fees would just kill me. Fees would just kill me. Just like, God damn, everyone can get one but me. All right, Lip, here it goes. Also, Lip, we have this package, too, that arrived from you. So, Lip, package did arrive for you. So, Lip, we'll open that as well. All right. So, Lip, here it comes. Onward to the energies. Okay, we got Pincurchin and a Digzer Bee. Sent a Scorch and a Hatterene. Oh boy. Okay, Lip. 
Richard says, I'm looking forward to that box break tomorrow. Yeah, no, Richard, I am absolutely looking forward to it as well. Like I said, it'll be at 9. Okay, so Gardevoir. So we did get a singular hit out of those. So yeah, 9 o'clock Eastern tomorrow, uh, you'll see the box. So it should be really fun. Chanel says, does Streamlabs take any fees from you? Yeah, uh, so Chanel, Streamlabs basically just takes it like goods and service. So it's like, it's like three, it's two, it's 2.9% and 30 cents flat. So what really kills is the flat. Because if someone wants like one pack, then the flat rate kicks in. Philip says, did you open three CP? Ah, uh, no, Philip, I opened up one darkness and uh, two CP. All right, so Philip, while we're here too, let's go ahead and let's see what that package has for you. Miguel says, is the Zard flashing thing working now? Uh, I think it was working last time too. I think it was last time too, but I'm not sure. When Philip sent in money, it, hopefully it popped up with a little thing. All right. So, Lip, let's see what... I don't even remember who sent this to you. Okay, so energies. Somebody sent me a PSA sub and it had cards for you too, Lip. I don't remember who it was. Ryan says, open up yours next. Okay, got it. We can do that. It was Yoshi last time. Philip says it did pop up. Okay, cool. So look at that, Philip. You have some people that sent you some energies. It had to have been like Daniel. I think that might have came from Daniel or Mark. I saw Neo Food Booster Box on eBay. Yeah, Tyler, but that's way too high. That is way too high. It says sent right this time. I'm pretty sure if you could tell me if I did. Yeah, Dustin, let me check for you. Perfect, Dustin. Perfect, 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 my friend. All right, one Shining Legend and one Darkness of Blaze. Okay, we got Darkness and one Shining. All right, so the Darkness was a little cold. Also, Dustin, did you get your, um, your Mewtubes? I remember you said that they were coming soon. All right, so Reshu Ram and Pokemon Catcher. So Dustin, unfortunately, both were cool, my friend. But let's get you a brand new bag on the table. Awesome. So Dustin, uh, hopefully they arrived well. And like I was just saying, Dustin, uh, you know, back to back Mewtubes, bro. That was amazing. I'm really happy that we were able to do that. That was that was pretty crazy. All right, so Dustin, you do now have a bag. Unfortunately, you didn't really pull anything, but of course, I'll put these into your bag for you. Okay, up next, we got Joshua. He wants three unbroken, two CP, three shinings, and three hits. Okay. I've got a bunch. If I had money to buy, it would be fire. <laughs> it was insane. I got back to back. I didn't notice the white dots on the back. I guess I could be blind. Okay, yeah, Dustin, you definitely got to take a look because I remember seeing them clear as day at the top of the back. There absolutely is white dots unless they've like rubbed off. But I remember rubbing my thumb on it and it did not come off. All right, so Josh, good luck. We're dabbing back in with the nice little cocktail of packs. We got Gengar, not a hollow, but still looking cool.
<laughs> Your boy Lolo. You already know the answer, Lolo. But it is a it's a it's a carpet. I'm laying on the ground. I'm laying on the ground right now. <laughs> no, I love it. It's a blanket. It's like a little it's like a nice little soft blanket and I think it's better for the cards rather than a play mat. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right, so Moline. So Moline, full art, coming out of Unbroken Bonds. But yeah, so like I said, play mats can become kind of rigid after a while of using it, and my blanket's pretty good. Uh, as we open up a lot of vintage, and even some modern cars are really expensive too, uh, I just kind of think the, 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 the blanket that I use is probably safer. Okay, we do get a hit out of this one. Oh, here we go. We got Mewtwo GX Full Art. Very nice. Alright, one more shining. This says, you say they were at the top. Yes, yeah, so Dustin, the back top. The back top. Oh, no way. Oh, no way, dude. Sorry for broke you guys' ears out. This is one of, like, the top five cards in the set. Shining Mew coming out for Josh. Here we go. Check that out. Bro, and the centering is not that bad. Now, there is a little white dot in this bottom left corner. And the centering is slightly off, but not super terrible. But, dude, definitely at least a 9 and a small chance at a 10 on this guy. Josh, is it worth month? Yeah, this is worth this is worth a pretty penny. I, I remember last time I checked, it was like 40 bucks. Might have gone up, might have gone down. But, yeah, so Cal says 40 bucks. Yeah, so last time I checked, $40 card, that's raw, too. That's ungraded, it's worth 40 bucks. But, very nice. That is two hits out of Shinings. This is not bad. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. Of course, there's other cards in the set that are worth a little more. Leopard, we got a Duraladen. If he's like, yo, throw that in my bag. <laughs> Damn, alright, so Josh, we're actually getting you a pretty good amount of hits, my friend. We're not even, like, to the heavy packs yet. Like, we're not even at Hidden Fates yet. Okay, we got Venusaur. He says, I see white dots on one, actually, but not the other. I think it would have been a chance at a 10. Uh, to be honest with you, Dustin, I don't quite remember exactly how both cards were, but if I told you at the time, uh, you know, that it didn't look like a, like a 10, I just don't remember. Because, Dustin, I look at a lot of cards, and to be frank, I just don't remember. So, there's a chance, but if I told you that it didn't look like a 10, I probably saw something. Because I do, I do actually pay attention. I'm not just saying random, <laughs> random shit, so. Your boy Lowe says, did you order Vivid Voltage? Yes. Yes, sir, I did. And I actually cannot wait for Vivid Voltage. Because I was a huge fan of Legendary Heartbeat, the Japanese set, and Vivid Voltage is basically exactly that. So, ooh. All right. We got a Charizard. Granted, it's just the Charizard GX. Just says, yeah, you said one might. Yeah, okay, so then Dustin, like I said, I don't remember. Uh, but whatever I said on that day in the video is probably true. Probably accurate. I just don't remember, quite frankly. Okay, Josh, that was actually not bad, man. That was not bad. So it says, I called dibs on your first booster box of Vivid Voltage. Yeah, so I have... I think they limited me to five cases, unfortunately. I was hoping I'd get more. But I guess apparently the... the so this is actually what I'm hearing about Vivid Voltage. Is they're completely done printing them. They're not taking orders anymore. And after, like, December, I think the date was, is when they're going to print them again. So Vivid Voltage is actually going to be, from what I'm hearing, is going to be short supply in the short term. But then they're going to print it again, like, after Christmas or something like that. That's what I, the guy was telling me. But anyways, Shining Mew. Damn. Not bad at all. Dude, that's a lot of hits. Oops. Okay, so Josh, here it is. And you will be getting your reverses and rares, unless you don't want them. Tell Mouse, I'm going to go crazy on the stream when he gets them. 
So yeah, like I said, only five cases, which is a lot less than I had hoped. I need a sealed ETB and or booster box. Your boy Lowe says you can pre-order booster box for 150. Yeah, that's insane. Imagine paying 150 for the box. That is pretty insane. Josh says you scared me there. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Sometimes I peek to the, my corner to you know to see what the chat is saying, and sometimes I, I always come back and look. So usually with modern sets, uh, like new printed sets, I don't really go into the ETB market. Uh, things like Shining Legends, Champion's Path, uh, all that stuff, of course, I get ETBs for those. But for modern sets, because Pokemon releases four sets throughout a year, like every quarter. All right, so up next, let's see what I got. So I actually ended up purchasing a little collection off of Ryan himself. So give me a sec. Let me find my thing and let's open up this package. I need the sealed ETB and or booster box. Oh yeah, so like Kyle, look, what I was saying is I usually don't go ham on the ETBs. I can definitely order some if like people really want them, uh, but they don't do as well as the special sets. I like to at least throw a 1 ETB in the back of my closet for later. Yeah, honestly, that's not a bad philosophy, to be honest. Oh, shit. What we got in here, Ryan? We got some Yu-Gi-Oh. They just look cool on my shelf. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. The ETBs are very cool. But I won't, like, buy... Like, so, like, for every set where the ETB, in my opinion, is a really good investment, I'll buy 50. So like Champion's Path, I bought 50. Shining Legends, I bought 50. That's kind of just the number that I arbitrarily choose. You know what I mean? It's 50. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much how I do that. But like with things like, for instance, if I bought, I wouldn't buy Rebel Clash ETBs and things like that. But I totally agree. They definitely look cool. And they're definitely a little more collectible than a booster box just because they actually have a good appearance. All right, so let's see, what did I buy from Ryan? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So I actually really, really loved Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. I actually collected Pokemon for when I was like really, really young. And then I swapped over to Yu-Gi-Oh because I actually played the card game. And I really loved the show as well. Look at that, we got a blue eyes white dragon. Now, probably don't really know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, but this is SDK, so that stands for Starter Deck Kaiba. Not the more expensive one. The more expensive one would be the Legends of Blue Eyes, because this one came in every one of the Kaiba decks. So it was sort of like a promo card from today's Pokemon stuff. Need to get a sharper blade for your boss. Dude, awesome. The thing is, is I actually do. Like, I changed that blade recently, and it's already dull. And I think it's because... I think like things just get stuck to the tip, but yeah, I, I will. I'm, I'm planning on getting like a, a nice knife, like a flip knife. All right, so let's see what I got. So first off, I'm going to get this out of here. So Yu-Gi-Oh stuff is pretty cool in my opinion still. Now, definitely not worth grading. It has a giant dot in the back, but still cool. Nice little binder card. Now we got a Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket. There actually is like a little thingy here. So very weird like glow thing there. I don't really know what that is. Okay, so the back does have some very faint scratching along the back. But overall not terrible, terrible shape. But definitely not worth grading. Which says I did the same with Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, so like back in the day playing Yu-Gi-Oh! was actually fun. And I, mo I recently just looked into it and honestly... It's just a force. They have so many different things now. 
Okay, so the Typhlosion does have a little dink over here. A little uh, pressure mark. Oh, man. <laughs> this is actually very beat up. Very, very beat up. So there's a giant binder crease over here. Uh, is the tape resin clean it off with the goo gone and with 40? Oh yeah, so this Typhlosion does have a pretty big binder crease. So look at that. When I shine the light, you guys can see right here. Uh, it's pretty evident that there's a pretty raised surface right here on the back. So check that out. And yeah, it looks like a binder dink. Happens from the three, the three ring binders. And then there's also some light scratching on the back. All right, and an electrode. And pretty heavy scratching on the back as well. Okay. I just wanted to pop in and say goodnight. Been super busy the last few days. Yeah, no, Joel, I've seen, bro. I've seen, I've seen. Okay, then him on Lee has got definitely a lot of damage there. Tons of play and a crease. Okay, Steelix super, super played. Super played. When he cuts the tape, it gets stuck on the knife. So if he cleans it with uh, WD-40, it'll be a lot better. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I tried looking at magic. It's even worse. I feel with so many rules. All right, so nothing super, super spectacular there. I was hoping the Typhlosion would be in better shape, but it's actually probably worse than the Dragonite. In terms of grading at PSA. And then we got Grimer. Chilling at the top here. Alright, let's see what we got. Ancient Elf, Yami, Battle Steer, Hitatsumi Giant. I used to always use this card if anyone remembers that one. Clay, I play Magic three times a week, been playing for eight years, and still need to ask Judge Rules. That's crazy. Anybody here play Warhammer? Isn't Warhammer the one that's like really, really expensive to get all the pieces? Monster Egg. Summon the Skull, that's cool. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Joel says, where'd you end up snagging up the staff promos from? Uh, Joel, those staff promos are goldies. Those are goldies. Remove trap, trap wire, silver fang. I actually remember this guy. Got gate guardian. Sword stalker. And Mystic Clown. That is not hard. I just started playing last weekend, but I've been able to pick it up fairly quick. All right, so these are probably all just bulk uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's check out what we got for Pokemon. Ooh, we got a Moomoo Milk. Okay, it is a little beat up, but still a Moomoo Milk. Tons of energies. A Bailey from Neo Genesis. And a double promo card. <laughs> Warhammer is rather expensive. We host Warhammer events at our store. Yeah, so I just remember seeing a thing about Warhammer. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty expensive. Below says, I have seven double promo cards. Oh, I have so many more than seven. I have like a bajillion.
Also, a quick update on uh, PSA. So PSA, our new express submission, uh, is there. So let's quickly go there. Kyle says, can you check my bag? Yeah, Kyle, I got you right now. Let me just quickly uh, pop you guys over to the um, express submission. So let's go ahead and show you guys this. Like I said, 16 total items uh, just got put in today, and it's already on grading, and total of 16 cards. So yeah, hopefully this will be done by next week, or hopefully we'll have it back next week. Uh, this is Kyle W's. That's Edwards. A lot of these are Edwards right here. And then we have DL stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of cards here, and that'll be exciting. And like I said, our 45 card express submission also just went out uh, yesterday. Kyle says, when are you shipping my Zard to BGS? Yeah, so Kyle, I was going to message you today and I was basically going to do it tonight. Uh, but Kyle, I'll, 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 I'll basically I'm just going to message you and make sure you're okay with it because it is fairly expensive. I want Ancient Mute promo cards so bad. I actually have some sealed ones for sale. Clay says, was that yesterday's shipment? Nah, Clay, no way. <laughs> Bear City says, do I have to pay shipping every week? Uh, so Bear City, you only have to pay for shipping once I ship your stuff. So mostly it might be every week, yes. Uh, but sometimes you could ask me to hold your bag and then you don't have to. He says, how much? Uh, 45, um, 45 for a sealed Mew. So 45 for a sealed Mew. I'm in the process. Let's play for a, dude, I hope, I hope. But after you show me the gold label price, I mean, even that would be nice. Okay, so Kyle, you actually don't have much here, it doesn't seem like. So let's see what you got. So you just had a Curlia. <laughs> so Kyle, you just had a Curlia, Gardevoir, and Dredna. Now, there is a chance that I either might have another bag for you on the table, or I shipped out your stuff. So I guess I can quickly take a look to see if you have another bag. That's Kyle Warren. And so yeah, like to answer your question, Bear City, um, if you want me to hold your bag, I can. But typically, I will ship ship people stuff like every week. Uh, but I guess the one case is if you don't really want your bulk, so like your reverses and your rares, uh, then your bag can pretty much stay for a very long time. Okay, Tony, I got some stuff I got to ship you too, my friend. Justin, Matt, Matt Thomas. Mark, Andy, Andy, I actually got to ship you too, my friend, from George. Okay, so I did, that's all I got for you. All right, so did you take a look at the stuff for the bulk we sent? Uh, Brian, I didn't actually examine them. I just slabbed them all up and got them ready. Bear City, I think you shipped mine already. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, so Bear City, you should have got a, um, a email. And you have an ETB for me as well. Yeah, Kyle, I have the ETB for you, yes. But yeah, so Bear City, you should have got an email from me. Sagar, uh, put the food in Kyle's bag. Okay. Joel, do you have a lot of package thieves in your neighborhood? And so I was very happy. So I don't, I don't think Tyler, I don't think your package has arrived yet. But Floyd, who got the PSA 10, uh, his package arrived today. So that was good. And actually, guys, Chanel has both of these slabs up on eBay for sale. So we could take a look at that as well. And of course, both of these belong to Matt. Those will be going out with the return label after we do the rocket break. And two for Brian. These will be going out after Rocket Bake, and that's Chanel's as well. So Tyler's got shipped, Edward's got shipped, and Floyd's got shipped. Got a BGS Zard I got last night. Nice. When one of my Jap slabs come back, it's yours, bro. I feel bad for missing that ding. Okay, Ryan, I, I, I hopefully I remember, <laughs> but Ryan, yeah, definitely was a, definitely a bad deal for me, considering how much I paid and the condition of the cards. Not that I know of, never had issues until recently, but I have cameras set up and the USPS driver never showed up at my house, showed it as signed and delivered, but he never showed up at all. 
That 9.5 ended at 4. Damn. That says, bro, I'm ready for the rocket break. Yes. So talking about the rocket break, let's do a quick look. So if you go over to our Facebook group under announcements, in fact, I'll just show you guys. Uh, oh, my keyboard is going crazy. All right. So under announcements, actually, this is over now. We got to remove it as an announcement. Uh, but yeah, so this is a rocket break. This will be happening tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So, uh, as well as map paid as well. So, the only people that have not yet paid are listed here. So, Paul, but Paul actually reached out to me. He said he'll pay me that day, and I told him it was cool. And uh, yeah, so actually only two people have not paid for their spots. Like I said, not many packs left. Uh, James is really excited, so I'm pretty sure he's going to pay. And then the last one is Tech Gamer or Ulysses. So this will be getting broken. Like I said, if they don't claim their packs in time, I will happily take them. I'll message you later. I need all rainbows besides Kabu, Venusaur, and Zarts. Actually, Tyler, if you want me to take them out of the submission, I absolutely can. Uh, just let me know. I'll see you tomorrow. Got to get a few packs for Elizabeth opening tomorrow, but Saturday will be forward to open some good voltage. Nice. Good night, Philip. I'll see you soon. Chris says, how many packs are left for the rocket break? Uh, Chris, as of right now, pulled cards during the Pokemon event. No way, you pulled it during the event? That's actually hilarious. And Angelo, I use the same exact box you do for it. Uh, but yeah, so Chris, as of right now, I think Ulysses is probably the last one. And if he does not pay for his spot, Chris, you can definitely have his spot. But other than that, they're all taken. I have five of them reserved for myself too, so... We sold a total of 55 and 5 are for myself. Oh yeah, so pretty good. And like I said, that'll be happening tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. So be there or be square. And like I said, everyone's paid. Paul will pay. Um, Ulysses might not pay. So honestly, Chris, if you want a spot, let me know. Because I basically said by midnight, if they don't pay up, their spot will be forfeited. So I'd have no problem, Chris, swapping you over if you wanted to pay for it now. I'll give you a spot. And then James, I had a conversation with him. He actually wanted extra. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. Like I said, in the event that no one pays for it or whatnot, um, I'll just take their spots. I don't mind at all, actually. George says, how many spots are left? Um, Basically, one right now. And I guess Tyler said that if anyone wants to pay him for their spot, he they can. So if you give Tyler 150, you can have one of his spots, basically. I would say USPS a fall for this. Driver should be fi definitely fired for this. It's illegal to sign for people's mail. Joel, I'll tell you right now that I have never signed for a piece of mail in like probably almost a year now. Not a single person um, or not a single driver, mailman, anything like that actually comes and makes me sign. They just always drop it off. But it should be a very, very good stream tomorrow, guys. With the rocket break happening. You have USB assigns for it to me if they hand it to me. Actually, now that you mention that, Clay, that's a good that's a good that's a good thing to mention because I pretty much always see my mailman. <laughs> like Alright, and of course. We got a sealed Team Rocket box. I really want to open it so, so bad. Oh, 
All right, and so I'm gonna quickly take a look as well. Let's check over here. They don't want you to touch the signer. That makes sense, Clay. That makes sense, actually. All right, so Kepsio. So Clay wants his pack open. Christian wants one pack open. Tyler wants five packs open. And then we got a bunch of sealed, 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 sealed. Ken wants one open, one sealed. Chanel wants two sealed, one open. Freitas wants all sealed. Matt wants five open. Tyler got another six, so three open. Sealed, 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 sealed. And open. So, not many people are actually opening up their packs. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. Obviously, if you open up your pack, you're kind of giving up inter you're giving up inter information to other people too. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to be out of town the next few days, but I have to figure out a day to open the mystery boxes live. Yeah, Kyle, like I said, dude, uh, do that. Definitely live stream that. Richard says, I want mine opened. I think I put sealed. Okay, Richard, let me switch that now. All right, so kept sealed. I'll change that to zero. Okay, so Richard, we'll get yours open. Brian wanted this to be sealed too. Paul said, it's not going to be as exciting with all those sealed packs. Well, yeah, that's true, but, you know, the only real way to sell them all was to offer both. You know what I mean? Had I said you have to open the pack, then we probably would have had a lot less people. To be quite fair, though, to be quite fair, I would have loved to do... Honestly, I would not have been opposed to just doing it where I did with my Gym 2 box and opening it and just keeping it in the corner and just selling it over time. So it says, thanks, Joe. I'm going to get all of them graded in order, too. So, Tyler, the Team Rocket box only has one art. There is no... There's only one artwork. Yoshi says, what's going on? How's it going, Yoshi? What's up? So, if anyone does want to do any tin battles, let me know. We've been doing, like, a tin battle pretty much every day, and it's pretty fun. So, like I said, our second Express is in PSA. It is in the grading phase. Gerardo says, Tyler, do I pay you or Royal? Uh, so Gerardo, if you want, how many packs did you want, Gerardo? Because you can probably just pay me and I will give you uh, Ulysses pack. If you only wanted one. Gus says, yeah, I was hoping we could do the spreadsheet again. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, Kyle, I know, man. It's kind of sad to me too because the spreadsheet's really, really cool. But it is what it is. Like I said, it is what it is. You know, some people want them kept sealed. Had I said everyone needs to open them, then I'm sure we would not have sold out the box, right? So. Travis says, any hits tonight? Uh, Travis, our best hit tonight was a Charizard VMAX from Darkest of Blaze. Well, if no Zards get pulled on the open packs, I'm sure people open their packs. Yeah. I don't know. I, DL, that kind of also makes me a little, like, not angry, but it's kind of just, like, you know, kind of messed up. Like, if people open up their packs and don't get anything good, then what? You're just going to be like, oh, I want to open it now. You know what I mean? So, I don't really know. It's, it's difficult. But at the end of the day, people can pick, you know, if they want it open or sealed. That's kind of just what I did. Uh, do I send the money for Tyler? 150, you said. Uh, so, Gerardo, there's one spot right now available open from me. So, Gerardo, if you want it, do you have Venmo or PayPal? Because Ulysses hasn't paid yet, and I'm not really going to wait for him any longer. So, that way we could have it all squared away, and tomorrow won't have to worry about collecting payment. We could just get it going. Damn, this playlist is else but yeah so Gerardo as long as you live in the US it's 150 shipped and you can have the pack uh, kept for you opened or sealed so either way this is I'm not sure what I picked for my pack but open it up okay so DL oh yeah so DL you said to keep it sealed but now I'll put you down as opening okay 
Gerardo says Venmo. Yeah, okay, so Venmo, or so Gerardo, the Venmo is in the description. Just send over 150 and I'll get you sorted in terms of um, that. This place is for people high on LSD. <laughs> you can tell certain music is out there. We were at a rave. I just put on like non-copyright stuff. And I basically just pick whichever, like these are all like gaming playlists. And sometimes like this is, dude, this is in every video, come on. All right, so Jordan, let me know whenever you do that and I'm gonna remove Ulysses and change him with you. So we have a total of 24, including myself, uh, different people in this box break. You guys like the music? <laughs> so like I said, really, really looking forward to it. Kyle, I will fill out the BGS form for you tonight and you want a two day, right? You're sure about the two day? Only pack I need now are base set, Neo 4 and Neo Gen pack. Yo, Tyler, you're actually catching up. Tyler, I guess I slowed down. I, I've been waiting. So I basically, the way that I got my packs were like through collection purchases and stuff like that. And um, this is where I'm at. So I have base set. I have jungle. I have fossil. I have team rocket. Gym one, gym two. And I'm missing Neo Genesis and Neo 3 and, and Neo 4 because I fucking opened up the other ones. I needed a Shining Magikarp and a Shining Gyarados, so I opened up my Neo 3 and I didn't get it. But, um, but yeah, so that's my pack collection so far. I need Genesis, I need 3 and 4 as well. Call Collectibles Guru? <laughs> just as I just need Neo 3. Damn, y'all close. Y'all closer than me then. Did you guys see that they actually got a real box today? They uh, went and they opened up a box and it was legit. I might probably some Neo 4s, but they were pretty expensive. Well, dude, DL, they're pretty expensive still. Guru will sell me a fake, absolutely. Yeah, they got a legit box today. Yep, Joseph, you're absolutely correct. I don't know, DL, if you got a if you got a Neo 4 DL, slide up my way. I'll pay I'll pay you a decent amount. <laughs> I'll pay you a decent amount. <laughs> But I'm missing Genesis, and I'm missing Neo 3 and 4. Daniels in the house, Dan, what's up? I don't want to see Leonard open up Vivid Voltage. A lot of people have been opening up Vivid Voltage. So Daniel, hopefully you are excited about tomorrow's box break. So I was like, hey, Sucker, I called dibs, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> this is, I didn't watch it yet. But yeah, I just need 3 and 4 and Genesis... And I've never had a pack. I never had a Neo Four pack in my hand, but I've had Genesis and um, Neo Three. But I've never had the Neo Four actually. But they, I, I know Neo Two is around like two hundred dollars. Neo Three is around two hundred dollars. Neo Four is like three fifty, I think. Last time I checked. You know the rule of dibs. I might trade for a Neo Three plus some cash or store credit. Ooh. I was gonna watch it. I was gonna watch it by. But Sagar went live. Sagar is life. Sagar is love. Well, just that actually, I, I like that. Thank you, man. So if you guys want to hear of some pretty crazy things. Oh, this is what I want to show you guys. All right. So Chanel, hopefully you don't mind me putting you not on blast, really. But like I said, Chanel put these both up sequentially. Yeah, so how's stream bad? Yeah, pretty good actually. We pulled a Charizard V Max. We also did a Guess That Pokemon. So we just played Guess That Pokemon uh, not too long ago. All right, so I go here, and uh, there's actually one at auction right now. Just as yeah, it's cool. Okay, cool. So guys, check this out. Let me show you guys.
So as you guys know, Chanel did pull back-to-back 10s. -back so these are hers. In fact, I took this picture for her. You can see the, you know, the carpet, quote-unquote carpet. Uh, but that is up on eBay right now for her. It ends in two, almost three days, and it's at 3.1 grand. And yeah, so Chanel, I mean, they're pretty much bidding against each other. But like I said, there are a lot of new people in the hobby. So the fact that he only has three feedback is not necessarily super sketchy. But it says, how much is base set going for? I think last time I checked, it was like 400. Oh my God. What? There's no chance. Dude, what? What the fuck? Yo, you're telling me if I broke my box right now, it'd be 36k? Dude, I got offered 25k. I'm so glad I turned it down. Oh my god. Justice so Saga sitting on a gold mine now. Yes. Yes. Christian says, can you check fossil? Yeah. Give me one sec. Saga, so next month you're going to have 40k. Dude, I mean, I wanted to break the Japanese box for you guys, but dude, to be quite frank, I just don't know how we're going to get enough people to sell the packs at this price. I just don't think I have that much of a of an outreach. You know what I mean? I would love to break the box, but 700 here too, dude. And these are all just unweighed. Gerardo says that one, right? Uh, Gerardo, you did not send me any message following that, but you're, I'll, I'll, it's in the description, but I'll give it to you one more time over here. I think the packs must be rapidly diminishing since the new surge interest, but I guess there's no way to know how much is really left. No, that's true as well. That is ve definitely true. So look at that, guys. 160 180 190 i'm selling my fossil packs at like what 140 so i always try to beat ebay because the way i look at it is if i sell it on ebay and you know i lose 10 percent, i would lose 16 bucks here i might as well sell it to you guys at a cheaper price right but fossil is pretty expensive that box was like 7k a couple months ago a certain youtuber told me he'd sell me a pack for 850 or trade for three packs in my expedition. Tyler, are you talking about Z and G? <laughs> Z and G? He says, check the English. Well, these are first edition. Thank you, Sauger. I sent. Yes, Gerardo, I just got it. So let me quickly... I don't want to leak anybody's information, so let me pop you guys back over here. And... Let's do this real quick. Okay, so Gerardo, I got you and my friend, mark you down as paid as well. So perfect. Alright, so like I said, everyone's paid up, so this box will be getting broken tomorrow. Alright, so. Rafael said, how much did the base set booster box sell for? Uh, the last one sold for like 18 grand. So Gerardo, I am actually going to send you all of a sudden 154 rock pack 
Dude, Travis, whenever I list, whenever I come up with my prices, I literally check eBay. The rocket packs were selling at 180. 180. All right, so Gerardo, I do need you to fill out this form for me, my friend, okay? So you need to let me know if you want the pack open or sealed, and then you're also going to put your address and everything else in there as well. So that's the link for that, Gerardo. That You do need to fill that form out, okay, Gerardo? But all right, so like I said, the vintage packs definitely went up. Uh, you know, I remember back in the day, we were selling Gym 2 for like $80. Now you can't find them for above 200 or like less than 200 I'm getting desperate for the base set now. I'd probably buy one before I traded my expedition pack, though. Honestly, it's probably going to go up, dude. Tyler, imagine if you won that auction, Tyler, for that broken box, dude. Now, I wish I hopped in there and got that box. I would have paid 15 grand for that base box. Easily. Easily. But yeah, so the last base box sold for like 17, 18 grand, and then you've got to count tax. So a little, probably around 20k is what it sold for. If I pull a base on my random boxes, I'll sell it to you. Oh, Kyle, I doubt they're going to have Japanese base. I doubt it. But um, the fossil appears to be going for around 250. Oh, I realize you guys can't even see my screen anymore. Yeah, the fossil appears to be going for around 250, as you can see here. Unweighed, quote unquote, unweighed. But if you know it's light, it's definitely worth way less. Um, um they have the German first editions. I was working, I, if I was working, I'd be buying a lot more. Sorry if my bag looks a little low. Don't worry about it, Joseph. Some guy opened three boxes yesterday and got a fossil. Really? The main problem I have with these boxes is I would not buy them off of eBay because you can weigh them for sure. So, yes, says don't apologize. Yeah, exactly. Why would you apologize? No need to apologize. Joseph, you're almost every stream, my friend. So don't need to apologize, Joseph. Keeping me company in the chat is all you need to do. Because <laughs> I'm lonely, man. I'm lonely. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, so also, Paul also just paid for his pack as well. Okay, so we're pretty much, uh, we're pretty much going. All right, so Paul also did just pay as well. So everyone is paid. Really good. All right, so the, like I said, the last person that needs to pay is James. He got two packs. He really wanted them too, so. Uh, but yeah, so even if he doesn't pay, then boom. Boom, boom, boom. So we will definitely, most definitely be breaking this box tomorrow. You have the hammer power now. It's just if you have the rest of your life to spend, if you want, you at least know the problem and can't control your spending. You don't want that. Just says, let's open it up now. No, Christian, we will, we will open it up tomorrow. We can't open it up now. Uh, the time is scheduled to allow people to make it, so we will open it up tomorrow. Because that's what I told people, and I don't want people to miss it. It's like, oh my god, don't abuse your... That's true. Don't, don't abuse your power. That's a quick way to lose mod. And people ask, how do you get mod or whatnot? Simply by... By being by being helpful like to be honest Joseph you deserve it you're in most of the streams you also basically tell people it says bro bro j sold on Jap fossils has jumped up to 179 a pack today yeah just we were just looking at that very very expensive packs yeah Justin we were just checking the um, soul listings on the fossil so good pickup on the box my friend Trevor says, how are you going to decide who gets what rocket pack? Oh, so that's pretty simple. So it was based on the forms. Uh, so basically, I'll show you guys the form. If you guys would like to see it. 
All right, so here's the form for the rocket break. And if I go to responses here, I don't want to show off too much. Emails are cool, but they're all in order of basically how you did it. So you can see here, Clay's first, and then we'll go down and down and down and down. So that's how that works. Just says, yeah, I decided to crack it instead of to sell it. Yeah, no, Justin, that's not a bad idea, to be honest. These the singular packs do pretty well. We've got a Mew in the first. Nice. So yeah, Mew, Gengar, um, Dragonite, of course. Those are the best. Those are the best. Working couldn't pull out anything. I'm furious. I'd rather give my money to Saga than at a store. Thanks. Thanks. But yeah, so that's how I picked that. Uh, but I don't want to go too further on that to show any information. What does clicking option one do? Wait, yeah. Oh, sorry. The, the option one. Don't don't worry about option one. I think I might have must have must have misclicked, Gerardo. So don't worry about it. Travis says, "Is Mew in the rocket set?" No, Travis. He, uh, we're talking about Fossil. Fossil has the Mew. So this. So this this pack right here has a Mew in it. Fossil. But yes, like I said, that should be really, really exciting. Um, I will follow the form. So unless you've already told me elsewise. You said, hope all is well, man. Great streams. Guys, awesome dude here. Yeah, so Justin, we are over on YouTube now. So Justin, the face, the reason you're probably wondering who I'm talking to, Justin, we're over on YouTube. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description. King says, I'm back. What's up, King? How's it going, brother? Tyler says, I've opened up a fossil Mew with Sagar. Yes, yes, you did. Tyler, you actually opened it up on TikTok. I remember that. But yeah, I really just cannot wait. I cannot wait. And then the other way to figure it out is right here as well. This is the exact list too. So this is the order. Now, I will say that if you look here, um, I don't have how many people are keeping a sealer open, but your sealed packs will be picked first. So the way I'm going to shuffle up the whole box, if you wanted sealed packs, I'm going to pick all the packs for you sealed first. And then if you wanted it open, we'll open up your packs after the sealed ones are picked. So that's how that goes. Well, it should be pretty easy. Like I said, if you live in the U.S., shipping is covered by me in the price. And 150 for a pack fresh or a box fresh pack is actually really goddamn good for Rocket. Getting 300 more packs of vivid voltage. Nice. That's actually pretty good, King. That is pretty good. So like I said, once again, thank you guys so, so much. We hit 600 members. Trip says, nice. Any band cards in Rocket? Yes, Travis, there are a, there's one band card. It's the Naughty Grimer. Not Japanese. We'll do yeah, Japanese Grimer PSA. We'll do ten. How is there thirty-one people in here and only two likes? Like, share, subscribe, and click post notifications, and no one soccer goes live. There we go, Joseph. Joseph, perfect moderator right here. Okay, so PSA ten. The guy's asking two hundred. Oh my God, guys! Listen, anybody who's opened up Vintage with me, I am so happy for you guys. Last time I checked, this card was $90 to $100. The PSA 10 is now $200. $200. Guys, these packs, especially if you've been a part of the channel for a while now. Like, dude, we opened up Gym 2 like two months ago. Dude, we were selling packs for $90 each. Those packs are now $200 today, and the cards are even more expensive. Naughty Grimer sold... Well... Yeah, these are separate cards. Dude, this is a 1-4. That's a 1-8. These are two separate cards. Oh, sorry. You guys can't see my desktop. So check that out. Naughty Grimer. This is from Team Rocket. And a PSA 10 is $200. Last time I checked and every time I told you guys, I said 100. It's gone up. Let's check Naked Misty. Oh my god, it's still up at like $600. Now guys, look how much Misty's tears we've pulled on this channel. Look how many we've pulled. This card is now $500, $600. Oh my god, guys. 
If I opened up all my fucking boxes myself and just sent them out to get graded, I probably would have made a fortune. But it is more fun opening with you guys, so. And you can see here, it used to be three. Well, actually, this was on October 19th, so not too long ago. And before that, $6.99. And we have like 15 of these cards out in one of our subs. King says, I have two of those. Yeah, well, these are PSA 10 too, so keep that in mind. All right, so here it is. Uh, someone had asked me about the update on um, our Express. So our second Express is in. So it got put in today. So this was our 16-card Express. Kyle, of course, you have that Misty's Tears that we were just looking at. So hopefully you pull that 10. And DL, your cards are in here as well. If Sagar opened, that's true, DL, I opened up five packs, not a single Misty's Tears. I wanted to get into that Express with Kyle, but I couldn't. But yeah, so that's what this is, a 16-card order. Our next one went out yesterday. That was a 45-card order, and there was a lot of fire in that one. For those who remember, Danny actually ended up uh, pulling these out of his packs. He let me keep the Vulpix. So that was pretty cool. So that's an off-center Vulpix. And yeah. So, pretty cool. That should hopefully get back soon. Screw that. If you opened up all yourself, you would get at least two of them. <laughs> I mean, dude, the, the rate at which we were pulling them, it was every other pack. Literally, if you bought two packs, you would get like a Misty's Tears. And if it pulled, and they all look like 10s too. And if it did pull the 10, you made profit instantly without even counting your hollow. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. He says, why express a Vulpix? Ah, so I didn't really want to express it at first, but then Joel offered to pay half the price. And um, uh, DL also paid 20 bucks for it too. So the card was super off-centered and we just kind of wanted to send it in to send it in. I opened up a rocket box three months ago and got two Misties. Uh, King, you don't get the Misty out of the rocket boxes. Andrew says, you can make one. I'm always here. Don't question the Vulpix. Nah, it, it's more just, it was just more for like a fun thing, you know? What is Misty in? Uh, the Misty is in Gym 1. I don't have any Gym 1 packs. The Misty is in Gym 1. So in terms of packs that I actually have... I can show you guys. So let's put all these slabs back here. Like I said, Kyle, I'll get that out packed up for you tonight. Alright, so let's see what I actually have in my arsenal here. So I have a couple of Team Rockets left. A decent amount of jungle. Here it is. Got one Gym 2. So I thought I sold out, but I actually had one of each. That I must have set aside for some reason. And the rest is fossil, I believe. Oh yeah, so this is... I have one singular Gem 1 and one singular Neo Dis uh, Discovery pack. I says, hope that means my Blaine Zard is rising in value. Matt, what's up, brother? How is it going? Just let me know when you want payment. Yeah, so once... Um... Once the cards are like actually closer to coming back, Kyle, I'll start asking for payment. I just got done filling it out, but every time I answered sealed, it would say error. Must be a number, so just type 1 if you could send it sealed. Okay, so Gerardo, you want to send sealed? That's all I needed to know. Perfect. But I need your, as long as you put your address and stuff like that on there too, that's good too. I just need your address and email and stuff. Okay, so Gerardo, you want it kept sealed. You got it, my friends. I'll buy you two interface pack if you ban cheese. <laughs> cheese told me yesterday he was waiting for stream so he can cut cards. He must be really sick today. like nope not abusing my power absolutely not 
Yeah, Tyler's like the little devil on the shoulder. But, pretty nice. Actually, Matt, if you're still watching, my friend, somebody, because I, I showed off your BGS on my TikTok, and somebody said they trade a PSA 9 shine, Gold Star Rayquaza, PSA 9. Bro, I think that's a pretty good deal. I don't know how much the the gold label Zard is going for, Matt, but, dude, that's a Shining Rayquaza. That's, like, one of the most valuable gold stars. But, we'll see. But like, I, I told him, I was like, you know, it's not really my card. <laughs> so. It was like, oh, fuck, Gold Star Ray Ray? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he was being serious, but let's let's check. So actually, check it out, guys. It's actually kind of crazy. So this is my TikTok page. And you guys probably can't see it very well, but I made a video about Matt's gold label. It's got almost 40k views. And let's see. Somebody 100% said something. Someone, someone type me sitting here with CGC. I actually started laughing. Trade you with PSA 9 Rayquaza Gold Star? Question mark. I don't know if that's actually down to happen, but you never know. Sometimes the people are being serious. But an art is amazing and very hard to find these days. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, it's not, not my card, but I would, I'd would let Matt know. And if he wants to do it, I'll follow up with that guy. Justice, I would definitely do the trade. Oh, absolutely. Hands down. I'm going to do no Pokemon November impossible challenge. <laughs> no Pokemon November. So I guess I wanted to ask you guys, how would you guys feel if I basically stopped streaming on Facebook <laughs> and only streamed on YouTube? How would you guys feel about that? Yeah, that's a crazy good trade. Oh, it's it's a that's why I think it might be fake obviously but who knows sometimes dude sometimes people are pretty crazy just says you should stream on tiktok also yeah joseph i have done that before but usually my phone ends up dying if anyone needs a gold star ground on, let me know. My buddy owns a low car shop hazard for sale, and it's in really good shape. Matt says, I just have to switch platforms. Yeah, because Matt, right now we got three people over on Facebook, and we got 50 over on YouTube. So I think a lot of people who were viewing on Facebook definitely swapped over. And I think if I started just streaming directly to YouTube, I could actually make the, the stream a little more uh, better. I'd say on YouTube be fine, but do an alert on Facebook. Okay, that's actually a good call. Because if I actually just completely switch over to YouTube, I can make this stream a lot better, like presentation-wise. You know what I mean? And let's go ahead and let's see. So, like, a lot of our bulk submissions have just only, a, like, they're just arrived. So, you can see here. So, guys, bulk submissions are absolutely brutal right now. Uh, as you can see, these all have arrived a while ago. So, DL, these are our packs. So, DL, these are our packs. And that was our bulk submission as well from that. And this was our economy, but we had to switch over to bulk uh, because they shut down economy, of course. And, um, so this is, like, my earliest PSA submission I did with Justin. You can see here, it was 88 cards. Bro, this, it says received on 813, but I tell you right now, I shipped this out at the beginning of May. K 
can you get random people just coming to the stream in on YouTube? Yes, Matt. Yes, we definitely can. Yes, it sounds good to me. <laughs> but yeah, so as you can see, this was our last express. This is our current express, and the next one's on the way over to PSA now. And this was our economy that we sent in a while ago. That's in grading. So looking forward to getting that too. This is, geez, the weight is unreal. Dude, it's actually unreal. Yes, it is unreal. Back in the day, it used to take like four or five months for bulk. And now it's looking like it's going to be like almost a full fucking year. It's actually kind of crazy. And I don't think taking out economy actually did anything. Like, I don't think it actually helped them in any way. Bear City says, Facebook Live isn't as good as YouTube, honestly. Yeah, no, honestly, I totally, totally agree with you. 100%. But yeah, so guys, I have pretty much officially run... I think I just made it so people submit more so they can do bulk. Um, Dustin, the, the thing with that, bro, is that wouldn't really... Like, if I was at PSA and I was trying to figure out how we can fix our backlog, that's not, like, the method I would choose, right? So Team Rocket, like I said, this will be cracked open tomorrow... And I've been waiting so, so, so long. You can pop down the foil. You see all the beautiful packs inside of there. And like I said, Team Rocket only... this ja The Japanese packs in general. I says, yo, I just remembered that I have a Jab T17 I sent in for grading a while ago. When that comes back, it's yours. Damn. Ryan, that'd actually be huge. Facebook is for plebeians. <laughs> you, you, Shnell says, can I get, yeah, Shnell, we get you a fossil pack. Do you think by adding Guru, buying a box today and saying back dumb money to my, <laughs> you need to switch, you need to make a Twitch deal, draw more people who don't frequent YouTube or Facebook. Okay. But if they close bulk left economy, I feel like it would be a slowdown. Honestly, economy was pretty clutch. Like I would definitely pick economy. Okay, Danny says, I want three champs. Okay. Danny, how's it going, my friend? What is up? Danny, we were just talking about that Vulpix that we pulled. And then also, Danny, I'm pretty sure that I did ship all your stuff. So, Danny, you will unfortunately have to pay another $5 for shipping. Uh, but if you do want track shipping, you can do that as well. Wait, so... What, what deal am I missing? Okay, so Danny, Hatterene, Champion Path Packs. Good luck. He gets a lot of people. There is one more. Per there is one person on Twitch that streams a lot. His name is Dariums. Yeah, no, I know Dariums. Everyone knows Dariums. He's like, as, he's not as OG as they come, but he's pretty huge. Is, I'm going to rush home from work to see Guru Part 2. Damn. Okay. So, Danny, unfortunately, my friend, those were ice cold. But, yeah, so he did open up the packs on stream. This is any news on that? Exp yes, Danny, there is some news. So, check it out. So, this is our express submission. As you can see, it just got entered today for grading. And our first card, as you can see, is the Vulpix. <laughs> so... It is most certainly going to be coming back soon. And we'll see. We'll see, Danny. We'll see how that goes. Now, the thing is, so with the collectibles guru thing, he absolutely went to a brand new, um, like, seller. He, You know how he said, like, oh, this guy has three packs or whatnot, da 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 no, he absolutely just went to a brand. He probably just looked far and wide and was willing to pay like top dollar to anybody who could give him a legit box. 
Because there's no way that that connect of his that he was talking about that had three, there's no chance that he had three, like, or real ones. Because that story he told about it was complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. Gar says, how many vintage packs are left? Uh, Gerardo, the box break is full. But I do have some loose packs that did not come straight out of a box. Of course, they all eventually came from a box. Uh, but I do have some loose packs. All the packs that I have loose are Japanese and they are listed on the banner. Gar says, that's why you got to buy from Sagar. Dude, so here's the thing. Like, I will say this right now. Um... You know, counterfeiting is something that is harder. It gets harder and harder to tell something's counterfeited as, as you know, if people are good. Now, I will say there are some tattletale signs for booster boxes that have been resealed. And it's actually pretty obvious. Most of it are creases in, like, the actual thing or scratches on the box. And that are not on the, um, thing. She says, what is the best pull? Chanel, the best pulls out of Fossil are the Mew, the Gengar, and the Dragonite. And Fossil does not have any banned cards. Thinking about it though, the new seller knows Guru's gonna get 375 for it, so I charge him hell. Yeah, exactly, Kyle. No, exactly. Not Shivam said tonight live on TikTok that he knew the box was uh, fake. People told him it was a fake, but he didn't care. Honestly, I could see that. Uh, he stated saying it was real. Yes. No, Dustin, you're absolutely correct. As soon as he knew that they were going to open it, he started talking about how, like, oh, uh, you know, it might be fake. Yada, yada, yada. I gave it all the real tests that I could. Do, 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 do. But I will say, like, even who do we have there? Leonhardt and also, um, uh, I'm forgetting his name. But there was two people there, and they were looking at the box as well. They both sort of said, oh, it's okay. So, I mean, I can't really come down too hard on people like even if you think about it like even people like tca gaming have been scammed before so it's more so just like more experience and then you know that's kind of how it goes unlisted leaf honestly i don't really think ando is that knowledgeable he's more he's just more so you know what I mean? He's just more so like a content creator. He doesn't really actually like dive deep into it. I'm, in my opinion, he might though, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Amir says, I'm here. Amir, how's it going, my friend? Amir, we are live over on YouTube as well if you did want to join in over there. That's crazy amounts of money for resos. I am good with my three cold packs. <laughs> I wonder how long I'd wait if I sent my cards with my vouchers, because it's technically the $50 service ticket voucher. Well, honestly, Angela, you'd probably... The, the quicker you send it, the the you know the, the l less you'll wait, if that makes sense, I would think, right? Like, the quicker you'll get it back. Alright, so Clay sent me some pictures of some cards, and let's see. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so you want to express a Gardevoir? Full art. So you can see here, it's a little bit thicker. Really not that bad. It is definitely a little thicker on that side. Now let's check out the back. There's kind of a ton of glare, but from what I can kind of see from this side to this side, not that bad. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so this is the same two photos. Doesn't appear to be any whiting. The back seems okay. I kind of don't like the glare that I'm getting, but, um, doesn't appear to have any white dots. But, I mean, it's possible that I just can't tell because of the image, but. She says, okay, let me get a fossil. Okay. When is the next box breaks? I'm pretty sure we will support your grind and buy out your base box. Uh, Gerardo, I just don't know if I'm actually okay with selling my base box right now. I feel like he's, bro, he's a whole scammer for real. I ordered the Shiny Star Vibus box. Can't wait. Who else pre-ordered it? Yeah, so the one from the Japanese set, that's 
Awesome. Well, guy, I messed you on Facebook. Text me after. That man was trying to scam for real on my soul. Honestly, I kind of felt that. All right, so Chanel, we're going to get you a fossil pack. Chanel, good luck. All right, so let me quickly find my pen. And then Robert, uh, thank you for paying in full, Robert, and I will get those ETBs shipped out to you ASAP. So Robert did buy um, some Evo's ETBs off of me. I have a couple left if anyone else is interested. We got Brian, Brian. What's up, brother? How's it going? Brian's like, you're... All right, so Chanel, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So Chanel, you can go ahead and pick a number, 1 through 11. And Danny, thank you very much for paying for the shipping, my friend. Amir says, I can't shop through here. Amir, you can shop through Facebook as well. Uh, you definitely can, but there's more people on YouTube if you wanted to chat. Just says, how much are the EOS ETBs? Uh, Joseph, a set of the ETBs are 200 shipped. So you get the Blastoise and the Charizard for $200 shipped. He says, so I missed this whole Guru thing. Can someone sum it up for me? Ah, uh, yeah. So, Daniel, I'll try to sum it up for you. Shell's Ness is number five. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, basically, what happened is somebody sold a... Um, a first edition base set box for about $375,000. The guy showed up. His name was Collectible Gurus. And his box was actually resealed. Alright. So, Shell, give me a sec. I'm going to quickly just go wash my hands. And get ready for some vintage and get some sleeves ready. Here says I'm here. I'm here. How's it going, my friend? Okay, so so let's get some sleeves out and good luck. So unfortunately, you know, Fossil does not have any banned cards, whereas Jungle has the Pikachu. However, the Hollows from Fossil are significantly better than your chances with Jungle. All right, Chanel, good luck. Okay, so, ooh, poke it out like that. Back looks very good, no damage, no whitening, none of that. But centering might be a little bit of an issue. Let's get the card upright. Actually, it's not that bad. Left to right is okay. It's a little thicker on the right side, and the top is a little bit thicker too. But nothing extraordinarily bad. Let's try to show you guys the back here. So as you can see, the back centering left to right is not that bad. All right. So now let's go through your common uncommons. We got Cloista, Arbok, got the Weezing, got the Trainer Jigglypuff, we got Krabby trying to escape, got the Horsey, got Zubat, Slowpoke, and a Omnimite. Cody said, tonight any better? Ah, uh, Cody, we just pulled a Charizard VMAX from Darkness of Blaze recently. Not just pulled, but recently. Damn, I'm baked as fuck. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Okay. So, Chanel, you're holographic. Let's see what you're going to get. Like I said, we're looking for Mew, Dragonite, or Gengar. All right. It is. Oh. Oh. Chanel, unfortunately, you pulled the worst pull out of Fossil. The Muck. Oh. Chanel, 
Chill, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say on that. Nefix says, I'll take that muck off your hands, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, so Chanel, sorry about that. That is fairly unfortunate. I do think it's still worth a grading. That was said, Chanel's about to come up 4k. She's okay. Yeah, I hope her I hope her Charizard listing does well. So Chanel, I am going to set this up for grading. If you do not want to grade it, let me know and I'll take it out, okay? But Chanel, the reason why I'm doing it is because the, if you want this to go through bulk, that's going out really, really soon. Like this Monday. So, perfect time. Alright, where did I put my Sharpie? Chanel says, let's grade it, okay. Joseph says, how much does eBay take as a percentage? Uh, so Joseph, they take 10% and PayPay and PayPal takes uh, three. So you lose about 13%. Chanel says, that baby ain't worth express. Yeah, Pogel, she's not expressing it. Kyle says, I'm gonna head to bed. See you guys tomorrow. Sagar, I'm cool with the BGS price. Okay, Kyle, I will just do it for you then, okay? Today, I'm just gonna do it for you, all right? Jose says, new subscriber. Jose, welcome, my friend. Welcome to the royalty fam. But yeah, Kyle, I will get that done for you, and I'll let you know uh, through message. And it should be pretty quick, because Matt's came back super goddamn quick. Okay, so now let me quickly go put that with your other cards. Freedus, what's up, brother? Freedus, most of us are over on YouTube. I'm in no hurry to see that baby muck. That's true. All right. So we got Victor coming up. And then after we got Danny coming up, both of them want a fossil pack. Okay. So guys, we have some really cool openings coming up right now. We got Victor coming up. And after that, we got Danny. Both of them want a fossil pack. Justice, can I do another pack? I'll go for number two. Chanel, you can definitely have another pack. But unfortunately, I have to give them their packs first as payment just came in. All right, so Victor, let me know. Do you want the pack opened or sealed? So Victor, do let me know. And let's pick see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So Victor, either way, you will have to pick a number 1 through 12. And let me know if you want that puppy sealed or opened. He says open, okay. So now pick, pick one for me. Pick a number 1 through 12. He says two. All right. And like I said, guys, if you are new to the YouTube channel, we are opening up a Japanese Team Rocket box tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Nine o'clock Eastern, we'll be cracking open a sealed Team Rocket box. Well, jacking Chanel's number. I know, that's kind of fucked up. But hey, Victor, here we go. Pack number two. Cody Sharp, just subscribe. Cody, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cody found his way over to the YouTubes. So hopefully you guys saw that animation when he subscribed. He got the flying Charizard. Sounds like it's cool. All right, so here is our hollow. Looking very clean. Like I said, the guy that had the only packs for me took very good care of them. He actually got the packs back like 20 years ago. Directly from Japan, he was like involved in distributing the cards and whatnot. So huge, huge backstory on this guy. And the centering is a little off, though. It's a little thick over here and a little thin here for sure. Definitely worse centering than Chanel's pack. Well, let's see what you get. It says it ain't cool if Drago ain't here. King says I didn't see it. Okay, so I'll try to I'll try to fix that if it's not working. But I saw it on my screen. <laughs> Tentacool, Graveler. Tentacool, we got Shelter, Krabby, Slowpoke, Geodude, and a Kabuto. Okay, so Victor, that was all of your common uncommons 
Now, let's see what you get out of this puppy right here. So, Victor, as you already know, we are looking for Dragonite, Gengar, Mew. Honestly, even the birds are nice, too, out of Fossil. All right. Good luck. Aerodactyl. And, man, this guy is off-centered. Holy moly. Check that out, guys. Super thick on this side and super thin on this side. So, Victor, it looks like pack number two is actually not the best. Aerodactyl is a good pull, but this most certainly will not pull a 10. Given that centering. All right. So, Victor, let's go ahead and let's get you a new bag. I was like, just toss it in my sack. <laughs> just toss it in my sack. Ninetales, just subscribe. Ninetales, welcome. All right, so Victor, I will just pop your hollow into a uh, top loader for you. If you did want to get that card into bulk, today's basically the last day because once we open up that Team Rocket box, um, I'm just going to submit what we got. But, Victor, do let me know. Then he says, this channel is growing. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to all the new people here, guys. And thank you all for watching. Victor, I'm putting your Aerodactyl in a brand new uh, top loader. If you do want to get this puppy graded, let me know. If not, no big deal. Victor says, how much is it, Victor? I'm not sure. The price on Vintage has changed a lot since I last looked things up. Um... So, honestly, it's probably gone up since. So, I'm not too sure anymore. You'd have to look on eBay. All right, so, Victor, if you do want to get that card into bulk, let me know. As I said, bulk is going out on Monday. Sagar also has a Discord, if you didn't know. Can I just sense a Mewtwo or Dragon is coming up? My spider sense is tingling. Mary City says, how much do I pay for bulk? Bulk is $13 a card. If you require a card saver, it's $13.50. Okay, Danny, you are up next, my friend. And if you do want to get cards graded through me, you do not need to pay for the cost of grading until the cards come back, okay? So don't pay me for your grading uh, because I'm not going to keep track of it now. I charge everybody when the cards arrive back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So Danny the man. You got one through twelve on the fossil. Let me know which number you'd like. Let me know if you want it uh, to be ship sealed or if you want to open. Like I said, Express went out yesterday. Bulk is going out on Monday. Uh, so today is the last day because tomorrow we're just going to be opening up the box and not be doing other pack openings, just the box. Uh, so today is pretty much the last day. He says, let's roll eight and open. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So, Danny, good luck. He wants a open fossil. Dustin says, I kind of wish I would have had you submit my Mewtwo's. Yeah, I mean, Dustin, we do express almost every two weeks. So, you could always send it back in and get me to grade it for you. Um, you know, no problem. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, so there actually is a white dot on this hollow that I can see. So let's get this puppy put into a sleeve first. And let's see what's up. I would have, even out of PSA 9. Alright, so check it out. Unfortunately, this hollow does have a little white dot in this bottom corner. All right, so my camera, you know, just wants to be pretty shitty today. You can barely see it. I got to get a new camera, guys. But yeah, there is a little white dot in this corner. Other than that, all other corners look good. It is a little off-centered, left to right, just a tad bit. But that is unfortunate about that little white dot in that corner. Well, let's set him back here and let's see what we're working with. Hefe says, I can see it's on the left. Okay, cool. Okay, we got Cloyster. Golbat. 
Sand Slash. We got Mysterious Fossil. Krabby. We got Grimer. Of course, this is not the Naughty Grimer. We got Slowpoke. And Omnistar. And a Kabuto as well. So both fossils. Yeah, it def didn't know they cost as much. And I was kind of shocked. Alright, Danny. Danny the man. Let's see if we can pull you a Dragonite. Or a Gengar. Or a Mew. So Danny, good luck. And it is. A Dragonite. No. No, you pulled the Dragonite. And it has a white dot. Dude, we just checked the price on the Dragonite. PSA 10 is over one grand right now, I think. Angelo, you probably remember what it was. This card is super expensive right now. I am so, so, so sad that there is a little white dot in that corner. Hopefully, it still will pull a PSA 9. But either way, this is such an awesome, awesome card. And it has a nice-looking swirl right over here. So there it is. That is one of the chase cards. You do want a Dragonite out of those packs. So very, very nice. And of course, Danny, you will be getting the pack wrapper as well as the common uncommons. And let me know if you want to do anything with a Dragonite or I'll put it into a top loader and into your bag. Tyler says, let me get a gym too. Chanel said, got, Chanel got a PSA 10, so there's still a chance. That's true. She had a very big dent. Just says I love that card. Alright, so Tyler, I don't have any choices for you with Gym 2 because I only have one pack. <laughs> Danny says, what do you suggest, Sagar? Send it in on the next Express. So let's check it out. So Danny, let's check it out. So this will be a nice crash course uh, for anyone that doesn't really know. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's let's answer that question. This is important. Uh, to realize how to do this stuff. Alright, so. Pop you guys back over to my desktop. As you guys know, this was our last Express submission. I says, well, I guess I'll take that one then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways. So, if you guys are not already a part of it. We do have a Facebook group. It's called Royalty Gaming. Um, as you guys know, tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. We will be breaking this Japanese Team Rocket box. So, if you are not already. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you'll get notified when we go live tomorrow night. As all the spots are paid besides James. Like I said, if he doesn't pay, I'll take his packs. Absolutely. So we're breaking this box open tomorrow at 9. Uh, so make sure you guys are there for that. Because it's going to be pretty goddamn awesome. And if you're not a part, join the Facebook group. Right. So we're going to hop over to eBay. And we're going to go Japanese Dragonite Fossil PSA. Now let's see what the prices are looking like. So you always want to go down to sold. What the fuck? This can't be real, man. This cannot be real. PSA 9 sold for 300. PSA 10 sold for 1.5. PSA 10 sold for 2 grand, 1.5. Dude, so Danny, unfortunately, it's not going to be a PSA 10. It is not going to be a PSA 10. I can tell you that right now. At best, you're hoping for a 9, which looks like it's going to be about a $300 card. But that's the thing. It might even pull an 8. So in my honest opinion, Danny, if you spend the $85 with me to grade it through Express and it gets an 8, you're probably actually going to break even or lose money. If it pulls a 9, you'll... Technically, you might... You'll probably keep it. But if it pulls a 9, then you're looking at about like a... Because what? You paid 150 for the pack. 85 for the grading. So that puts you all in at about 2-something, right? So if it pulls a 9, you only make like 50 bucks. Um, just says, why is there a massive drop from 10 to 9? That's just how it is with every card. 10s are worth way more than 9s. Always. But, yeah. So in my honest opinion, if... If bulk wasn't just so goddamn long, I would say just bulk it. But, ah, that's a hard choice. Because I know it's not going to be a 10 because of that white dot. If it pulls an 8, you'll actually probably lose money. Because you can see here, this one sold for 170 That's not even like, enough to cover the pack almost. And let alone the grading. So, Danny, it is it is a hard toss-up. You know, I like I said, there's one white dot. You know, that would probably make it a 9. It is a little off-centered. I don't see it pulling an 8, but there is a chance. And so it is a little risky. So, Danny, it, it kind of be up to you. It's how risk-averse you'd like to be. 
Maybe if it was just half the price of a 10, I can see that. But geez, that's almost a 1K difference. Let's run it for the next Express. Okay. On Vintage, the weight with PSA isn't a bad thing. I feel like newer sets are better. Tyler, you're absolutely correct. Tyler, you are absolutely correct on saying that. Because uh, typically, Vintage will continue to go up. Modern, not so much. Certain cards in Modern will do well. Certain things are overhyped and overpriced off the get-go. So, Tyler's absolutely right on that. Brian says, do I have any cards in the Express that got there today? Ah, uh, Brian, I'd have to check. I'd have to check, Brian. I don't remember everybody off the top of my head, but obviously I have the documents to show. But I don't off the top of my head, I'd have to check. I'll just hold on to it after it's graded my new favorite card in the collection. Okay. So, Danny, we're going to do DM. And we're going to pop you up back here. So, Danny, you're actually our first card in the next Express. Technically, Goldie will be with his staff cards. But you'll be basically one of the first couple few people. All right. And for those who have not seen, these are the Vivid Voltage staff. Staff cards. Now, these cards were given out to people who work at a game store and basically buy enough Vivid Voltage battle boxes to qualify to get one, from what I understand. And these are pretty expensive. <laughs> and Joel actually has one. And I think he's going to get those graded as well. But these are goldies. These four in my hand are here are goldies. And that's Kyle's Dark Charizard. We're setting out to BGS today. All right. Tyler, you are up, my friend, with the gym too. People are sleeping on the 7 and 9s. You'll notice the English market gets too expensive. Um, yeah, so DL, the way it usually works is it's kind of like a trickle-down effect. Let's say a PSA 10 Dragonite becomes 1 grand. Some people are like, damn, I really like that card, but I'm not willing to spend one grand. Let's go buy the nine. And then, you know, it's, it's like a trickle-down effect. So usually it's just when people get out financialed, you know what I mean, by a certain card, they move down to a lower bracket. Okay. Oh. Tyler, there's a white dot down here, my friend. Haven't really been seeing any white dots, and now we see them back to back. That is a little bit of a shame. White dot down there. Other than that, looks okay. Let's pop it down here. Now, Gym 2 is good because there are like three or four different banned cards. It says, no, say it ain't so. We got Giovanni's Needle Queen. We got the cute little Vulpix from Blaine. We got Blaine's Rapidash. We got Golbat. Or Zubat, I mean. We got Drowsy. Got Kangaskong. Ekans. Rhyhorn. And a Charmeleon. Wow. Tyler, I'm not going to lie. That was definitely not the best. You did not pull a singular ban card. Not the Sabrina's Gaze. Not the Koga's Ninja Trick. Not the Jinx. Not the Imakuna's Duduo. And your Hollow has a white dot, dude. Oh. Okay, Tyler, we really got to hope this is like a Blaine something. Or Sabrina's Gengar. Tyler says, damn, there were no trainers at all. Yeah, Tyler, that common pack was pretty hosed. Okay, let's go, guys. Blaine's Charizard incoming right now. And it is a Giovanni's Gyarados, which is in its own right not bad. Now, I will say it is a little unfortunate because as I pointed out, let's see if I can get you guys in here. You can see right there. Check that out. You can see the shining, the glistening. There is a little... Uh, actually, it's not even a white dot. It is, it's more of a... Pinch. It's not even a white dot. It's actually like a little uh, pinch. thought it looked like a white dot, but it's actually a pinch now that I look at it better. Okay, so Giovanni's Gyarados. Mid-range pull. Not the worst. Not the best. Mid-tier. But then that little thing at the bottom is definitely annoying and then no band cards either is even more annoying smells like fire does this swirl that's solid it's still a good looking card no i like it i love all of gym 2 i love the last dragonite sold at 3000 on ebay or best on best offer angelo uh 1494 that angelo are you able to see the uh sold price on like a different website because when I checked eBay, it just said three grand. No line through it. Tuss says, throw them in the gray pile for bulk. Okay. So, guys, this month's submission is insane. Tyler alone has, like, almost 200 cards. 
but will be a very good month. But like I said, guys, tomorrow we are breaking a Team Rocket box. 9 o'clock Eastern, sharp. I'll probably be live maybe like, you know, 20, 15 minutes before the actual time. Uh, basically just warming up. Shell says, Tyler is our baller as usual. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Tyler is a baller. What? Well, uh, we gonna be the reason PSA's backed up? Yeah, dude, Tyler. Honestly, it is... <laughs> I don't know how long it takes for them to let's just say go through a 500 card order, but uh, <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna get one. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go move that because I have all the bull cards over there because I basically got them all prepped. So let me go put that in with the rest of your piles. FA says 84 viewers tin battle. <laughs> I mean, if people do want a tin battle, we absolutely can, but I think we actually have another fossil pack coming up for Victor. Victor said he's not done. Okay, so Victor, as usual, you will get to pick your pack as well as if you want it opened or sealed, okay? We are looking for the Dragonite, the Gengar, or the Mew. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so Victor, number one through ten, my friend. Tyler says, I'm down for a battle so I can lose. <laughs> we have pulled, guys, we pulled 10 Hidden Fate Zards. 10. Victor says, 10 and open. So, Victor, you want the last pack. Made that easy for me. Okay. Victor, good luck. Let me get a sleeve ready. Just says, I want another fossil pack too. Okay. All right. So after this, we'll go with Chanel. FA says, we just need one more person down to fight Tyler. So if you guys do want to do tin battles, keep in mind a tin for tin battles is actually cheaper. It's only 45 bucks. So if you do want to do a tin battle, we absolutely can. Now this card is fairly off center, but there's no damage. So that's important. There's no white spots, but it is off centered. And I can tell immediately. Cody says, how much is the tin? Cody, if you want the tin for a tin battle, it's only 45. If you want a regular tin for yourself, it's 48. But for the tin battle, it is a little cheaper. All right. So, Victor, checking out your hollow, you can see immediately it is fairly off-center. This side is very thick. All right. He says, I want both cards centered for grading. Let me know what I owe you. Okay. So, Victor, you do not owe me any money right now. You will owe me the cost of grading when they come back. Now, the reason why I do this is because if the card is really expensive and it went through bulk, it might get upcharged. So I don't want to charge you the standard amount when your card might be actually a little more expensive. So we do it through bulk. If you get upcharged, you are liable for the cost of the upcharge, which is usually only like 10 bucks. Capito. But yes, I do charge people for grading once the cards come back. All right, so, Victor, good luck. And it is a Articuno. It is, oh man, Articuno is the best bird to get. Obviously, there's Zapdos, Moltres. Articuno is the best one. But Victor, check how off-center this guy is, man. Such a beautiful Pokemon. I love Articuno, my favorite of the three birds. I don't care what anybody says. Not a bad pull. Honestly, guys, Fossil has some really goddamn good pulls. All right. So, Victor, you do want to get the Aerodactyl graded as well. So, Victor, let's get both of your packs in here. And let's get both of your cards ready for grading. So, Victor, I will have to double check to see if you already have any cards in our grading submission. If not, I'll add you to the form. All right. 
Terrence says, I had to dip out for a little bit. What did I do? Terrence, you missed so much. <laughs> you actually did miss so much. All right. So, Victor, let me just quickly check to see if you're in uh, the sub or not. So, give me a sec. Like I said, our bulk submission will be going out on Monday. All right. So, looking for Victor... Victor, you are not. So, Victor, you will now be added to the sub. Okay. It says, does anyone play Sword and Shield? I don't actually play the video games. I used to when I was a lot younger, but I haven't played any of the newer ones. Maybe I, maybe I should. I don't have a Switch, though. So, of course, we do now also have Cosmic Eclipse and Darkness Ablaze back in stock. Also, guys, we do have a Discord server as well. So, feel free to join the Discord server. Very cool people in there talking all the time. And Victor, I put the wrong tag. Uh, so, like I said, we do have a Discord server. The link is in the description below. Feel free to join it. Uh, we always give announcements when we're going live in there, as well as chatting with all the other members. And if you want to trade, buy, or sell, we do have a channel in there for that as well. And he says, I had to go back to work. What did Tyler pull? Ah, uh, Danny, he pulled a Giovanni's Gyarados. And then Victor just pulled a Articuno. But yeah, so like I said, join over on the Discord. I'll probably do another giveaway towards the end of the stream as well for uh, Discord. So feel free to join that. Okay. So Victor, here it is. Garrett says, did you learn this from the card economist? Okay, so Chanel, good luck. So one Dragonite pulled already. I got Missing No and the Shiny National Dex. Nice. Very nice. So says I want number two. Okay. So number two is this guy right here. All right. Chanel, good luck. But yeah, Garrett, to answer your question, I learned this from PokeRev. Hopefully you know who PokeRev is. He's my, he's my hero. All right. Chanel, let's do it. Let's get that $2,000, $3,000. That's true, Angelo, that is true as well. Angel, that is true. There are a lot of other middlemen out there as well, always sending in cards. Okay, so Chanel, it is a little off-centered. Cannot lie about that. Let's pop it over here. Let's see what we got. We got Magmar. Seedra. Graveler. Gambler. Psyduck. Tentacool. Cloyster, Slowpoke, and Geodude. Top three are Real Breaking Nate and Pokerev. Chanel says, I need that. Thanks. Okay. Chanel, good luck. Raichu. Okay. So it is off centered. But it is a Raichu. Raichu is great. 
Slogger, do you ever worry about videos getting taken down because I'm using the background because of YouTube copyright? Ah, uh, yeah, so what I usually do is I just check out non-copyrighted music. Actually, it wasn't on a copyrighted music because it, <laughs> it switched over to a different video. But usually I try to use non-copyright. Top three are you? Joseph, you put me in the top three, my friend. That's a little generous. Garrett says, so the number besides the pack is your price. Correct. So Garrett, the price on the packs are listed in the banner. If you want, or not if you want, but your first time uh, purchasing a pack on stream, you do need to pay five additional dollars. But you don't have to pay for shipping again after you... Um, once you pay the shipping once, you don't have to pay for shipping again on any other purchase up until I ship your stuff, basically. But yeah, he was the other expert sitting with Le by Leonhardt. Yeah, that was Scott. Yeah, that's right. I forgot his name, but yeah, that was Scott. I've actually done business with Scott a lot of times. Scott and Ryan, I actually do business with them all the time. They are good people. They're very honest and good people. All right. So, Chanel, let's get your pack in this new bag. I think your other one was getting pretty full. Let's pop it over here. And Chanel, I will tag up your Raichu for you. And get it added. Really, was it that it was Scott Emmer? Yes. <laughs> Scott Elmer. <laughs> One Punch Man got scammed again. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. So. Chanel, Raichu going out. So no Dragonite, but Raichu's still pretty good. Chris says, yeah, Guru put them together. No, that's not true. Dumb Money was the one who put it together. So Dumb Money, because they all were in Texas. So Leonhardt and Scott both live in Texas. So I don't know if Dumb Money paid them or whatnot, but they he basically hired them, I guess I'll say. Don't know if, there's, if they're paid or not, but he's the one that contacted them and asked them to basically do it. Gary says, my local Walmart has a ton of CP. Nice. Tyler is the man with the master plan. Number says, Hi everyone, unfortunately a few more fake boxes have started being discovered. Really? Jake, tell us more about that, dude. Where that where all other boxes have been discovered? Eddie uh, Edward says, you remember to give away them cards away if you would like. Yeah, Edward, we can actually do that as well, actually. King says I'm back. Lots of people here, King. Welcome back. A couple from the UK. Dude, that's I mean, you know, you would think that, I mean, the truth is behind the matter is that it's kind of hard for people to tell. Like, like I said, that video with uh, Guru, you know, you had Leonhart and you had Scott, both of them looked at the box and they were like, yeah, nothing looks wrong with me. And then, and Leonhart even like poked it down and was like, you know what? This looks legit. One pack should be, you know, shifted higher. I mean, realistically, you know, the price on the boxes have just gone up so much that it is, it's definitely, there's going to be more scammers out there. Chris says, I guess all the fun is over on YouTube. Chris says, I tried the Discord, not for me. My phone was consistently going off and I didn't understand it. Yeah, so Chris, on Discord, you can actually um, turn off like the notifications. Is there a hollow guaranteed in every Japanese jungle pack? Yes. So Chris, every jungle and fossil pack does have a hollow. The box look pretty suspect though. When you fold them up, they have that mark on it. Yeah, so the only way to not get that crease mark is if you open up the box and somehow don't bend it. But it's pretty it was pretty obvious. I think that box is pretty obvious if uh, and the thing is is Leonhard has opened up so many first edition boxes. Now I don't know about Scott, but scammers are getting better and better. That's very true. Did you have a feeling before they opened it? That's a good question. Jake, did you think it was fake before they even opened it? 
If it says someone be ballsy and just drop a rack. No, don't drop a rack. <laughs> Do not drop a rack. They are not the Pokemon Master. Dude, honestly, it's... Ah, <sighs> yeah. Jake says it's just one of the common problems. I didn't watch it live. There's a lot of problems, guys. <laughs> there is a lot of problems. I will say another thing, too, is the whole Wade on Wade situation with English packs are pretty, pretty, pretty whack. TCA Gaming did a good job talking about what to look for on fake boxes. No, he actually did. He actually did. And I'll tell you this now, you know, there's been tons of other famous people, like, for instance, like you just said, TCA Gaming. He has been scammed before. Oh, yeah, yo, uh, Terrence, I saw that. He was like, he's like, when they walked in, I thought it was like Team Rocket. I got Team Rocket vibes. <laughs> so it was pretty crazy. And like I said, guys, tomorrow is the big day. We have pre-sold all 60 packs on this Team Rocket box. So tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern, we will be cracking this bad boy open. I'm also not a booster box expert. I am really only a PSA collector and a binder collector. Honestly, binder collector is the way to go. I'm a huge fan of binder collecting. Like when I was a kid, I collected in binders. I never collected PSA cards. I'm more connected with the binder cards in a weird way than PSA cards. You even played the Team Rocket music. Yeah, you did. Yeah, also Jed. So Pokeyog, that's a pretty good statement. And can't tell if it's a reseal, real seal. Plus it was sealed in 2020. Yes. So Atticus, that's the other important thing is that there was 2020 copyrighted cards in the box. Chris says, would you recommend jungle or fossil? In terms of... Sorry, you said if the other guy doesn't pay by midnight, I can buy another spot. Uh, Gerardo, that spot that I gave you was the spot I was talking about. So Gerardo, and like I said, all of the spots on the box are sold. One person did not pay for their spots, and I gave you his spot. The other person, James, he hasn't paid yet either, but he really wants to... Like, I spoke to him multiple times, and he was really excited, and he actually wanted more spots if anyone else dropped. So he's just very busy, so I'm pretty sure he hasn't had the time or seen the stream recently. But I'm pretty sure he's going to want those packs. But in terms of jungle versus fossil, the thing is, is jungle has... So both of them do not have a banned card. Jungle does have a banned... Or, excuse me, jungle has a Pikachu. And the Pikachu graded in a 10 can be worth a decent amount, whereas Fossil, you're all on the hollow. But Fossil has better hollows than Jungle. Jungle, you're looking for a Snorlax or three of the evolutions. Fossil, there's actually a lot more. You have Gengar, Mew, Dragonite, like we just pulled a Dragonite right there in the back. Yes, him, James, if it falls through. Yeah, so, but Gerardo, I don't think James has fallen through. That's the thing. I don't think James has fallen through. Yeah, so if anyone has not checked out Pokenomics with Jake and Rafi, they are a very, very cool channel. They do interviews as well as just basically spreading general knowledge about things that you should know. I know a lot of new people are hopping into the hobby, so they are a very good channel to get some nice information from because they don't really tell you what you should be doing. They more so just give you the facts on both sides and let you decide, which is very important when someone is giving you information because you don't want to be biased. You'd rather have them tell you what what's here and what's there and then you make the choice so that's kind of the one thing i really like about their channel they don't try to push agendas which is kind of hard because you know if even if i like if i wanted to sit here and talk about my japanese collection i unfortunately am spreading you know or i'm basically biased towards japanese cards because that's what i collect and i talk about japanese all the time but that's because that's what i collect my newest video will be good for people interviewed a really bright insight new guy in the hobby oh are you talking about um I think I saw the video, Jake. I don't know his name, like Flips? Like Shredded Flips or like Sick Flips? Chris says, I'll check them out. Yeah, Christian, definitely check them out. Jarder says, yes, Jake, I've been watching you since you were under 1K subs. He says, it's the one I just... Okay, gotcha. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Oh, I've seen this guy before. I've seen this guy before. That'll be good. That'll be good. I'll have to check it out.
But like I said, thank you all very much for the passing 600 members in the Facebook group. Hopefully you guys like the Guess That Pokemon event. Like I said, it doesn't actually take me too, too long, um, you know, to actually make the slides. So I'm more than happy to do another one of that if you guys thought it was fun. We'll definitely be a repeat guest. One of my favorite guys to talk to so far. Well, yeah, so Jake, if you're saying that, he probably, he probably talked about some very good... Not, I don't want to say abstract, but he definitely knew what he was talking about if you're saying that. So I'll have to check it out. Typically, I'll watch your videos if I'm, like, driving. I'll just leave it up because you don't really have to look at it. Talking about crypto, hash flare, scam me. So I'm a new moderator. Can we get some fire for the recent moderators keeping this page rolling without drama and trouble? Okay. Victor, good luck, my friend. Victor wants a fossil. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So, Victor, as usual, my friend, one through eleven, let me know if you want it kept sealed or opened. King says, I collect so many things. Oh, yeah, I completely just swapped over to a non copyright playlist. <laughs> so, Victor says, two and opened. Okay. So, Victor, good luck. So, from this set, of course, we are looking for Dragonite, Gengar, or the Mew, or honestly, any of the birds, really. Okay, Victor, good luck. Aaron, what's up, brother? How's it going? Aaron, a majority of us are over on YouTube. All right. So checking out the card. Very nice. No white spots. No external damage. So that's a very good start to it. Checking out the centering. It's actually not that bad. Probably our best centered card that we've actually pulled from the vintage packs all night. A little bit thicker on this side, but totally within parameters. So not too shabby on that, actually. So let's hope that's a Dragonite. <laughs> let's hope that's a Dragonite. All right. We got Magmar. Got Kingler. Sandslash. Psyduck. Krabby. Horsey. Geodude. Omnistar. And a Kabuto. Daniel says, it's lonely here. Come over to YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, always fun to see Vintage open, though. I pre-order one booster box to open on the channel. Yeah, so the new Vivid Voltage set is going to be... Honestly, I have mixed feelings about it because the Amazing Rares are probably the most thing, the thing I'm most excited for. And it seems like they're a little too common, in my opinion. I think, on average, a box is going to have about two of the Vivid Vo or the Amazing Rares. Richard said, why is the first card always Magmar and the last card a Kabuto? So, Richard, when they do prints... So, I'm actually interested. So, maybe this might be a repeat holo. Richard said, yes, Richard, actually, I did notice that. Okay, Victor. Your holo is a Aerodactyl. So, Richard, you were correct. So, the holo or the, the common uncommon pattern matched. And look, we got an Aerodactyl again. Now, I will say the back was absolutely flawless. However, the front is a little off-centered. But the back is very, very flawless. At one point, I really thought that the back and the front had to match, like, perfectly. But then someone tried telling me that the cards are actually fused, like the paper stock is fused. I don't really know if that's true or not. But I will tell you from, obviously, all the experience that front and back centering can actually differ, which is kind of weird sometimes. But not bad at all. The back is good. The front is definitely off. Definitely at least a 9. Probably a hard sell on the 10 due to that centering. But I have seen some cards slide through like that. But yeah, Richard, I did notice that. I like the Amazing Rares. The Amazing Rares are pretty much carrying the whole set other than the Pikachu. So I'll probably collect them unless they get too expensive. I don't think they're going to get expensive. Are you going to open up some Vivid? Yes. I have to go get this mole checked out. <laughs> what? I have to go get... If it says the next one got the Gengar. All right. 
So, Victor, let me know if you don't want to grade it, my friend. In fact, if you do want to keep on your Aerodactyls, this one is way better. So I could take your Aerodactyl out of the sub and send you that one, because this one's probably going to grade, or has a better chance of grading higher, I will say. This is nice as a Dragonite. But yeah, Richard, you're absolutely correct. So Richard, good, good, astute. Honestly, that was pretty astute of you. The common and common pattern was exactly the same. All right, so Aerodactyl. All right, up next, we've got Terrence. Terrence wants four Darkness Ablaze. Okay, so Terrence, we're going to grab you four from random, my friend. Two from here, one from here, and one from here. Victor says grade them all. Okay. All right, Terrence. Good luck. We got you four darkness. Okay, I said, wait, did Chanel get her fossil? Yeah, she did. She ended up pulling a Raichu. Three different subjects. Metals, action figures, plushies, coin, posters, jewelry, and Beyblade. <laughs> Beyblades. All right, so we got sent to Scorch V out of our first pack. So hit coming on the board. I pulled a card from Evolution today, and man, it was off-centered, but it could get a zero probably from PSA. <laughs> they, don't, they don't actually give zeros, <laughs> just in case you actually thought that. But what will happen is usually if the card is OC, they'll give it a grade lower than what it would have gotten and give it an OC. But on, to certain collectors, I'm not one of them, but to certain collectors, OC cards are cool. Okay, Volcarona and Hippotamus. Okay, so Terrence, a little, definitely a little cold on those. You did get one V card. Cody says, I just posted on the group page. Sorry I keep disappearing, but my kind is trying to decide jungle or fossil. I just said I thought I was bugging at first. No, Richard, you're absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. And Victor, I did put that card in the grading pile, my friend. Alright, so Terrence, just to send a Scorch V, still a hit. What a hope for something a little better. But of course, you will be getting your reverses and rares and your hit. You know they selling Beyblades for over 300 bucks? I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. But yeah, Chris, don't worry about disappearing, my friend. There's really no rush. But once again... Oh. Danny, man. Such a beautiful card with the Rainbow Hollow. Screw son, you need more fire. So like I said, our 45 card Express Emission did go out yesterday, so that'll be pretty good. Our second Express is in the system. It is now in the grading phase, so that should be coming back soon. That is the one with the off-centered Vulpix as well. So Sagar, don't make me start working out. It's midnight. <laughs> you gotta drop and give me 10. Drop and give me 10 now. All right, we are also now sold out of gym two, so let me quickly go ahead and just erase that. I don't know if you guys ever heard of what was it called, like Bakugan, the one where you'd roll the ball and like the, the you know, usually it was like a dragon or something.
We got the Heat Love and we got the Frozen. Terrence says four more darkness. Okay. So guys, I am working on a Shopify store. Uh, that way it'll be a little more streamlined and a little more legit too. So I am working on a Shopify store uh, for you guys to purchase packs from rather than just sending to me directly. All right. We got one, two, three, and four. Poor Richard all by himself on Facebook. That's true. I guess Richard might like it though. He, he, you know, it might, he might feel like he has a special direct line of contact. All right, Terrence, back at it again. We got four more. Terrence, like, it's dark down here. Okay, so another V card. We got a Grim Snarl V. There I said, 83 people watching. One of the highs this week. Drop them likes. Yeah, you know, greatly appreciate the likes. Like I said, we are breaking a Japanese Team Rocket box tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. If you do want to make sure you catch that, feel free to drop a sub. That way you get notified when we go live. Subscribing is free, does not cost you anything. And if at any point in time you start hating my guts, you can always unsubscribe. Richard says, well, somebody has to keep Facebook after active. Oh, here we go. Richard's like our Facebook guardian. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, we got a full art set to Scorch to go with your regular V that you just pulled. At least they're the Vs that I don't have. Hey, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad then. DL says, I got a dual box. Where are the Rainbow Zards at? Dude, where are the Rainbow Zards? Staraptor and Dracozolt. Okay. So Terrence, send a Scorch V, Full Art, and a Grim Snow. Honestly, getting two hits in four packs is actually way above average. Richard is the Facebook Guardian. Yeah, exactly. Richard is the Facebook Guardian. All right, Cody, $12. So, Cody, did you want a Hidden Fates pack? Or did you want something else, Cody? Rainbow Zard's waiting for me to buy some packs because I'm overdue. Cody says three darkness. Okay. We've got one, two, and three. So this darkest box is almost done. And like I said, we do now have Darkest Ablaze and Cosmic Eclipse back in stock. All right. Cody, good luck. Look, else says, Sagar, I noticed you peek around this time. Maybe consider streaming a little bit later. Unfortunately, that can't really happen. As I live on the East Coast, and right now for me, it's almost 1 in the morning, which is way too late. I don't, I'm not a night owl. I don't like to, um, don't like to stay up too, too late, because then at that point, I'm no longer a human, <laughs> if I'm just up to like 4 in the morning. But yeah, usually I do stream around 8, 8 Eastern. Kangaskong and a Agron. This is almost 1 in the morning for us. Yeah, exactly. We need our beauty sleep. There you go. Tell him, Joseph. Oh, man. Okay. So, Cody, that was ice cold, my friend. That wasn't even cold. That was, like, hyperthermic. All right, but, Cody, I will put all of your reverses and such in your bag. But, man, that was cold. That was cold. Hefe says, can't stop the stream until a tin battle. I Like I said, if people do want to do tin battles, it's only 45 bucks for a tin. Cody says, just my luck. <laughs> Alright, Terrence says, four more. Alright, so this box doesn't have that many left. One, two, three... And four. So there's actually only four more left in that box. We'll leave it up here. Okay. Terrence, good luck. King says, for me, it's 1245. Pampor, Gramble. 
Amir says, who's in? Uh, Amir, did you want to do a tin battle? Who wants to do a tin battle? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, okay, Scizor VMAX. So Amir over on Facebook asked if anyone wants to do a tin battle. So if there are enough people to do a tin battle, we absolutely can. Just let me know. We need we need our we need to dream about all our rare cards to grade tens. Abby says, damn it. Yeah, I honestly I thought it was Zard too. And a hollow Tyranitar. Sean says, how many for a tin battle? Uh, Sean, right now, I think Amir wants to do a tin battle. And I think if Tyler's still watching, he said he's down too, but just let me know. So right now, I think Amir and Sean are both uh, thinking about doing a tin battle. Okay, Terrence, going in. We got Scizor VMAX. I'm trying to see a fight. Chris says, I'm down for a tin battle. Okay, Terrence, get in the last four Darkness Ablaze. Amir says, Hidden Fates, right? Yes, so Amir, it's a Hidden Fates tin battle. The tins are uh, 45 each. But yes, it is a Hidden Fates, Hidden Fates battle. And the way it works is the winner, uh, the winner gets all the cards. The only card that is safe is a Charizard. If you pull a Charizard, you will keep the Charizard, but every other card can be lost. Okay. Terrence, the last four packs out of that box. Okay, so Vicavolt V. So we are getting a hit. Amir says, let's go. I want Raichu Tin. Ah, uh, so Amir, you can't actually pick your tin type. We do a special we do it in a special way. You'll see. Uh, but you can't actually request a tin. We do it in a nice little special way. Wimpod and Daramanton. Terrence says, another one that I don't have. Damn, Terrence, we're actually hitting all the ones you don't have, though. That's good. Serena and Staraptor. Okay, last pack of the of the box. And it is a big parasol and a Mel Metal. Okay, so Terrence, out of that, we got a Vic Ball. Amir says, someone link PayPal, please. Uh, Amir, the link is in the description of the live stream. And if you wouldn't mind, please use friends and family... Uh, that would I'd appreciate that. Okay, so Terrence, finishing up that box there, we did not get the money bat or the Charizard. Okay, so it does look like we will be starting over a ten battle. But before that, we got Chris. Okay, so Chris, have you made your decision? Jungle or Fossil? Okay, Chris says I just sent for a Fossil pack. You got it. Chris, good luck. Eleven. All right. So Chris, get to, get to pick a pack one through eleven. Let me know if you want it opened or uh, sealed. Chris says on the box you even got a secret rare or a Charizard. Amir says let's go send. Yeah. So Amir is in for the tin battle. Is there any points for the tin battle? How's it go, Amir? It's based on value. So whoever's whoever's hits are the most valuable combined are the most expensive. That's how the winner's chosen. It's not by points, it's by value of the cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Alright. Chris, good luck. We pulled one Dragonite today. I have not seen a Gengar in forever. Actually, I have not, thinking of that too, I have not seen a Mew in forever either. So Chris, let's do it and let's get you one of them. Alright. Chris, good luck. Oh, 
Oh man, Chris, this is so off-centered. <laughs> but there's no white dots, so that's a good sign at least. So no damage to the card, but the centering is yikes. So look how thick that right side is on this card, and the left side is super thin. Alright, so Chris, we're going to pop him back here. Now let's take a look at what your hollow or what your non-hollows are. Terrence Sagar, are you sold out of Darkest Blaze? Ah, uh, no, I do have more sealed boxes that I can crack open. Sandslash, Graveler, Golem, Gambler, we just need a Geodude now. Lots of trainers. Where were the trainers in Tyler's Gym 2 pack? Kabuto, that's it. But yeah, so Terrence, I do have more Darkest Blaze boxes. Chris, good luck. This is it. We need that Gengar, that Mew. Richard says, new hollow Sand Slash was first. Okay, Richard is about to be our, our resident expert on these packs. Okay, Richard, let's see what you... Or let's see. Richard says we're getting a new hollow. Chris, let's see what you get. It is. A Zapdos. So it was a brand new hollow. Zapdos is actually not a bad hit out of jungle. There is a nice cool little swirl right here next to his claw. And of course, it is off-centered. So, just like the back, it is off-centered, but not too shabby. Zapdos. Alright, so Chris, let me know if you want to send that out in the bulk submission, or if you just want me to put it into a top loader for you. Either way, let me know. Things like Mew. Alright, so Richard, you were right. It was a new hollow. Chris says, let's send it out through bulk. Okay. So Chris, keep in mind, it is off-centered. I would not expect a 10 on this guy just due to centering. But a 9 should be okay. On his Zapdos. Alright, so Amir did send over money for a 10 battle. If you do want a battle with um, Amir, it's only $45 for a 10. Winner takes all. Nope, not expecting it. Just want my first slab. Okay. And I'm about to use red on red. <laughs> okay, so CM for Chris Moreland. And Chris, let me see if you are in the submission already for bulk. If not, let me quickly make sure. Okay, so Chris, that was your first card in this submission, and actually a perfect time. Pat, perfect time to hop in, uh, as basically the submission is going out on Monday. And I will need to add a O after the M, because Christian is in the submission, and Christian's initials are also CM. It's none of your business. <laughs> Alright, so, just to show you, Chris, I did add a little O there to significant, to signif to, you know the word. Uh, basically, just to tag it so you have a unique tag, because Christian does share the same initials as you, CM. So, there's a little O there as well. Christian's like, sorry, man. Christian, you got to apologize for it's your name. Chris says, so how long on bulk? Six, eight months. Oh, probably eight months. I wouldn't even say six. It's going to be a very long time. Uh, I was just looking at some of my bulk submissions from all the way um, in, uh, what's it called? June. Who says, do I have anything worth grading in my bag? Let's see. Amir says, anyone on for a tin battle? Yeah, so like I said, Amir already did send money over for a tin battle. If anyone does want a tin battle, it's only $45 for the whole tin. 
Probably not. <laughs> Joseph, probably not, to be honest. You got a couple hops and Cineroar, but the champion path set is so small, there's going to be so many of these cards out there. I, I personally wouldn't do it. Cody says, I'll do a tin battle. Okay. Okay, so Cody wants to get in as well. Like I said, if anyone does want to hop in on the tin battle, it can be more than just two people. Uh, just let me know. I'm going to go grab a drink of water and we'll have a tin battle when I get back. Richard's like, Amir's out here trying to give free smoke. Alright, so we now have three people in. We got Amir, Cody, and Sean. So, like I said, if anyone does want to hop in, now is the time to speak up. Big money, no whammies. Let's get ready to rumble. Tyler says, we're doing a tin battle. Yes, Tyler, if you do want to hop in the tin battle, let me know. We are setting up now. Cody's like, oh my god, what did I get into? <laughs> All right, Tyler, let me know if you do want to get in. Danny says, let me get in on this. Okay. As long as everybody's cool with it, uh, being like a five-way now, I'm totally fine. We are capable. We've done like a nine-way battle before. Danny, it's not 46, it's 45. All right, I'm going to grab two more tins, and let's get ready. Amir's like, alright, I'm low-key nervous now. <laughs> Tag Team Rumble. Yo, imagine if we did that. Like, 2v2s. Which is like, wow, a 9-way? Yeah, Richard, we've, we've, gotten, we've gotten freaky. Alright, so after that, we have Terrence who wants 12 Darkest of Blaze. But let's get the battle done first. So, Terrence, if I do forget after the battle, remind me. But I owe you 12 packs. So I was like, let's go. I never win these. Hefe's like, yo, this is what I've been waiting for. All right, so five-way tin battle, and now that I've got my table all nice and better, let's pop these. Okay, so we're going to pop them like this. Okay. I decided to opt out of 10 battles after the last one I was in, zero hits. Tag team, yo, how would you split between the winner? That's actually a good point, Deal. That's actually a good point. Amir says, little tournament action? That would actually be dope. Water versus water, thunder versus thunder. Whoever wins the energy gets the other person's cards, not all of them. Interesting. All right, so... That's it, guys. we got five people. I don't think anyone else is trying to hop in, so let's get ready. As you guys know, the way it works is I am now going to pick five energy cards. And where do I got them? Hmm. 
I was like, all right, let's get this going. He's like, he's like, no more people, no more people. <laughs> all right, so for those who it is their first time here during a tin battle, the way it's going to work is to pick which tin you get. You need to basically pick the energy. So I'm not going to show you right now, but there are five energy types. Of course, they are hidden. What I'm going to do is I'm going to block the screen. When the screen appears, the cards are going to be laid up against the tins. First person in the YouTube chat to call the energy gets that tin behind it, okay? So that's how that works. Like I said, if you are over on Facebook, hop over to YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, you're already there. So you're going to pick an energy when the screen returns. And let's get ready to rumble. So five different energies going up. The energy that you pick will get you the tin behind it. And like I said, winner takes all. In the event that two Charizards are pulled, both people will walk home with a Charizard. Just like I feel two rainbows coming out. All right, there it is. Say that again, please. Sorry, said again, Amir. Pick an energy, pick an energy, pick an energy. Okay, Danny with fire. Sean with leaf. Cody fire is taken. Amir with fighting. All right, so water and darkness left. Tyler, you have not picked yet. Cody, you have not picked yet. Cody says water. And Tyler always just takes whatever's left. Okay, so here it is. All tins are in view. This is a five-way battle. Of course, in this game mode, what you really want is to get lucky, but at the same time, you want your opponents to get lucky, just not as lucky as you. Because the winner does take all, so if your opponents pull something good, you get it. <laughs> you will keep it. Abby says, the fire energy is coming in hot. I can feel the heat. All right. So, Amir, your tin is open, my friend. We're going to pop your packs right on top here. Up next, we got Danny also getting a Raichu tin. I don't think Tyler cared about what he got. Yeah, he doesn't either. Amir says, I'm going for all the marbles. Okay. So, Danny, you also did get a Raichu tin as well. Also, I think Jack was in here earlier asking about our wheel. Okay, so Jack, I'll take a look at that. I actually just remembered that. Starting off so strong here with the Raichu, just says Kraichu. That's true. Hopefully this will be a buff chew today. Come, I want to see a Charizard to come out of one of these tins. Tin beginner's luck, let's go. That's true. Usually beginners on the stream always have really good luck. Somehow. Okay, Cody. Let's get it ready to rumble. All right. Cody with the Gary tin. Now I will say historically the Gary tins have probably been the luckiest ones for us on this channel. However, I personally pulled my Charizard out of a Charizard tin. So I guess I'm kind of biased. Not true. I didn't get beginner's luck. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I guess. Can't work on everybody. Can't work on everybody. A lot of newcomers get lucky. Like I know Calvin when he first started, he got really lucky. And he pulled that Mewtube. Dustin was kind of new when he pulled his Mewtubes back to back. I pulled a Charizard on my second tin battle on stream. We always pull Charizards on teams. Amir says, I'm here to break the trend. <laughs> All right. So Tyler, Darkness, Amir, Fighting, Danny, Fire, Sean, Leaf, or Grass, and Cody, Water, Calm, Water. All right. Good luck. For those who don't know, this is a tin battle. Winner takes all. We are starting off on the right with our newcomer, Amir. So in this battle, anything that is a GX, Baby Shiny, or above counts for the board. Anything below that does not count. So Amir, first round, nothing on the board. Danny, coming up next to you. 
I got Mewtwo and Eevee from a Gary. Tony says, Tin Battle Arm at work? No fair. <laughs> okay, so Mew and Magikarp. Danny, that means nothing on the board. We got Sean up in the middle. My first Tin Battle, I pulled the Rainbow Rare Blastoise. That's true. That's true. I remember that. Okay, Jesse and James and a Pokemon Center lady. So, Sean, you also get nothing on your board for the first round. Mir says, one tin, everybody knows the rules. <laughs> Sean 420 energy. There we go. We do actually get a hit. This is a Magnemite Baby Shiny. So, Cody, you do get a hit on the board. Let's just double check, make sure that was you, Cody. Yep. Okay, now we're on to Tyler. Tyler always claims to have bad luck on the battles. So, Tyler, good luck. We got an Electric Energy and a Misty, so neither of those count. So end of the first round, Cody is undoubtedly in the lead with his hit because he's the only one with something on his board. Second round, starting off with Amir again over here with the fighter energy. Oh, yes, as well. Cody got lucky there. Well, Magnemite's pretty easy to beat. Okay, so fire and a Jolteon. So Amir, you do pull a fighter or fire energy. Maybe that's a sign. But for the second round, nothing much on Amir's board. And we got Danny, who gets Clefable and Arbok, so nothing on your board still, Danny. One pack, you know the drill. All it takes is one pack. All it takes is that full art shiny on one pack, and it could really shift your standing. Water energy and a Lapras. So, Sean, nothing on that pack either. Wow. Cody, we are back over to you. So far, you are in the lead. Let's see if you can get something else on your board. Scyther and Arbok, so nothing on the board there. Cody, Tyler, over to you. One Zard can change your destiny. True, true. That is facts. Oh, boy. Farfetch'd and a Weezing. So we are now two rounds in. And so far, Cody is the only one with a hit on his board. Okay. Amir. Jesus, whoever wins, if you don't want energy, saving it, save, swing it in my bag. Oh, man. Amir, that is three cold packs on your tin so far. Amir, nothing on the board yet. Danny, this is your third pack. Let's see if you can get something on your board. And it will be a baby shiny Magneton. So a little better than the Magnemite. But just a baby shiny. Chanel says, Sagar has his tin battle. <laughs> Alright, so that was for Danny. Up next, we got Sean. This is finally another hit. Well, we need some full arts. Okay, Baby Shiny Beldum. This is a very steel-type heavy tin battle. So, Baby Shiny Beldum coming in for Sean. Okay, Cody. Ooh, Cody's got something. Ooh, Cody. All right. Cody, good luck. We got Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke. Okay. Full Art. And it is Full Art Altaria. Very nice. Okay, so Cody, first person in the battle to pull a Full Art. And of course, it is this beautiful looking Altaria. And so, Cody, that is now added to your board, my friend. And you are definitely, definitely in the lead. Okay. Tyler. Third pack. Ooh, Tyler pulling something out. Okay, Baby Shiny Magneton and a Onyx. Both of these will count towards the board. Terrence says, is Philip still here? I think Philip said he was going to bed. All right, so let's clean up the table a little bit. We are now in the last round, guys. Last round. This is where it all matters. For those who have not pulled a full art yet, there's always a chance. Because usually a 10 at least hopefully has a full art. So we're going to start off this last round with Cody. Because Cody is in the lead. So let's see what he ends his board with. All the metal babies. So many metal babies. 
We haven't pulled a baby other than a metal one. Oh. Oh, it's another full art. Cody, you're getting a double full art 10, dude. All right, Cody, we're... Damn, Cody, you're going to be hard to beat. <laughs> Cody, you're going to be hard to beat, but good luck. Cubone. Magic Carp. Geodude. Clefairy. All right, what do we got? What do we got for Cody? Amir's like, good game, boys. Cody, it is a Glaceon. Very, very nice, dude. Here we go. Evolution. A double full art 10. Pokeyal says no toes. Yeah, Pokeyal, you're right. You can see the toes on the Charizard. You're absolutely correct if it is a Charizard. Now, very off-centered Glaceon, but that is a two full art 10 right there. Whew. Okay. <laughs> King's like, okay, Cody won. All right, now we're going to hop next into Tyler. Tyler, good luck. I mean, here's the thing. If you pull a more expensive... Oh, Tyler's getting a full art here. Tyler, this is a full art. Okay, we're not done yet. You can still pull like a Mewtwo or Umbreon and beat Cody. Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Slowpoke. I believe this is it. Yep, Slowpoke. Here it comes, Tyler. This is it. What's going to be sad is someone pulls a Charizard and takes it. Okay, Tyler. It is a Decidueye. And a Arbok. So full art coming out on your last pack, Tyler. I don't think Decidueye will be more expensive than the Glaceon. So in this case, a nice little prize for the winner. But Tyler, that is the end of your board. Pulling out a full art at the end, but it was a Decidueye. All right, up next, we got Danny. Danny, with the fire energy, Danny. Good luck. Pray for toes. <laughs> you want to see Charizard's little pointy toe. All right, so Danny, looks like that was it, my friend. No hit on that last pack there. Okay, so Danny, you end the game with a Magneton. Unfortunately, that definitely means you're out. But now let's hop into Sean. Sean, this is your last pack. Come on, Amir, last pack magic. I want to see a full art Psyduck. They actually have a uh, Psyduck and... Um... Oh, we got another full art. Okay, guys. Sean, you need a nice full art here if you want to win. Okay, if you don't pull a nice full art in this, basically you're just feeding Cody more hits. So good luck. We have another full art coming. Sean, this is for you. Star you. Clefairy. Slowpoke. Pikachu. And here's the hit. We need something better than a Glaceon. There are d definitely a lot of hits that are better than those. And it is a Glissapod. Okay, so Glissapod and a Wigglytuff. So Wigglytuff does get added to the board. Okay, so it was a Glissapod. So the sad thing is, is this is the best I've ever done in a battle. <laughs> okay. Wigglytuff as well. So Sean, unfortunately, you definitely lose as well. So Amir, this is it. Amir, you have nothing on your board so far. This is the last pack of the battle. Amir, you need something. Nothing on your board. We can't end it with this. Let's get you a full art. Ooh, it's not a full art. I think it's a gold card, though. And how is it going back and forth? It is a Brooklyn Hill gold card and a Onyx. Okay, so Amir, you did actually end up getting a hit. It was a gold Brooklet Hill. Now, I'm pretty sure Bro Brooklet Hill, excuse me, is not more expensive than the Glaceon and the Altaria combined. So I think, undoubtedly, the winner on this tin battle is Cody. Now, if anyone really thinks they actually won and it wasn't Cody, speak up, and I'll double check for you. But like I said, Glaceon's more expensive than Brooklet Hill it's itself, I think. So, Cody, congrats on your win, my friend. All right, so, Cody, let's see what you took home. From Amir, you took home a Brooklyn Hill and a Onyx. So, Danny, your tin was actually the coldest. All you got was a Magneton, just one singular baby shiny. 
Over from Sean, you take a Beldum, Galissapod, and a Wigglytuff. And then Cody, your tin was actually amazing. Like, just opening this tin alone would have been a very nice tin. Two full arts. And from Tyler, you take another Magneton, a Onix, and a Decidueye. So, Cody, hopefully you like Steel types. Okay, so thank you all for playing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that tin battle. Like I said, I love hosting these. It's actually a lot of fun. Amir says, can I crack a tin just for me? Ah, uh, yeah, Amir, if you just want the tin and not it to be a battle, it's 48, Amir. But I do, I do have just uh, singular tins. Rich is like, good stuff, Cody. Leftovers go to Hefe like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Terrence is like, let's go. Time to go dark. He says, I'm just happy to be on my first one. Cody says, that was fun. Well, for me. So, Amir, we got you a 10 coming up first. Let's actually get all these put into Cody's bag. As well as Terrence gets 12 packs of Darkest of Blaze 2. So, Cody, congrats on your win. First, let's get Terrence's Darkest of Blaze packs, which he ordered a while ago. So, let's get those first, and then we'll got into your tin. Amir, you can pick a tin too. So, Amir, pick a tin type, and I'll get you one. So, it says Fossil Pack Battle Anyone. Age says water. <laughs> All right, so I got you your Raichu tin on standby. Richard says Tyler is just built different. <laughs> Tyler is just built different. I like it. Maybe if I become a YouTuber, I'll fossil pack battle you. <laughs> Richard's still holding out Facebook chat. Richard is a real MVP. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so... Terrence, I'm not usually when I grab people 12 rando packs, they do bad. So Terrence, let me know if you want a certain side or corner, and I'll just try to grab you 12 packs in a row. That way you have a good chance of getting hits and you can't get hosed. You know what I mean? I want to see like a 15 tin battle winner takes all. That'd be insane. We've done really, really high amounts of tin battles. Okay, and then after that, Victor buying two Japanese fossils as well. Just go in a row, okay. How about a 10-10 battle today? Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. That says, do the front five of each side and the last two in the back. Gage says, get 12 Lake New here. What's up, Gage? How's it going? All right. Terrence, good luck. First pack, Jigglypuff, Golurk. Oh, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Here we go. Okay, Terrence, good luck. Skitty. And Sage, Golit, Vanillit, Vanillite, Rowlet, and what will your rainbow be? It is a Salamance. Very nice. I think Salamance is actually the most expensive rainbow. Just says, take it slow. <laughs> How come you guys always tell me take it slow? Do I go too fast, guys? All right, Terrence, take it home. The rainbow. After that, we got Eternatus. So, see, I'm a huge fan of just going in row. There's, like, no way. Terrence, 
That was all you, brother. I asked you, where you want? You said, just go straight. I said, all right. Suspicion kills. Sujuai, Talon Flame. Tony says, can anyone see me? Tony, I can see you. I can he I can see you. Or I can see you're typing. I think you need a tin battle after luck like that. <laughs> Familiar Bell, Mel Metal. More like cards, you. Arctovish, Pin Kirchen. No, Anthony, we can't see you. <laughs> A Buskin and Serena. Okay, the packs have gone awfully cold. <laughs> Aaron. Well, Tyler, that tin battle, I didn't see you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tony coming back with the... With the... Bang. God, so they never do. Tony, that was funny. I like that. That was a little zing. Toxel. Got Felia. Okay. Terrence, last pack, my friend. Mel Metal and a Kangaskhan. Okay, so Terrence, actually only two hits, which is actually pretty low in terms of how many packs you open and only getting two hits. But you did get the rainbow. Gage says, I said, got more cards than you. You might. It's possible. It is possible. Tyler, uh, you just going to take that or you're going to get in the field with a 10 battle? All right. So we do have another tin coming up for Amir. Amir, I forgot to mention because you don't actually have a bag on the table, Amir. It's going to be five dollars for shipping, unless you want it in a plain white envelope, which I can do for free. But that's only up to four cards. All right. So Terrence, we're going to upgrade your bag, my friend. So let's put all your hits here. We're going to put all your bulk, and actually, we're going to put your hits in this one. I'm going to get you a bigger bag for your bulk. Mir says, let's see what I get first. Okay. So let's get a bag written out for you, my friend. So Terrence, not bad at all on those hits. Okay, so up next we'll do the Raichu Tin for Amir, and then Victor. We'll get into your huge opening, because you did get two Fossil Packs. Okay. So Amir, good luck. We got you the Raichu Tin. And of course, all these tins are from the reprint, if it wasn't obvious enough. Okay, Amir, good luck. We got you four packs. Tony's like, let's go ride shoes. Sagar is the new guru. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> I think guru is more like a laughing stock. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got here? Okay, so psychic energy with the Mewtwo. How fitting is that? How fitting is that? Okay, so first hit is a Mewtwo GX. Voltorb Electrode. All right, Amir, this is it, last pack. All right, so Amir, that was actually a very trashy tin. That says, we will see what happens with the Rocket Box tomorrow. That's true. No, that's true. There always is there always is a chance. But I'm pretty sure it's real. Pretty sure it's real. From all the different boxes that I've seen for Japanese, pretty, pretty, pretty positive it's real. 
Of course, if somehow my box ends up being fake, everyone will obviously get their full money back. But I really doubt that's going to happen. He says, this stream is helping speed up my last two hours on my shift. Hey, Danny, that's good. He says, it's Team Tyler tomorrow for sure. So yeah, so Amir, you know, you don't you don't really need to pay for track shipping on this if you don't want. If you want me to send it to you through Plain White Envelope, I can do that for free. But Amir, either on Discord or on Facebook. Facebook's probably actually better, but Amir, on Facebook, you can just message me. Um, I need your address and your email address, okay? Richard said three best and three worst cards for the Rocket Packs tomorrow. Richard, the three best cards would be Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, and Dark Dragonite. Tony says, do I still have a bag on the table? Yes. Tony, you still have a bag. I actually should have shipped you. You have a decent amount of stuff, but Tony, you do still have a bag. I'll ship you next round. Okay, and Samir, you want these to be playing on envelopes, so I'm just going to not put in the reverses. All right. Uh, yeah, so three best would be Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, Dark Dragonite. And the worst three would be Dark... Um, uh, what's it called? Weezing. Dark Weezing. Probably also Slowbro. I like the Slowbro card, but I don't think it's very expensive. And probably Dark Golbat. Perfect. Amir, I got it. Alright, so, before we hop into that, Victor, we have you two, not one, two Fossil Packs. Man, people are in love with Fossil today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, Victor, I'll have you pick two numbers, one through thirteen, and as always, if you do want them kept sealed, let me know, okay? Imagine the Dark Dragonite Eric card. Yeah, Gerardo, unfortunately, that's not in the Japanese set. There isn't... Isn't there a Team Rocket trainer card? Yes, but I don't even think the trainer card's worse than the Weezing. So, Victor, let me know if you are watching, my friend. You got two Fossil Packs. Damn, Weezing gets no love. Yeah, the Weezing should not be getting any love. So, tomorrow, very exciting day. 9 o'clock Eastern. We will. He says, one and two both opened. Okay. So, I'm actually getting a little low on Fossil. That was actually... I touched the end of the box there. <laughs> I touched the end of the box. All right, Victor, we're going to go ahead, we're going to open up both packs, and we're going to show you both hollows at the end one by one, okay? All right, so Victor, pack numero one, <laughs> pack numero one. <laughs> okay. So Victor, your first pack, let's go ahead and let's get your hollow all sleeved up. Okay, no white spots, no damage. That is amazing. It's a little OC. Not as bad as some of the other cards, but a little thicker on this right side. Now let's pop this hollow back here. Let's actually go into your comment and comments. Ooh, we got Mr. Fuji again. I hope this is not a, a repeat hollow. Cloyster. Slowbro. Confused Psyduck. Tentacool. Krabby. Zubat. Grimer. Not the naughty Grimer. Slowpoke. Weezing it was one of the first slabs I bought because it was so cheap. Yeah, that Dark Gold Bat as well. They're just not really loved cards. I have the whole Team Rocket set I can show you guys. Just says it's a repeat. All 
All right. Okay, so another card with no damage. So very nice. And now the center on this one is actually very, very good. Okay, so hopefully this card, no damage, very nice back centering. Hopefully this one gets a good hit, because that is some very good centering. Okay, we got Magmar, Arbok, Graveler, Trainer, Trainer, Psyuk, Tentacool, Horsey, and a Slowpoke. So Fossil is also a very, very small set. Tony said it would be good cards. Let's go Fossil. Fossil is a very good set, honestly. All right, so let's check out what your worst centered one looks like first. Okay, so Victor, your first hollow card. It is. A Zapdos again. So another repeat card. It is a Zapdos. Now the centering is a little bad on the front. You can see it's a little thicker over here. But first hollow is Zapdos. Now let's see what your better centered card is. We got Hani on Facebook. Hani, what's up, brother? How's it going? All right. Victor. Second pack. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, Victor. I'm not going to lie. That's a little funny. Because I think you pulled a Zapdos already, right? So. No, it was Chris that pulled a Zapdos. So we just literally pulled a Zapdos. And now we just pulled two more. Dale's like, I did not see that coming. <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? Yeah, so Victor, let me know if you did want to grade both of these or if you wanted me to send one, grade one, whatever it may be, just let me know. But we literally just pulled three Zapdoses pretty much in a row. <laughs> that is kind of crazy. So Victor, do just let me know. Tell Zapdos to fly away. Hey, at least it was not a muck. Okay. So he says, okay, gotta go. Uh, time to close down the bar. Tony, have fun. Let's do a Team Rocker prac and practice for tomorrow. Okay, sounds good, Tyler. So. Victor, let me know, my friend. If not, I'm just going to put them in top loaders and into your bag, okay? Tony said, I always have fun at work. That's good. No, Tony, that's really good. He says, great poth, okay. Richard says, just fly away and get his brother Moltres. I think in terms of value, it's Articuno, Moltres, and then Zapdos. So Zapdos is definitely the less of the loved of the three. Chris says, just sent for one more fossil. Okay. So we are going to go in order. And we do have some Darkest Blaze packs coming up for, um, actually for Victor and then for Terrence. I love Zapdos and Articuno. I, and honestly, I kind of like them in that order too. Articuno is my favorite, and then Moltres, and then Zapdos. Okay, we got the dubstep. <laughs> we got the dubstep. Okay, so Victor, you'll have a lot of Zapdoses coming back to you. Not soon. <laughs> Not soon, but you will. Okay, so Victor, double zap doses, man. And honestly, this one has a nice hollow effect on it, whereas this one doesn't. It seems like the box breaks was today so many vintage packs. Hon honestly, right? <laughs> honestly. 
All right, so we got nine packs of darkness coming up for Victor. All right, so Victor, we'll just keep up with this trend. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I'd really like another Zard or a Dragonite. Hopefully, we can pull you a Zard because if the, if this repeat stuff keeps happening, we actually did pull a Zard out of one of those rocket packs. Okay, so Victor, first pack, nothing special. Or says, y'all went deep, someone drop another rack. Ooh, here we go. Kabu. So Kabu Full Art coming out. William Jess, hey, how's it going, William? What's up? William, we are live on both YouTube and Facebook. So William, if you do want to get in on the convo, join over on the Facebook. The link is on the description. So I was like, ooh, don't make me buy them all. Well, yeah, Tyler, we did pull one, but that's, you know, that alone doesn't necessarily mean we might get another one, but who knows? Who knows? By Brava and Sir Farfetched. Ooh, what is this? Oh my god, it's a I really thought that was a Charizard. That's a Grim Snarl. What the hell? That looked like a they look like Charizard flames. Okay, so full art coming in. We got Grim Snarl V Max. Centrit, Dark Rye. I was like, do it, Tyler, do it. Tyler, you don't have to do it, my friend. You have so many packs coming your way. So, Tyler, don't feel like you got to do it. Don't let them egg you into it. We did pull a Charizard. That does not mean we are guaranteed another Charizard. So don't do it if you think you're actually going to get a Charizard. But you might. You might, though. You might, but you might not, too. So just disregard the fact that I said we pulled a Charizard already, basically, is what I'm saying. Stunkfish V. Tyler says, you're right, I got 16 packs more. Exactly, Tyler. You got so many packs. Faywood says, hey, who packs are we opening? These are for Victor. So, Terrence, uh, Victor actually paid before you, so technically he got the packs first. So, these packs were for Victor, and then you're actually coming up next, Terrence. Just says, you bought six... Dude, honestly, the rocket packs that I put are... They were 150 each straight from a box. That was the, like, really, it was honestly a very good price that I put on those packs. So I think buying 16 of them at that price, pack fresh as well, honestly, it was not a bad idea. Yeah. Chris, this was you, my friend. Yep. Okay. All right, so Chris, that was your pack, my friend, but now... Victor, these were all for you, and these are also both of your packs. So let's get that into your bag. Okay. So Victor, three hits, Kabu, Grimstarl, and a Stunkfish. All right, we got 12 more packs. Now, these are coming up for Terrence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So I got three more left out of this box. Because I missed it. Yes, yeah, so Terrence, just give a quick overview on what he got. It says, wait, those packs are closed or open? I just, that was a open pack. And I'm pretty sure that was Chris's pack that I just did not label. Tauros, Golurk. Golit, Volcarona. Okay. 
Phoebus, Lugia. Chris says, you're correct, that was mine. Yeah, Chris, it had to be. Yellhorn and Flygon. I'm just surprised they did not write your name on the bag. Christian says, okay, see you tomorrow on the box opening. Christian, I'll see you tomorrow night, my friend. Have a good night. Got more lull and a Houndoom. All right, so, so far, Terrence, not the hottest, but hopefully we pull you a Charizard and that'll make it really hot. Tomorrow is five at the opening. I don't know what time it is for the West Coast. It is nine o'clock Eastern. So the same time uh, that we did the Pokemon, sh the Pokemon, guess that Pokemon today. Buskin and Wigglytuff. How's it going, Perplex? What's up? Soul Rock, Arctovish. Oh boy, Terrence, this is actually looking super rough, my friend. Sinisty, Dracovish. Okay, so Rhyperior V out of the last pack. <laughs> Dropping the loading symbol. Okay, so Houndoom and Rhyperior. Man, that is actually really bad. Terrence, that is really bad. Cannot even lie about that. William's like, that was rough, bro. That was more than rough. Okay, so Terrence, your two hits were Rhyperior and Houndoom. And your reverses will go into your bulk bag. Like I said, send money for two champs and eight shiny legends. Should have a bag on the table, Spencer. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Spencer, you do have a bag. All right, so continuing to go in order, we got. All right, so up next, we got Tyler. Then after that, we got Victor, who wants two more fossil. Victor is going deep on the fossil. Oh, we actually got Chris in there too. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a line, guys. I do apologize. I will try to do my best to go in order. So Tyler, you are up first. Guys, okay, so Tyler, let's try to grab all the rocket packs that I own. I am now out of gym two. That was a jungle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I only got eight rocket packs left. Tyler, go ahead and pick a number one through eight. Tyler says four. Man, that was quick. That was some quick decision. Maybe I'm just not used to you guys actually not having a huge lag time. And you guys can respond to me kind of quick. Wigo says, we're getting some pre-action tonight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. As you guys know, Team Rocket, this is the set that we are opening up tomorrow. There are banned cards in this set as well. Such as the Naughty Grimer. All right, so we are looking for Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, or Dark Dragonite. Okay, so not too shabby on the hollow. So centering is a little thicker on this side for sure, just a tiny bit. I'm going to pop him back here. Now let's go searching for a Naughty Grimer. Raticate. Meowth, Dark War Turtle, Zubat, Psyduck, Primate, Squirtle, Ratatata, and a Dark Jolteon. Okay, so no Naughty Grimer, but you did get the Squirtle and the War Turtle, so let's pray that this is the Dark Blastoise. Let us pray that this is the Dark Blastoise. Okay, Tyler, good luck. And it is a Dark Alakazam. 
So not as special as a Dark Charizard, but Dark Alakazam is a middle rung hit for this set. Not super bad. Now, centering is not terrible. It is a, definitely a little thicker here. And as we saw on the back, a little thicker on this side. But Dark Alakazam. Like we said, that pack was actually pretty fire. Well, this is just a prelude for tomorrow's stream. This is, that pack was kind of hot. If hey, if you pulled the Dark Blastoise, you would have had the Squirtle, the War Turtle, and the Blastoise, and you could have got that shit sequential. So let's put him in the Great Pile, okay? So after this, we got Chris. And Chris wants a Fossil Pack. No love for Jungle, huh, guys? No one loves Jungle, huh? That was thicker than a snicker. <laughs> All right. Tyler, the king of the jungle. So a little thicker on this side. Wouldn't say thicker than a, maybe, maybe thicker than a Snicker, <laughs> maybe. All right, up next we got Chris, and Chris wanted a fossil, correct? The common Pikachu is one of the best cards in jungle. Honestly, Tyler, you're not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Jungle is definitely a little bit of a shittier set uh, than fossil. All right, so this is it for fossil, guys. This is all I have for fossil. I just pulled out of the box. Let me get a full count. Let's see what I got. I actually got a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Holy shit, I had a lot of fossil. So I got 15 fossil packs left in total. Chris, take a number 1 through 15. This is 10. All right. Chris, good luck. Incoming another Zapdos. So, Chris, I don't know if you saw, but after we pulled your Zapdos, Victor got two Zapdos but right, <laughs> right back to back. Okay, so cards looking very, very beautiful. Tonight, there were some packs that had some white dots or whatnot, but it doesn't happen all the time. I think that was more of a factory type of deal. Okay, thicker on the right side for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Let's see what you got. Sandslash, Graveler, Golem. Oh my god, this is a repeat pack, right? Psyduck, Tentacool, Krabby, and a Slowpoke. This is a repeat pack. Oh man, are we going to get a duplicate again? I don't remember what this one was, but we might get a duplicate because the pack did just repeat itself. Okay, on for the fourth Zapdos in a row. Biddy said, yep, it's a repeat. Okay, let's see it. What is our card? It is a Magneton, so not a repeat. It was a repeat, but not the same holo. So now Magneton is not the best holo either. I would have rather had a Zapdos. He says, oh no, not other Zapdos. I would have rather had a Zapdos than the Magneton. Magneton's probably second and last right before Muck. Hefe says that card is fire. Hey, I think it looks cool, but the value... I guess not a lot of people like Magneton as a collectible Pokemon. But there it is. Pack fresh Magneton. Okay, so Chris, let's get your pack in your bag, and do let me know if you'd rather me um, top load it, or if you wanted to go out for grading. Either way is fine. Just let me know. Like I said, our bulk submission is going out this Monday. We have uh, like 500 cards. <laughs> so, it is a very big bulk submission. I'm a Pokey Connoisseur. Nice.
Chris says, ah, send it out. Okay. Okay, so Chris, let me get the black Sharpie for this. And put that signature O as well. It's Richard, by the way. My oh, Richard, you you gave up your position as the Facebook guardian? Actually, I think Facebook has zero viewers. <laughs> so, I can see why, Richard. The post got boring, huh? Richard abandoned post. He's AWOL. Okay, so Chris got the signature MO as well. Richard's been in here. I'm also watching Facebook just in case people hop in. So many false openings, I wanted to see it live. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's perfect that you add the O because a lot of people call me Simo. Oh, nice. Sagar, what grade does a card get that is mint, but the card is bowed or curved? Actually, the curve doesn't really matter at all. I've noticed that curves don't really matter at all, actually. King's like, dang, you're still live. King, we're live forever. Forever, ever, ever. Alright, so Victor, I believe you're up next. Victor, you wanted two fossils, correct? So Victor, let me know. You wanted two fossils, correct? It says yes, four and five. Okay. But yeah, so Gerardo, Kurt, bows don't really matter in terms of grading. And just like Tyler said, you can actually flatten them out in a textbook. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Victor, good luck. The 30 continuous coal packs will be me. Or it says, in that case, I want to send you my Bode Venusaur. I say it's like a 7. Can I send it through bulk with you? Uh, Gerard, you absolutely can. However, the bulk submission for this month is no longer accepting cards. So it will have to go in next month, if you're cool with that. You can send it whenever you'd like, but by the end, by before the end of next month. So this bulk month's bulk submission is pretty much done. Unless anything arrives like tomorrow, um, it's done. All right, so Fossil, number one. Coming out for Victor. Okay, now I actually do see a... Ooh, Victor. Not good. Not good, my friend. So let me get this in a sleeve first. But Victor, this does not look good. There does appear to be some damage on the bottom side of the card. Very hard to see, but you can see it if I shine the light just right. Let's actually get it perfectly in the sleeve. And without revealing the card... So I got the light to shine just right. So right down here, there's a little bit of damage. It's hard to show. It's not whitening or anything. It's just the card is actually a little bent, per se. It's actually very, very small, but I do think... I mean, then again, they didn't pick up on Chanel's dent. So maybe I'm just being um, paranoid. But there is definitely a dent over here. And honestly, I don't even know what to think anymore after they gave Chanel a 10. I don't even know what to think anymore about the dents. But, Golduck, Weezing, Golem, Tentacool, Shelter, Ekans, Zubat, Slowpoke, and Kabuto. He says, oh lord, not the Charizard. Well, there's no Charizard in Fossil. So don't gotta worry about it being a Charizard, but you gotta say, oh lord, not the Dragonite. Just as like rip. Yeah, that is one of the things with the with the vintage packs.
which is like face palm. Okay. But this one's looking good. Yep, this one's looking good. So say it ain't so. Unfortunately, it is so. Okay, so this one's looking a lot better, a tiny bit thicker there, but definitely within parameters for sure. So that one is looking a little better. We're going to pop that guy back here. Golduck, Kingler, Arbok, Gambler, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, Zubat, Grimer, and Judith. So, Victor, these are for you, my friend, and now let's see what your hollows are. So, this is the one that did have a tiny bit of damage at the bottom, uh, a dent, basically, but Chanel's got passes at 10, so I don't even, I'm not going to make a comment on it, but there is a little dent down there. And let's see what you pull, and it is an Aerodactyl again! What the? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my lord. Okay, so at least the Aerodactyl is the one that had some damage. Now, let's see what your decent one is. It is. A Ditto. Okay, so very off-centered Ditto. Wow, that is really off-centered, actually. Cons considering the back was actually pretty good, the centering on this card is pretty atrocious. Victor says, I want to get both graded. Okay. Okay, so Victor, you got almost a whole bag of just fossil packs. Okay, so Victor, we're going to leave your pack like that for now. And let's get these two ready. How's it going, Lacane? How's it going, my friend? How is it going? Another Zapdos next? I hope not. I really, really hope not. Well, Gal's like, damn, birds. Alright, so Victor, we'll get these both popping over. I'm kind of curious to see how the, um, the Aerodactyl's gonna grade. So we'll see. When that comes back, we'll actually see. I'm actually very curious as to how that dent will grade. Like I said, Chanel's Charizard had a dent in it, and it got a 10. <laughs> so pretty, pretty, sometimes it's it's unbelievable, but we'll see. Hopefully no lower than an 8. Just says probably a 7. I would hope it doesn't get a 7 because of that. It's very minute. It's still pack fresh. There is a little bit of damage on it, and it should hopefully at least get an 8. Alright, so Victor, there it is. Uh, Sagar, after your opening, is there a limit on how many cards you can submit for the bulk submission? Uh, William, there's no limit. You can send me as many cards as you'd like. After opening, I seen some picks. Grew got scammed. Oh boy, there goes that boy Quavo. <laughs> it's exploding. I heard this was the best Pokemon stream out there and it lived behind. Hey, I appreciate that. Well, welcome and hopefully you enjoy your stay. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's catch up. Okay. Up next, we got Spencer. And Spencer, I completely forgot because it was so long ago. You said eight shining and something again. So Spencer, please remind me what you like and let's get you that. Chris says, all right, time for bed. Got work for us. Have a good night. Yeah, Chris, thanks for tuning in, my friend. I'll see you tomorrow. Like I said, tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern, we are breaking a Team Rocket Japanese box. So definitely, definitely, definitely get over there. He says, eight shining and two champs. You got it.
79 people. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Is Spencer in Facebook chat and not on YouTube? No, he's here. He's perplexed. He's perplexed. All right. So, Spencer, good luck. Like I said, you do already have a bag on the table. Okay, so first pack is a Duraladen. Duraladen. Heavy says, Facebook is dead. Yeah, so I think I honestly might just stop streaming on Facebook, <laughs> to be quite honest with you guys. And just focus on YouTube, and that way I can make the stream on YouTube as enjoyable as possible. Alright, so Victini and Hatterene. So Spencer, you did get a Duraladen, but other than that, the packs were cold. All right, now we got eight shining. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yes, there is a lot of Rayquazas and Genesects. Cough, 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 Twitch. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're getting something fancy. Spencer, we're getting you something fancy, bro. Hopefully I didn't get your hopes up for just a Pokemon breeder, but it looks like a rainbow rare. Croconaw, Jinx, Reverse Ultra Ball, and last but not least, it is a Zoroark. Okay, so Zoroark Full Art, Rainbow Rare, out of our first pack. Okay, now it is thinner on this side, thicker on this side, but it does not have the white dots, so that's very good. Okay. Shit is pretty. Warp energy is Zekrom. He's like, woof. <laughs> Damage mover and Reshiram. Definitely thicker than a Snicker. Oh my god. Marsh Shadow. I thought that was a Jirachi. Berloom, Zekrom. Oh. Oh my god, Latios. I always think those Psychic types are Jirachi. I want to see an extremely OC card again. Joseph, the Vulpix should be back soon. And I'll be happily... Oh, here we go. Shining Arceus. There we go. Another hit. Damn. Spencer, not bad, bro. Shining Legends is a very, very hard set to pull from. And not only did you just get a Shining, which is really off-centered. Holy crap. But you also got a Rainbow. So very, very nice. Okay, Spencer, last pack. Let's see if we can get you one more hit. And we'll call that a day. Okay, so Mana Feet and Scraggy. So no hit on those ones. But not too shabby. Troy says, Sogger, gotta eat. How long are you gonna be live for? Uh, probably not too, too much longer. It is 2 in the morning my time. So not too, too much longer, but I'll stay as long as I can. Which ends up being longer. Than... Alright, so Spencer. Your bag was right here, because I remember I just took a photo of it. Okay, so not too shabby, man. The Channing's Path was cool, but it was only two packs in Rainbow Rare and a Shining Arceus. Yes, I do. Uh, very tasty. All right, so let's quickly go ahead. Let's hit refresh. Okay, next up we got Tyler. Then after that we got Terrence. Ooh, Tyler, 305. Tyler, you want a rocket and probably a fossil if I had to guess, right? Okay, says, so Sagar, what is your most valuable card? Hmm. That's a hard question because considering modern is low-key kind of expensive too. He says jungle. Oh, shit. Okay. 
How much longer will you be opening? I'm still at work. I want to buy some more packs in about an hour. Ah, uh, perplexed. I might be down in an hour, but I, I will be live pretty, you know, I go live almost every day, so there's no rush. Okay, so Tyler wants a Foss, or wants a Jungle, excuse me, and also a Team Rocket. All right. So Tyler's like, I want that Pika, because <laughs> that's the only thing that matters. So out of Team Rocket, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so seven from Rocket and nine from Jungle. Have I says five man tin battle? <laughs> I'm down. All right. So you say one, two, three, four, and you want nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Tyler, we're gonna hop into your jungle and then your team rocket. Perplexed, I'll be waiting on you. <laughs> But I will be doing a massive shipping round once again this weekend after the Team Rocket break. Because uh, at that point, I'm going to have a lot of packs to ship out too. So. PSA 10 Snorlax Jungle, Japanese, sold for $800. Not bad. Okay. So very nice. No damage on the card. That is always what we look for. We're going to set this puppy back here. Now let's see if you get a Pika. Okay, we got Rai. Don, Doju Trio, Tauros, the only trainer in Fossil, Nidoran, Execute, Spiro, Jigglypuff, Pikachu. <laughs> okay, so it was the last card, so we do need to check. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to try to show this to you guys. This sometimes happens with the last card in the pack. It's not that bad on this one, but there is a very faint scratch right there above the M in Pocket Monsters. So you see that? You can see that little line right there. Very small scratch on Pocket Monster. You can see that right next to my finger there. It's shining in the light right above the M. You can see that little scratch right there. So very unfortunate that the Pika was the last one. Now, I don't know if the card is going to be worth grading or not. It might still be worth it to send through bulk, because bulk is pretty cheap. But it does have that scratch above the M. Okay, so there's the Pika. Let's get these put into your pack. That was like, damn. Yeah, honestly, that sucks. But I will keep the Pika just separate, because it is definitely more valuable. Now, let's see what you get out of jungle. It is... A Clefable. Clefable. Yeah, Clefable. So you got the colorless type. Kevin says, y'all still live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving all my energy to that card. All right, so we got Clefable. Now on the plus side, the hollow is, you know, undamaged, unscathed. So that's always a huge, huge thing on these hollows. All right, so we're going to pop both of these back here. And now let's get into the rocket pack. So let's just grade the hollow, okay. Okay, so Team Rocket. Okay. Hollow not looking bad. He says pre pre-action for tomorrow. Alright, so not too shabby. Oh, there's actually a print line on the back. Holy moly. Alright, I'm going to try to show you guys this. There is actually a print line on the back. We have seen this before. Tyler, you're actually getting very unlucky by the Poke Gods. So check out that print line going right alongside the back. You can see it stretches perfectly straight across the whole card. 
So let me try to get you at a different angle so you can see it on the other side as well. But there is a print line going right, you can see it perfectly there, going right across the whole card. Now this is not a scratch, like the other card, this is a print line for sure. But that fucking sucks. <laughs> that is on the back of the card. Perfectly straight print line going along the back side. That is a yike. Styler, I don't know what to tell you, man. That is unfortunate. Tyler, that means you got to open up two more. Hey, you got to get all the bad luck for tomorrow. Ah, that's true. Now, look at these on look at these cards all off-centered. Look at that. All right, we got Dark Slowpoke, Electrode, Trainer, Abra. Ooh, Naughty Grimer. Off-centered Naughty Grimer next to the Dark Charmeleon. All right, so off-centered Naughty Grimer. Now, it probably will not pull the 10. But if the 10 is now $200, the 9 is probably still worth it. But that is really, really off-centered. But it is the Naughty Grimer. Everybody's like Naughty Grimer. All right, so Naughty Grimer. Let's finish it up. We got Dark Charmeleon. Coughing. Porygon. And a Dark Golduck. William's like, you poor unfortunate soul. George says, why did it get banned? Very simple. So if you take a look at this Grimer, we call him Naughty Grimer because if you take a close look at his eyes, he is actually looking up this poor girl's skirt. And then in the English version, he his, they, they change it to where his eyes are now looking straight. So instead of them being looking up there, they're looking forward. So they did change it for the English set and that is how this card became banned. Okay, so Naughty Grimer. Now let's check out what the print line is. It is a... Rainbow Energy. Interesting. So let's see if I see any print line on the front. And that is a negative. No print line on the front. But yeah, massive print line on the back. I don't know how that happens, guys. I guess, because technically, I guess they probably print on the back, too. So, I guess it's possible to get a print line on the back. Because the print line's when the, um... I'm pretty sure it's, like, when the, the ink. Tell says, I really like that Porygon. It's all about the voyeurism. At least it wasn't really anything worth a lot. I'm tired of seeing that energy card. You know, Tyler actually gave one away to Philip too. So, Tyler is actually a very generous person. Don't let Lip hear you say that, yeah. <laughs> this is Tyler, can I have it? <laughs> I think Tyler already gave one away. T giving both away would be maybe a little too much. Victor says, good night, guys. Victor, good night, my friend. I will see you tomorrow. Like I said, 9 o'clock Eastern, we will be breaking a Japanese team rocket box. Remember, leftovers go to Hefe's bag. <laughs> Alright, so Tyler, let me know. You have the Pikachu. I don't think you want to grade that. Grimer, nothing wrong with it besides the off-centering. The Rainbow Energy does have a print line. That might bring it down to like a 9, maybe an 8. And then you have a Clefable. Man, this guy even got the emoji. Hefe, you got the emoji game. Paying for now for more packs. Okay, yeah, absolutely okay. I think we're cut. We're almost done with the queue. She also says, "Grade that Pika." Chanel, the Pika had a um, like scratch on the back because it was the last card in the pack, so it had a scratch, which doesn't necessarily happen all the time. Grade the Grimer and the Fable. Okay. I was like, oh no, poor Pika. Okay. So Tyler, let's get this in your bag. So I got the Pika and the um, Rainbow Energy in there. Paid for 10 Shining and 2 Champs. Okay. So I believe after this, we actually have Terrence coming up with like 4 
Darkest of Blaze packs. All right, so Tyler, good luck. Honestly, Tyler, I really feel bad because that was definitely a little harsh. That print line on the back was just kind of unexpected. <laughs> kind of unexpected, to be honest. But we have seen that happen before. Maybe another day I need a Mewtube. Dude, the Mewtubes are awesome. Dustin, dude, Dustin, I'm never going to forget that. I got to clip that that uh, VOD before I forget because that was insane. Back-to-back -back Mewtubes for Dustin. 14 more viewers till we hit 100. Tyler deserves a free pack. Hook my man up. I can't give him a free vintage pack. I could definitely give Tyler like a free modern pack. Okay, so Tyler, those will be going in for the bulk submission. Alright, so coming up, we got Terrence. But Terrence, let me go. I think I'm going to need to grab you in your booster box as well. So give me one second. Okay, so, Terrence, you got four packs. I have three left in the other box. Terrence, clean last box or get some from new box. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. You can completely get four from the new box if you'd like. You get three from there and one from there. It's totally up to you. Just let me know. This says night. I'm log off. Yeah, yo, thanks for tuning in, my friend. I will see you tomorrow night. Like I said, Japanese Team Rocket Box tomorrow night should be very, very good. So make sure you guys tune in for that. If you don't want to get not or if you want to get notified that when we're live tomorrow night for the Team Rocket break, just subscribe and you'll get a notification. <laughs> Decisions. Four from the new one. Okay, you got it. Okay, now Terrence, pick front, back, left, right. So you want the front, the back, from the left or the right? Dark Blastoise might be in the next fossil pack. I wish. Imagine if Dark Blastoise was also in fossil. That set would be insane. So Terrence, I'm going to grab you four from the same corner. Just let me know which corner you like. Front, back, left, right. It says, how much are you in the old box? Just, there's three in the old box. Okay, just do whatever. Okay. So what I want to do is one from the front and both from the back. Because I remember Tyler said that at one point. Okay. There's nothing left in the modern sets that I need. I opened up 10 Darks Blaze and gave the cards to the kid beside me. Carnivine and Galissapod. There's two hits in the old box. The five were old. I mean, honestly, if you want, I can open up the packs. I don't care. But if someone does want them, uh, they can actually have them. Just if you think they're low. Oh. Oh, boy. New box luck. Pulling that gold colossal. Here we go, man. Very good. This is one of the best gold cards to pull. I think Rillaboom might be a little better. But at least it was not one of the, like, energy gold cards. So very nice. Okay. Terrence, one more pack left. Flygon and Digsurby. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all for a new box. I 
All right, so Terrence, we're actually going to stuff all your hits in here as well as your reverses, because your other bag is pretty full. I'll grab the last ones from the old box then, I guess. One sec, okay. Terrence, watch you pull a watch you pull the V Max Charizard. Calvin said one champs for a good night rest. Okay, Calvin, one champs. This is it, Calvin. Before you go to bed, let's grab you a Charizard. Before you go to bed, one Charizard. This says if I counter right only five, isn't there at least seven in each box? Ah, uh, we've seen like up to ten. All right, so Calvin, unfortunately, the champs is cold. <laughs> the champs is cold. This is for all the marbles. Calvin's like, please. All right, so Terrence, you want the last three, and then we're going to hop into Spencer. So Terrence, we're going to quickly finish up that box with three packs, and we're going to hop into Spencer. Tess says, good night, good luck to y'all. Calvin, good night, my friend. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow at the box break. Okay, so we did get a hit, a Grim Snarl. Hey, Sagar, you already pulled more vintage packs today than Guru did in all of his years. <laughs> all right. Okay, so, Terrence, there was a hit. Only one, though. <laughs> Only one, though. Terrence is like, fail. <laughs> he says, good night, guys, going to sleep. Richard, good night, my friend. Thanks for being the guardian over on Facebook. I thought there might be two, but I guess I counted wrong. Well, sometimes, you know, sometimes, like I said, boxes, we've had boxes that have six. We have boxes that have like 11. With Darkness of Blaze, it's really all over the place for hits. So I says, let me get a Neo Pack. Okay. That'll be my last Neo Pack. Uh, but first, we got to get Spencer. Okay. 10 Shining and two Champs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They used to be so cheap a year ago. Dude, everything. Everything used to be so cheap a year ago. I was about to go to bed, then I see Tyler pull through with a Neo pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So let's hop into it with your two champs. This whole spike has been so exciting and crazy. Potion and a Hatterene for the Hatterene box. Let me get a YouTube, dude. I'll try. Spencer, I'll try. I have I am known as the man who pulled two Mewtubes in a row. <laughs> That's what they call me on the street. Alright, so champs were cold, Spencer. But now the major set we're going after here. Tori Cat. Raikou. Zekrom and a Minin. Latios and a Ekans. Always, always gets me. Is it me or are the pull rates from Champions Path terrible? Honestly, they definitely are a little terrible. Ooh, okay, we got Full Art Entei with the Fairy Energy. Okay, so Full Art Entei coming out. I pull a Mewtwo and a Secret Rare Mewtwo back to back. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go, baby. Shining Mew and the centering left to right is so good. The top is a tiny bit thinner. And the back centering is pretty damn good. Now, the only problem that I noticed is there is... I don't know what that is, to be quite frank with you. There, I'll see if you guys can see that or not. So right at the top, there is like a little, just a little dot, like a little gray dot. It's really not showing up on the camera that I can see on my end. But right over here, above my thumb, there is a little dot. But other than that, this card is actually very good. And it's not even like showing up on the camera. But trust me, I'm not crazy. First of all, let's get this to a sleeve. All right, so let's see if I can tilt it like this. Okay, I don't think you guys can see it. But definitely either some, if I had to guess, ink, or that's really all I can think of. I don't really know what else that would be on a pack fresh card, but it does just look like a little bit of, I'll try to gently... Doesn't come off with my thumb. So deadass, I think it actually is just ink. Um, that fairy energy, get it graded. No, cannot see. I feel so bad for you. Probably ink runoff. Yeah, so that's what I was think thinking. Probably ink, if I had to guess. But other than that, the card is superb. Alright, so Shining Mew coming in. Okay, Lily, Zekrom. Warp Energy, Manaphy. How much is that Mew graded worth? Uh, last time I checked, it was actually fairly expensive. Fairy Energy again, and Eladios. Who else says, wow, a six-hour stream. <laughs> yeah, wow. Honestly, I've been doing pretty long streams. Plusle and Shaman. All right, all right, all right. Spencer, can we round it up with a Mew tube? No way. No way. Spencer, no way, dude. What the hell? So now, see, this one does not have the ink on it. However, the centering is actually a little off on this one. It's a little thicker over here. And the back actually has a white dot up here. Okay, so this one's not as perfect as the other one. And there is a little white dot in that top right corner, as well as being a tiny bit off-centered. Oh my god, another one. Dude, on Shining Legends, we've been pulling duplicates left and right. We got two uh, Mew Tubes, now two Shining Mews. Dude, Spencer, those are some really good packs. I don't care about that ink on one of them. He says, send both Mews off on Express. Okay. Let me get that ink one. What the hell? That's wild. <laughs> So, um, like I said, one of them has a uh, white dot. So one of them, I would probably expect about a nine. The other one that has the ink, I'm actually not sure what that would grade as. So that'll be a pretty interesting experiment. All right, so Spencer, we're going to pop that in here. Let's go ahead. Let's get your Entei back here. Okay, so just keep in mind, Spencer, Express is $85 a card. Now, our last Express just went out yesterday, so this Express won't be going out for like another week or so. So do just keep that in mind, um, because obviously I can't be sending out Express every day. That doesn't really make sense. But very nice. Two Mewtwo, or two Mews in a row. Express the Ray in my bag too. Okay. Spencer, let's see what you got. Bayonet, Shining Ray Ray. There it is. Shining Arceus, Zoroark, Duraladen, and Entei. Is your name Khaled? Cuz another one. <laughs> I like that. Shining Legends is on fire today. Honestly, it really is. It really is. We've pulled so many Mews. He says, do the Arceus as well. Okay. I'm 
So let's get both of the Mews sleeved up first. He says, sorry, no, no problem. No problem. Your bag's right here in the front, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so two Mews. I'm actually very curious for these grades to come back. I actually really am, because I wonder how that ink dot is going to go. Just says, boy, this stream is heating up now. Honestly, we've been getting pretty good hits out of Shining. Okay, so, S, C. Well, Spencer. So, so far we got Danny and Spencer in this express submission. New one, like I said, our last express mission went out yesterday. It was 45 cards. So that'll be a very, very juicy return coming back on 45 cards. So this one will probably go out as soon as we hit like 10 cards. Or I basically, I just sort of judge it on how many people are sending me cards for express as well. But typically the minimum, the maximum I'll wait is like two weeks. But this depends on if there's a lot of people wanting to express, then we send it out quicker, basically. Target is Neo though. No, he did not. He did not yet. Right now, we are taking care of Spencer. Alright, so Tyler's about to get a Umbreon out of Neo. I'm calling it. Spencer, four Shinings going in. Uh, now, I don't know if you really cared about Sequential on these guys, because it's not the full set. But if you do want them Sequential in any sort of fashion, make sure you let me know, okay? So, okay, send PayPal for 10 more Shining, okay. Damn, very nice. Dude, Spencer, Shining has been good to you, man. All right, so let's go ahead, let's hit refresh real quick. And I believe Tyler is up next, but let me just refresh it just in case. All right, so let me quickly go ahead, let me just update this. So we are now sold out of Jim and Neo. Okay, there it is, Neo. Then he says, three best cards from Neo. Probably the Umbreon, the Espeon, and... Hmm, I think. Okay. Tyler, good luck. Yeah, I'm trying to think what the best third one. There's a lot of good cards in here, honestly. There really is. So it's kind of hard to say on thirds in terms of price. But definitely Umbreon and Espeon are up there. All right. So hollow looking gorgeous. Well, gorgeous in terms of no damage, but it is off-centered. I can tell right off the jump. Now, on this card, you can see this bottom here is very thick, very thin up top. So that's my main concern is actually top to bottom on that card. Okay. We got Hoppin. Got Wooper. Corsola. Weedle. Pineco. Unknown. Onimite Clay version. Teddy Ursa. And a Eevee. Very nice. Yeah, so see, look, this EV has no scratches on the back. So this EV is actually perfectly fine. So that's just kind of interesting sometimes how... Yeah, I really don't know. I don't know. I wish I worked in the factory. Sogar Chanel and Pokegel are my new best friends. Nice. I'm glad you guys are making friends. All right, so EV not looking bad. All right, Tyler, good luck. We got an EV as the last one. Hopefully this means... It's going to be an evolution. And it is. Oh my god. This card is. This is one of my favorite cards in the set. Houndour. Dude. I love this artwork. Oh my god. 
Guys, I love this card out of Neo. The Umbreon's cool. Espeon's cool. Man, this is sexy. Now, the bottom is really, really thick, and that's my main concern on the card is just top to bottom centering. That shit is sexy. Is Tyler even here? Uh, he might not be. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Tyler would want to grade this. If that was me, I would grade that absolutely. Um, but I'll let him know if he's not listening. Oscar, what's up, brother? How's it going? Alright, so I'm pretty positive Tyler would want to grade that. Man, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Need Dark Charizard. Also sent PayPal for two more Champions Path. Okay. So I'm pretty sure Tyler would want to grade this. Um, I'm sure he'll pop in, and if he doesn't, I'll let him know that he pulled it. Because the thing is, is there was only um, one pack left, so it's not like he could have made a choice, if that makes sense. Reinsert this puppy back. Oh, man. And if you tilt it this way, it just looks so nice. Look at him. He's just a predator in the things. Oh, that is such a nice card. How was your day, Oscar? Tyler, last call before I head to bed. <laughs> Justin, that's a sick looking card. That is, it's beyond sick. That is, hands down, just one of my favorites. Alright, Spencer, going in with 10 and 2. The Akatsi says, do you give co-cards? No, I do not. I also dabble, dabbled in some Dragon Ball. Oh, nice. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, and 10, and 2 champs. New edition of 2 champs. So like I said, guys, tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern, Team Rocket Break. Get excited, because I am. I am actually very, very excited. All right, we got Champs Path coming up. Okay, Spencer, you've been getting... This has happened before, and it just happened again. No rare card. No rare card in the pack anywhere to be found. That's pretty nuts. These Hattery boxes are shit. <laughs> Sagar needs to sleep too, so you better sleep all day. Hey, Sagar, did the other guy pay you yet? Uh, Gerardo, he did not. But, um... We'll see. We'll see. I forgot his name you said. Yeah, no, Jordan. I know you're, you're talking about James. Um, Hoopa and Stunkfish. Ah, uh, yeah. So, Gerardo. The, the, great. Can I send it over? No, no, no. Don't do that, Gerardo. You already have one spot. Oh, Rainbow Time. No way. These packs are absolute fire. Hefe says Battle Time. Ah, uh, yeah. So, Gerardo... So, Gerardo, we'll put it this way, okay, Gerardo? If he does not want his spots, if he does not pay by tomorrow, Gerardo, when we do the box break, I'll let you know, and at that time, you can send money over, and I'll give you his spots, okay? But at this current time, I've messaged him. In fact, he wanted more packs. So, like he was saying, like, because he was the last one, because he's he, I think he works at a different time schedule. So, either way, um, Gerardo, if he's not paid up by tomorrow before the stream, I will give it to you, okay? All right, and our rainbow is a Entei. Okay, surprise it's not a uh, Mew. Because, man, dude. Spencer, you're about to finish your whole set, brother. 
You were about to finish your whole Signing Legend set. Because you were not getting a lot of dupes, and the dupes that you got were good. Shroomish. Keldio. Heavy says battle time. Scraggy, Belkia. Japanese rocket battle. <laughs> Imagine. Yveltal and fighter energy. Oh my god, another rainbow Entei, dude. Yo, I'm about, to have to, I'm about to have to dip into my supply and start opening up some Shining Legends. These packs are insanely hot, and we're just pulling duplicates. Two Mews, two Mewtwo's, two Entei's. Dude, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. So just like, what the fuck? Chanel's like, hacks. Manaphy and Verizian. Dude, usually Shining is really shitty. Spencer, you are off the charts, my friend. This is actually kind of nuts. Raikou, Palkia. Dude, send me that Entei. Okay, Yveltal and Electrode. Okay, Spencer, last pack. Keep that heater on. <laughs> We're finally out of the freezer, guys. How does it feel to be out of the freezer? Okay, Manaphy and Larvesta. So, just two Entei Rainbows, but can't really complain. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, Spencer, man. Spencer, now I want to just go see what all your hits are. Because you have four in the grading for Express. Alright, and Spencer, I guess I might ask, do you care about your bulk? Like, do you care about your verses and stuff? So, Zorwark... Entei, man, so many Entei's. He says, what do the Entei's look like? Okay. Thick here. Okay, hands down, this is the best Entei you have. This one, right off the jump, you can see is thicker. And this one doesn't actually have any white spots. But now let's check the front for you. Okay, so now, unfortunately, this Entei is good on the back. No white spots, nothing like that, no damage. However, it's very apparent that this bottom is thicker. So, these cards are really, really hard to show off, especially when it comes to centering, but promise you when I tell you, this is very thin up here and very thick down here. So, out of two, this is your best. However, I would not say this is a guaranteed 10, okay? So, keep that in mind. Like I said, this back is good. No whitening, nothing like that. And then you see the top is pretty off-centered. Let me try to show you. So, see if you can see that. The bottom is fairly thick when you look at the silver band. Now let's try to zoom in on the top here. It's very thin. You can even see in this corner, it's almost cut off, right? So. He says, never mind, okay. I think that Entei in my bag one day. Next is to, dude, a mad dude. Two Shining Rayquazas. I would, I would do that. <laughs> I would do that. I'd be happy with that. Someone hop on some Shining. Well, yeah, you're too nice to put some coats. Well, the thing is, is if people are asking for codes and you just continue, it's like, it's like, I don't know, you know, you give them codes and they keep coming back and ask for codes and it's just not, you know, it's just it takes too much time. But Pokeyel is very nice. She is very nice. Tristan Saga, are you tired? I'm not tired, man. <laughs> I'm not tired. Don't worry about me. If I was tired, I'd end the stream. But yeah, if you want to go through Dark as a Blaze, feel free. Hefe says, buy as many as you want. Bro, Hefe is actually a Hefe. I'm Pokey Feenan. That says, five and a half hours, Saga keeps going hard. <laughs> Tony said, yep, dude, Tony, today's been a pretty nice stream, dude. Shining Legends, we just pulled two Shining Mutes, two, two Rainbow Entes. Dude, we are just popping off. Oh, 
Oscar says, I love this stream, man. Definitely one of the more positive and chill breakers. Thanks, Oscar. I feel that. Thank you, man. Sorry, just keep it till it's at six hours. Okay. I have been here for five and a half hours straight. I haven't left. Dude, Hefe. I would give you mod Hefe, but I don't I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you with that power. I'm just kidding. But no, th once again, big shout out to all the mods. Thank you guys for trying to keep the chat clean. Even though no one's really came in here being destructive, so that's cool. But I haven't left at all. Oof, so absolutely crazy. We've been burning through vintage. And tomorrow's the box break. Tony said, Charizard from which set? Charizard from which set? We pulled a Charizard from Darkest Ablaze. He says, of course we got you. I'm keeping an eye on. Nice. Joseph, I knew you were worthy of a mod. I knew it. Michael says, are you done for today? No, Michael, I'm not done. I can, I can chill for another like 30 minutes to an hour 45. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow, and then if you guys don't already know, our Japanese Team Rocket box break is coming tomorrow at 9. So make sure you guys tune in for that. It'll be very, very nice. Like I said, I am not going to tamper seal the packs. There's no point with Japanese packs, as every single one has a holographic. So there's nothing... I don't want to say there's nothing special about it, but... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so... Is a base charge or PSA 8 worth 10k? Honestly, I'm not too sure what the price is at now, just because everything has shifted so, so much. Alright, Terrence, 12. We're just going to go from the front. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Why do I feel like I counted that so slow? <laughs> That's like, bro, I'm pumped for tomorrow. Yo, I'm actually psyched. 1, 2, 3. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, I am super, super pumped for tomorrow's opening. Now, I will say this. If people... What do you guys think about this, okay? So I know I said that we would open your packs as it goes along. But I think what I should really do is just separate the packs out to everybody. And then if you want it open, we can you can choose to have it open. At the end. Maybe not, maybe not. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Maybe I'm just dumb. Okay, Salamence. Brian says, how are you going to do the order? Brian, it's an order of when you registered. So whenever you filled out that form, that got you your order. So Brian, I think you're towards the end. But what do you guys think about that? You guys want me to separate and then give everybody their packs first, and then we go and open them for people who want that? Or should I just open them as we go? Or like, you know, open them for them. Take all out, shuffle, and stack, and go down the registry line. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to do already. Tony says, can I get 20 Darks Blaze? Absolutely. Sweet Coon and Rose. Are you shuffling the box? Yes. Yes, I am shuffling the box. Absolutely. Open as you go. Okay. Mr. Rhyme, we got Salamance is popping back here where he belongs. Rainbow Zard coming up. Only a matter... <laughs> Dude, Rainbow Zards and Champs. Not in this set. This one has the full art. I think what Joseph said. Okay. So yeah, so I'll do that then. And then I guess what I'll say is, as long as you are at the live, you can swap at any time. So if you said you wanted all 10 sealed and you want, obviously no one really said that, but if you want all 10 sealed and you know, you mark that you wanted five opened, you can tell me at the stream as long as you're there and say, hey, I don't actually want them open anymore. Or you can say, hey, I actually want them all opened. Whatever you decide, you can always change your mind. But once they're open, they can't be opened. It can't be resealed. Okay. But like I said, you can always change your mind. But we will just go in order. My eyes are closing now. I need to sleep. Good luck tonight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Pokegal, thank you for tuning in. As always, thank you very much for keeping us company in the chat. And have a good night, Pokegal. Okay, so, Terrence, it's actually becoming quite obvious to me that you just got murked by this box. Absolutely disgraced by this box because you got two hits. How do you keep track of these Zards? There's so many. Yeah, well, Hefe, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Especially now, they've been releasing Zards in like every set, pretty much.
All right, so Terrence, definitely a little rough on those. Okay, Terrence, I might actually have to make you another bag here soon as well. Last box was the right. This one is left. Ooh. Guy getting 20 will grab the rainbow. That's probably true. Okay, so up next, we got Michael. Michael, let me check if you added a note, or you just tell me what you want, but $30. Let's see. Five Cosmic, okay. I don't know if you saw my comment. Yeah, Tony, I did see your comment. Matt says, Yo, Sucker, when are you shipping by my box? Matt, I'm going to ship it after the box break, because I realized I might as well, because you're getting 10-packs, so I might as well send all of that in the same box with your slab. Also, Matt, somebody on my TikTok told me that they would trade. Don't know if this is true or not. Um, you know, but they said they would trade a uh, PSA 9 shiny gold, like gold star Rayquaza for your gold label Charizard. Now, I don't know if that guy was just joshing or he was telling the truth or not, but that's a really good trade. So, Matt, I don't know if you wanted me to respond back to him on that or not, but. Tony says, I'm patient. I'm opening my own Dark Plays box on Saturday. Wish me luck. Good luck. Rayquaza for Charizard. Yes. And that's a vintage Rayquaza too. And yeah, Tony, I did see your message. However, I'm just going in order of payment sent. And Tony, I don't think I got any payment for it. So I'm just going by pay in the order, basically. All right. It's amazing how we went through four Dark Plays boxes. So Cosmic coming up for Michael. Paid PayPal for four. Okay. Buzzwool Raichu. Carnava or Carvana. Also, I realized I grabbed you an extra pack. <laughs> four Hidden Fates. Okay. Mats is worth a lot. Well, it is a gold label. Ooh, here we go. Mimikyu. So I need another bag of sleeves. It is a gold label, but I will say that, you know, whenever, you, you know, if someone's offering to trade you vintage for modern, that's a pretty solid trade. You know what I mean? In most cases. Michael, last pack. Another full art. Wishy washy. It says so basically a tip. Alright. So, Michael, there it is. Two full art Pokemon. Michael, I think you do have a bag, but let's double check. Now, Michael, I realize that you don't want your bulk because it saves you on the shipping, so I'll take those out. I totally forgot about that. I guess ask for picks. Yeah, okay, Matt, I could definitely hit them up. But Matt, either way, I'm going to send it to you, my friend, um, with the rocket packs. Rayquaza from what set? Actually, I don't know what set it's from, but it's the Gold Star Rayquaza. I can't remember which one exactly it's from. There are a lot of Pokemon <laughs> to keep track of, and if you if you know anything about the Japanese Pokemon, it is way more in depth than the English side. But yeah, Matt. Like I said, either way, I'm gonna send it to you, and if you know if he actually wants to make the trade with you, I'll just give him your information so you can talk to him. I don't really wanna. You know, middleman that trade, if that makes sense, because, you know. Because it, it, it is just some, it is just some random from TikTok.
Okay. Spencer wants four Hidden Fates packs. Okay. So, Spencer, I did open a ton of GX boxes to get these packs. However, I am low on tin, so I'd rather save the tins for tin battles if that's cool with you rather than grab you four. There's a PSA 7 base set, too. Okay. So, good luck. It's Prime. How's it going, Prime? Water, Energy, and Clefable. EX Deoxys. That sounds right. That sounds right. Wow. <laughs> Upside down reverse. And a trio of birds. So, lots of error packs today. We saw that one champ's path pack that did not even have a rare. I'm doing good, Prime. I'm doing good. Yo! Upside down, fire energy, and Chessie and James. I love the way that card looks. Honestly, I like the regular full art rather than... Yo! So as you can tell, these all came from the same GX box because <laughs> they all had that error. So, that's pretty good. Okay, so, Spencer, that low-key was very cold. I cannot lie. But I do, whenever I break the boxes, I try my best to keep them in an exact order. So, like, all four packs should be next to each other. Hopefully, you know, sometimes um, in the little thing that I keep my packs in, not all of them will fit, so it goes into the next row. So in those cases, they don't really stay next to each other. But in most cases, the packs are right next to each other. So you, so you do get about four, but... I just break them down because the GX boxes are not um, as good for the battles. And the tins I try to save for the battles. There's about 1 million of those birds trio. Dude, there's pro there probably is. That's the thing. There probably is. So, Hidden Fates, <laughs> so Spencer was like, yo, I'm getting hella lucky on Shining. Let's try Hidden. <laughs> try to get the Charizard. I see what you did. Champion's Path should also be called Good Hustle Path. Dude, Champion's Path is brutal, guys. Very, very brutal. Okay, guys, so it looks like we are all caught up. If anyone else did want any final packs, do let me know. I'll probably make this the last call. I think we've hit almost six hours. Honestly, I just started collecting and I barely have anything good yet. I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with having a small collection. There's so someone by a shitload. Gerardo says seven hours. <laughs> nah. It's already three in the morning, my time. Where's the Dark Charizard, though? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will hopefully see a Dark Charizard. We are officially at six hours. Nice. Man, I wish I could just get the rest of that box. There's probably, like, 20-something packs. Tony, did you still want those 20 packs, man? No, I can't do a 24-hour stream today. I have to stream again at 9 tomorrow with the box break. I want to make sure I'm nice and alert for the box break, of course. By public demand. But pretty insane stream today. We just cranked through a lot of fossil. Just says, holy shit, I forgot he got 20 packs. See if he sent you money. No, Tony did not. That's why I'm asking him. Okay, let's see. Pokeyell sent me a message. Some refuse. Well, when I was 13. Well, older purchases at the same time, and they're from a different source. 
And don't forget, you also went through a lot of Darks and Blaze. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Terrence says, how many packs left? 21. Uh, let me check. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. <clears throat> Only twenty packs left. That's actually perfect. If Tony wanted 20, that would have been all of them. Almost half a case and over 10k today. I think that might be records that started coming in. I'll do it. 10, yeah, 10k what? <laughs> 10k what? <laughs> Tony says, just let me know when I'm up. Ooh. So, Tony, I know you said you wanted 20 packs. However, you did not send payment for it. So I guess I never opened them for you, Tony. And now I think Terrence is trying to get them. So there is only 20, exactly 20 packs left in that box. Tony did ask for it. You won't fade, Wood. <laughs> said you won't do it. Or said, how do I get a wrench? Uh, you get a wrench, I guess, just when I think you deserve it. Am I funny enough? To, nah, it's not about being funny. The soccer's like, who's taking the last 20? Soccer, I'm down to wrench if you're looking for more. <laughs> Alright, so Terrence just sent in the money. So Tony, I'm going to give the last 20 packs over to Terrence. So Tony, I know you were waiting to get some packs on the stream, my friend. But... I just got to go with whoever sent the money. <laughs> I just have to do it. All right. Terrence, the last 20 packs, bro. Let's get it. So, guys, this will be the last pack opening of the stream. Uh, don't send me any more money. I'm not going to be opening up any more packs tonight. That will be it. And tomorrow, I probably won't be opening up any packs at all because we'll be doing the box break. So, good luck, Terrence. We got 20 packs of good old darkness. And Matt says, let's get it. Okay, Muck and Wigglytuff. He says, my stomach dropped. Here we go. Okay, so Full Art Rose coming in. So if you guys are excited for Vivid Voltage, I am really, really stoked. That set is going to be very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, another hit. Oh, very nice. Now, this is not a Charizard, but this is a very good card as well. For those who do not know, this is Moneybat Sr., the father of Moneybat Jr., of course. The full art Crobat. A little jet skis. I pulled a Rainbow Rare Rose today. I'm dying to get Vivid. Yeah, I mean, I got five cases coming, which, quite frankly, is not a lot, but they did limit. <laughs> they limited me pretty bad. 
So from what I hear, Vivid Voltage is going to be pretty hard to get. Uh, a lot of places are already sold out, and the Pokemon Company is not really making any more until, like, after December or something like that. Well, like, through December. Dartrix? Evil. Money Bat, exactly. That is Sir Money Bat. He says, no way. I have three ETBs and one booster box on the way. Tony's like, la 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 la. Let me hear it. Nah, no, Matt. Absolutely not. Maybe next time I play League, you can ask me, okay? <laughs> not now. Because my best one would make me seem like a, uh, a clown. Dunsparce, Blaziken. He says, for sure. But yeah, hopefully you guys are liking YouTube more than Facebook. Honestly, I am. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I am. My girl heard that and was laughing. <laughs> Chub Chu and Serena. I remember a couple years ago, back when Lil Pump was like more popular. I you know me and all my friends would say it all the time, literally just all day, every single one of us, just non-stop. Here we go. Okay, so full art Salamance V Max. Joseph with the ice cubes. But yeah, so I will definitely, you know, I'll probably maybe stream on Facebook for a couple more days as well, multi-stream. But I will probably stop doing that fairly soon and just focus on the YouTubes. Okay, Rhyperior V. He's like, hey. I say it because it annoys her. That makes sense. Kings Kong, Graham Bull. I love YouTube stream. Nice. He's like, it's getting cold. I mean, Moneybat Jr. is nice. But we need a VMAX. Charizard, of course. Skarmory and Hydreigon. Three more packs. Just make sure you announce you're live on YouTube. Yeah, Joseph, I will do that. I will do that. Ampharos and powerful energy. I'm also going to start making a uh, post on the Discord as well whenever we go live. So you should be getting YouTube, Discord notifications as well. And he says, Did you see my comment? Um, I heard you, Tony, the last thing I read from you was la 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 la. La 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 la. Flaffy and Delcaddy. Okay. So the best hit. So actually, no Rainbow Rare. Wow. No Rainbow Rare out of that box, Terrence. No Rainbow Rare. Bro, when is the website going to be live? Uh, yeah, so Matt, I am currently currently working on it. I have... Uh, so I, I was going to do Big Cartel. I was going to do Big Cartel, but I think I'm actually going to go with Shopify now. But I am still just working on the website a little bit uh, before it's fully, fully ready. Because I need to get all the products on there and stuff. I took one from the last at least. So a total of what? Five hits? All right, so, Terrence, we're actually going to have to make you another bulk bag. <laughs> okay, so Terrence, you will be our bulk king. Oh, shit, looks like the stream was way behind for me. Oh, man, I just forwarded it. Ooh, okay, Tony, I got what you're saying. Yeah, but Tony, unfortunately, I was not able to really kind of keep up because everything was uh, not really making sense. All right, so Terrence, you actually got a fat amount of hits coming and a decent amount of bulk. So Tony, I know you, uh, I guess, weren't able to keep up with what everything that was going on. But Tony, basically, the whole time I was asking if you were, like, trying to get the packs or not, and you weren't saying you were, so I just ended up giving them over to um, Terrence. But Tony, I know if you do want them, Tony, I know you're waiting until you got off work. I'll definitely give you, because I, I was going to make that the last one, but I'm down to opening you some packs if you do want them. Just guess what I'm saying. Short story, I guess. 
My bag's probably lighter than you. <laughs> Hefe's bag looking light. I think Hefe has only giveaway cards in his bag, I think. My bag will be heavier after tomorrow. Matt, you got... I think you have the two slabs, and I think you I think you have like an Evo's box, and you also have, um, I think you have like a Champion's Path promo too, I think I remember seeing. So you have a decent amount of stuff. So Matt, that's kind of why I just wanted to get everything in the same box. Soon enough, after rent paid, it will grow. Yeah, no, always take care of your finances first before you spend stuff on a hobby. That's just simple. So he says, oh good, next time is fine, I know you're tired. Yeah, I mean, Tony, I'm not, I'm not that tired. If you want them, Tony, I feel bad. If you don't want them, that's cool, too. I don't mind. But, yeah, we definitely did open up a lot of Darkness of Blaze today. Post it on the Facebook group. Yeah, I know. Dude, imagine Hefte's first ever time buying something. And Rainbow Zard. First pack. So like I said, guys. This weekend, I'll be doing a bunch of shipping again. Of course, we'll be opening up that Team Rocket box. So all of those cards and the packs will be going out hopefully on Monday. And it should be good. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for over 600 members on our Facebook group. Uh, we're going pretty quickly. And I'd like to just thank all of you guys for tuning in and watching the content. It really means a lot to me. But yeah, so now it's time for me to go knock out. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 9. So make sure you guys, uh, you know, tune in for that if you guys like that. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Terrence. Good night, Oscar. World to Gaming going up. Absolutely. Can't wait to get my second rocket pack for my collection. Okay, so guys, thank you all. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.